We got Nick DiPaolo on the on the line. Nick, how Nick, are you, buddy? I'm downstairs in a lobby. Yeah, come on up. I, well, <laughs> <laughs> well they, they don't. The guy down here doesn't have me on the. How did Nick not get on the list? Well, I'll tell you how. I let my agent book this for two weeks ago. All right, I'll uh, we'll <laughs> s- we'll send someone down. You knew I was coming, right? No, you didn't. <laughs> no, really. Steve, Nick's down there. Unbelievable. All right, we'll, we'll go get you. All right, thanks. Why would we know anything? We must have urgent things to say, Anthony. Opie and Anthony. Very important thing. A seven seven two one two zero and A. Man, the phones have been lit ever since this uh, Obama thing. Yeah. Ever since uh, the election. Yeah, it's uh, very uh, very important. Yeah. One of those things people want to talk about. I uh, seem to uh, be in a tizzy every day from things happening. My eyes are open. I see things happening out there on the streets. I bet you Nick sees things happening on the yeah, streets, we, too. I think we all do. You just got to, you know, just got to look in the right spots. You got to say, not take any guff. Yeah. And, I was uh, seeing that stuff during the Carter administration. Was that during the Carter administration? <laughs> I saw it coming in the 70s. <laughs> Yeah, uh, just a little altercations here and there. Both sides, you know, both sides of the racial uh, boundary. Yeah. You get that, that the thugs uh, uh, shout me down in the street as I'm trying to have a discussion with a gentleman walking in front of my vehicle. And then you got, you know, the situation in Mastic where uh, people are spray painting things on uh, people's cars. What did the guy say? Secret service involved. What did the guy say who was actually crossing? Nothing? Uh, Nothing. He pointed at the light. And I think his point that he was trying to make, and this annoys the crap out of me. I, I don't care what the, what the hell the situation is. Uh, he was pointing at the light, which was now red because I had to stop to uh, to let him pass. Yeah, then it uh, turns red. Yeah, yeah, he pointed at the light and goes, where are you going anyway? Like as if I, I was inconveniencing him to get to a red light. It's like, no, dummy, the light was green. That's why also, uh, like if, the, if I'm in a little bit of traffic and someone pulls in front of me, and then starts going a lot slower than they were before they pulled in front of me. Uh, and then we get stuck at a red light. It's like, well, you're, you're at a red light. It's like, yeah, but I wouldn't have been if you didn't pull in front of me, I think dummy. soulmates, I swear to God. Oh, I get so <laughs> aggravated with that. Uh, you pass somebody, you finally get past them, and the light turns red, and you're stuck. And they give you this look in the mirror. Like, I look in the mirror to look at his face, and they're smiling like, ah, see, you got stuck at the light anyway. No, that was your fault. <laughs> you put me here, idiot. You're like me, man. Yeah, oh. Nick DiPaolo in studio. Uh, it wasn't supposed to be, but thank you. It's all good. Yeah. Don't even worry about it. NickDip.com. My new agent did a real bang-up job on this one. <laughs> Hope he's listening. <laughs> good guy, actually, but yeah. some miscommunication. Uh, no biggie. Where were we at? Uh, so we discussed that. Uh, we got to talk about the Paul Abdul thing. Jimmy's got really good news that Kenny already blew, but he, but Anthony doesn't. know. I haven't heard it, so, so it's news to me. So it'd be and, nice new news for Anthony. Yes, it's, it's good news, but you no, know, I'm so negative. Why are you negative? Because he's I think a it's, negative. Kenny Nelly. even said that you are very happy and excited. I am. I my the, the new book hit the bestseller list. Uh, it won't be out for another week and a half. Whatever, what? But it's, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm bummed because it's number 13 out of 15, but I'm happy because it's Jesus. outsold the first one. There's yeah. just more competition now. You're on the bestseller list. Um, and Another Kenny bestseller. Goes, four Obama books. Yeah, but Kenny goes, yeah, Jimmy wow. would have done better, but there's four Obama four books on Obama the books. bestseller Stupid list. Stupid O'Reilly has one. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I can't keep it with Bill O'Reilly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with O'Reilly? I love him. Do you no, really love I, O'Reilly? I, 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 he has the balls to point out what Anthony was just talking about. Yeah. And, uh, there you go. He'll go there a little bit. That's the only reason, you know what I mean? And I'm not becoming like a Fox, you know, yeah. sycophant. But a lot of people will not uh, go, go go to those places. Bit. Yeah. You know, I mean, I mean, everyone, uh, we've been walking on eggshells for so long. Everyone's afraid to just yeah. uh, speak about what is happening in their day-to-day lives that might be racial or uh, racist or, or, or just whatever it was. Today, what happened to me is a prime example of this. I just conveyed a story that happened in the street. I didn't. Um, I, I wasn't bringing up some imaginary thing. It wasn't a bit. It wasn't something that anyone could call me out on. This is what happened to me. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, you today. and a million other people. Yeah, in the last two weeks. I so. mean, it just it, it's it's been happening. I've been noticing. I get I get emails. I get things. These are things that I, I haven't been hearing <laughs> about in a while, and now they're happening. 
So what am I supposed to do? Not talk about him? Oh, was I fuming? fuming. This is ass nightmare. I love it. I just really, love it. It I really just, is your nightmare. You know something though? Call me Kreskin because I just saw it coming. You certainly I did. saw it coming. You certainly did. I friend. said before he was elected, I said this is what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. There's going to be this issue where uh, 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 black people that perhaps aren't uh, hardworking, assimilating to our civilized society. The thugs on the street I'm talking about are going to have this attitude that they think now they're going to be able to get away with these things uh, where they were getting arrested, uh, where where now uh, you know, while just walk in front of your vehicle. But they're still going to get arrested for you. doing stupid stuff. Yeah, but, but this, they don't think they they are. Well, they think once Obama gets in, it's a get out of jail free card. I was just about to go to you, Malik, and you hang up on me. Oh, Malik's a little mad, and he says, "Like, don't judge all black people because of what's not. happening." Oh, yeah. Jesus, oh, God. I want Malik to. Again. I want Malik to at doing least that? say I'm it. Not. Maybe uh, he'll call back. But you know what's more angering about it? He's biracial. He's not yeah, black. Yeah. He's biracial. That's true. You understand? Yes. One of his parents is white. Are we that really mm-hmm. pure? Oh. Pure Lily. I white. mean, let's stop with this. And I actually like. I, I've liked what I've seen from him, and I don't get the, everybody, you know, sit on the right like he's arrogant. I don't get that. Yeah. He seems like kind of a nice guy. Yeah. And, uh, you know, let's give him a chance and stuff, but let's, you know. It's going to be tough. If he was a hip-hop or an athlete, you think they'd be calling him black? to be Yeah. Mm-hmm. He'd be outcast. Yeah, Tiger Woods. Look, if, if you caught him banging your chick, you wouldn't only be half mad at him. <laughs> <laughs> It, uh, it, it is one of these situations where you know he's he's half half white, half black, but the black uh, well, people just saying. see it as you know. You're gonna have two black, black parents to be black. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah. I know you get little rules and ounce of black blood, and yeah, it makes you black. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bless. You yeah. can you can play by that. But uh, I know I got Earl all mad when I called up uh, Ron and Fez one day and said, "I just want to uh, say that I'm very happy that." We've elected our first half-white president. Yeah. And yeah, he yeah. was all annoyed. <laughs> it rained on his little parade. <laughs> well, that's logic and reason. We can't yeah. do that today. It's going to be all about emotion. And, uh... Yep. Yeah, let's anyway, knee-jerk reactions to things people are saying. It's just, it makes uh, me sick. I'm looking at some property in Ireland. Let's say hi to Ireland. Jared. It's a nice, bonny place. Yeah. <laughs> let's go to Jared in Boston. Jared, how are you? Here we I am well, thank you, boys. Anthony, did you mean, really mean to say that blacks are assimilating into society, or did you mean something else? Like society. Society. Yeah, you said society wrong. I know. I know. I... Do? You should know that by now. <laughs> I um, I just, it just, it annoys me. And, and for for a thug on the street, uh, and and that's what these these five uh, uh, youngsters walking down the street were. They had nothing to do with the situation I was dealing with this morning with this gentleman that crossed in front of my vehicle. Nothing to do with it, except race. They were the same race as the guy. If I was yelling at a white guy, they would not have joined in. Uh, it was race. They were racially driven to protect this guy that just walked in front of my vehicle, and I called him out on it in, in a completely non-racial way. They brought race into it. Yeah. And uh, these thugs having this feeling that... They can now be further from society, society, and uh, still be able to uh, be be and have to be accepted mm-hmm. is ridiculous. Uh, they should look at what Obama did. Yeah, the guy uh, uh, went to school, educated himself, uh, worked himself up, and now look, president of the United States. So what? You can't do that. You can't stay in school. You can't uh, 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 go to class and uh, learn something, go to college, whatever it takes to become president. Apparently, you can. So what are you doing? What are you doing? Instead of doing that, instead of seeing, wow, there's a black president. If I work hard, maybe I can succeed in this society. Uh, society. It's, um, it's, no, hey, Obama president, nah. Well, that's how they're doing it. They're doing exactly what you just said. Oh, that, that, that yeah. that's going to do it? Yeah, they now... You know something? <laughs> that ain't going to do it. Let's say hi to Nick in New York. Nick, how are you? Pretty good. Hey, good, good, morning. good morning, boys. What's up, Nick? Hey, my girlfriend, she's an immigration enforcement agent in New York, and uh, apparently they're deporting this person from Kenya. And he made a statement to them that uh, apparently he's going to be coming back to the United States and laughing their faces because Obama's going to be in office and he's going to change everything. Yeah, he'll be wearing a marathon suit when he does. Yeah. So <laughs> so he thinks he could uh, come back into America because Obama's uh, president? Exactly. He thinks, uh, you know, he's going to let everybody come back in or whoever's illegal in the United States to stay in the country. 
and you know, do what they want. Well, obviously he's going to be wrong. You sure? All right, thank you. Hey, uh, Nick DiPaolo in studio. I, I got some audio in front of me. You and Shepard Smith Smith had a little something something going on yeah, yesterday. I, no biggie. I mean, it's funny. It, it's, we're yeah. living in weird times. It, really are. Yeah. 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 I mean, I was. I do this. I go. They have this show called The Strategy Room. It's uh, it's one of those streaming shows from like nine a.m. to six p.m. And a different like Fox on air personality usually hosts every hour. They change. Oh, and yeah. then once in a while, like guy like Shep will come in, or who, it's, it's kind of cool meeting all these, you know. They have cots set up over there for those people. I know. It's like I know. Anytime <laughs> you turn it on, those people are never not on the I air. I know. I know. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, uh, I was sitting there. Judge Napolitano was hosting, and mm. uh, you know, he asked me about, well, why did McCain lose this? And I said, well, the media, the mainstream media, was in the tank for Barack, and Shep went nuts. It was true, though. He went, well, I mean, even liberals are admitting to that yes. since, the, since the thing's over. But yeah. he went, I mean, he went nuts. And it's kind of ironic. I mean, I understand if it was Brian Williams. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's who I was talking about. And, you know, I pointed out NBC, ABC, CBS, even CNN. the Matt Perry, you know, magazines yeah. like Newsweek. and mm-hmm. Fox and he, is the last station. I yeah, I didn't even, for... that's not that was, was implied. And he went Cuckoo. I mean, he just, he's, he's been known, I guess. To, uh, it didn't even, oh. but what's funny about it, it's the first time I've, I've ever, and he did kind of, I really stunk at defending my position. <laughs> I was thrown by his reaction, and it, it kind of flustered me. You yeah, know I mean? yeah. But I wanted to make the bigger point. I wasn't just talking about news. I was talking about whether it's movies, sitcoms, commercials, how uh-huh. I wanted to get into, there's a liberal undertone to all of it. Sure. For the last 20 years, they've been hammering kids and, you know, white is unhip and black is cool. That was my bigger point that I didn't even get to. So, I mean, I didn't do that well in the argument. He just unloaded on you. Huh? <laughs> but he, yeah, because he went nuts. And I was like, I'm sitting there, and, you know, Jimmy from Tough Crowd, I usually, you know. Yeah. You can yeah, the best of them. I was, we all know that, Nick. But it actually looked, made me look mature. He's going nuts. And I'm literally, I got my hands, no, my fingers in. Were you doing a humming? No, no. no. Uh, yeah, your hands uh, folded just so. Oh, uh, Shep. And he went cuckoo. And, and you know what, though? I, I, again, and I don't really blame him because I guess I'm questioning what he does for a living. Yeah, perhaps so, that was it. It's like well, taking it personally. So, He's taking this very personally. Yeah, and it, and you know what? I it's it, it, like it was no biggie to me. And then you come mm-hmm. home, my wife's like, it's all over YouTube, and you know, and I'm like, uh, oh really? Oh. You're yeah, YouTube they had like forty thousand hits. Nice. Well, let's but listen to the audio. I didn't, uh, again, I don't hold it against him. If I was, like, in his seat, I might have done the same thing because I'm questioning what he does. Yeah. I wasn't, yeah, the I wasn't, integrity of, of his, what he does, I but guess. But I didn't know that he included himself with the CBS, CNN. Yeah, yeah. But whatever. Who All right, let's listen to this. George Bush's popularity is the lowest since they've been taking the polls, and those who disagree with them are the highest ratings of any president in history. Did that have something to do with it, Mr. DePaul? No, absolutely, but the mainstream media being so in the tank. Oh, please. For that's Obama. Pre- that's preposterous. <laughs> why? <laughs> well, well, why? Yeah, it's like, why? Wait a minute. <laughs> that's not the dick we're used to. Why? Well, well, why? Well, there's like, no, but I, I, I yell back, but it's not in the clip. We started, you know, I started yelling back, but he goes, he goes a little nice. I love the why. Well, well why? What that's is- preposterous. <laughs> why? <laughs> What do you mean the, the mainstream, mainstream media? The mainstream the media, the mainstream the media reflected what was happening in this nation. Right. It did not drive it. The blogs didn't drive this movement. The media didn't drive this movement. Barack Obama did not lose this election. It was his to lose. It was not John McCain's to win. The Republicans had no shot unless the Democrats gave it to him, and they didn't. And to blame the media is a cop-out and ridiculous. We are always here to be blamed for people like you who enjoy that activity. We always will be. When the Democrats lost last time, it was our fault. When the Republicans lost this time, it's our fault. It's not. The nation was changing. Barack Obama did not lose. Therefore, John McCain did, and that's it. How about that? The media <laughs> reflects the movement of the people the at the time they captured. The mainstream media oh, it, has been liberal since its inception. It's it's years and years of pounding. How did John and, McCain? And, and, how did and, and, George Bush win it's twice? Years and years of pounding. I don't know. Carl Rove is a genius, I guess. Uh, <laughs> well, well, I, listen to this pussy, Shepard. These guys and I like Fox, but they don't. They don't like to admit that they have any bias whatsoever. Had you yeah. separated Fox from that, he probably wouldn't have got so mad. But they don't like to admit that they do drive things and they do push things. Of course they the do. same way they showed the Imus right, clip five hundred times That's more right, than they Jimmy. showed Jesse Jackson dropping the N bomb on their own network. Right. Yes. They do drive things. Although Fox is not pro Obama, they absolutely were pro Obama. 
I don't think that's yeah. why he won, but just admit that that's what they were. CNN was, uh, you know, uh, they seemed like they were on Obama's payroll oh, yeah. for the way they were they pushing certainly, him. Well, they yeah. certainly pushed him along. It He's, was criticism. It didn't hurt what they were doing. And I, I did a horrible job, like I said, of defending my point, because I'm the one who brought up NBC, CBS, ABC. So, yeah. But I was talking about the bigger picture, from Hollywood movies to commercial. For, for right. the, you know I mean? That message yeah. is an undertone of liberal undertone to sure. all that crap yep. and kids white kids they have no identity anymore and they, they all they see is how it's unhip and it's time for you know the old crusty white guy to get out of the white house it's time yes. for, i mean uh it, that wasn't the sole reason you know mm. but I, like i said i was so shocked at his overreaction that i i believe that he i believe that he has seen me like on tough crowd and uh yeah you see what i'm saying he's like oh, that guy's a bully and i can't stand it seemed kind of it pounce. got a little more personal it was like you know what i mean misdirected uh, yeah. i love this first res response that's preposterous <laughs> that's, but, pre yeah, that's poppycock mr <laughs> DePaulo. but i still hey, look like i said it didn't bother me you know yeah. i like a heated argument and you sure. know what i would if i was shepherd smith i might have done the same thing if somebody's yeah. questioning my integrity so i don't hold it you know just don't I take like shep's parking spot <laughs> apparently <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't like he'll run, take, he'll uh, run right into you. Oh yeah, <laughs> hey, he would have ran over those Utes uh, this oh, morning. Of Aunt. course he would have. What's the endorsement? How you know, you know the mainstream media didn't drive it. How many? What percentage uh, of the mainstream media endorsed Obama? Right. Uh, newspapers and stuff like that. Oh you can tell God. me that's 50 50. How about the Los Angeles Times that wouldn't release the uh, videotape that they were given of, yeah, of Obama course. toasting and oh, hanging out oh, with yeah. uh, well, how, known uh, t terrorists uh, from the past? Well, how about uh, in the New York Times? First, they write that article, remember, saying that McCain was having an affair with no credibility yeah, yeah, whatsoever. Not, none. And then Obama does his editorial, and, and McCain answers with his editorial, and they don't publish it because yeah. it wasn't up to New York Times standard. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, Jesus, how much more evidence. Do you? And now and the that Palin, was just a couple examples. The Palin yeah. story came out uh, <laughs> that she never, she actually never uh, had that uh, uh, where she didn't know if Africa was a continent or a country. I know, I know. That never happened. That never happened. And today there was something in the paper that said, yeah, that was just somebody saying it, and they ran, the press ran with it without checking. And it turns out, oh yeah, she was she was never confused as to that. You know, she's probably confused a lot of other mm. things. Uh, she comes off like a ditzy bitch. Yeah. But um, you know, that's just another thing. <laughs> They don't check a lot of these. A lot of these uh, news organizations, they get the news from these blogs and people that are just typing away in their basement. Well, if it goes against their political ideology, they'll do back. To oh something. yeah, they'll yeah. They'll bet the hell out of oh, it. Oh hell yeah. But if it's yeah. something like that, like you said, makes Palin look like yeah, an idiot just or something they it. despise, let, we'll just just let it roll, it. baby. It's fake. We'll just retract so, it later. I mean, what I said was nothing uh, that anybody hasn't said a zillion times. Like no. I said, there's people on the left who said, "Yeah, we after the camp after this election, they even admitted it's been a little they long. own what? the media. Look at look at Saturday Night Live. Week after week, <laughs> they pounded uh, Palin and uh, McCain, and that and, has uh, an effect too. Absolutely, and just it does have an effect. Absolutely, if, if you can make someone look goofy and stupid. Uh, people are going to be like, the person's goofy and stupid. I remember being shocked when I found out Gerald Ford was an actually an all-American football player. I have to yeah, say yeah. Chevy Chase portray him as a retard. I thought he was, <laughs> had muscular dystrophy it has falling an effect. down all the time. Yeah. You know? And those you... young kids, they do vote. And, yeah, yeah. and I brought that up later on with Shep. He brought up you know, the Daily Show. Go, kids don't get their news from the Daily Show. Of course they, of course they do. Where where did this go after it's this not clip ended? Though. Huh? Did they just change the subject? Because uh, I'm surprised that uh, we don't have more of you. It, it ended with Nick hitting the sidewalk and hearing, and stay out. No, but, but then the judge goes to me like, the, the, oh, he said, Shep actually said, he goes, weren't you the one that was just sitting here the last hour saying that the uh, stock market went down um, the day after Obama got elected by a thousand? And I didn't say it. It was somebody else. Oh. I, go, I, I don't even know enough about the economy to make that. And he did apologize for that. You know, I go, I didn't say that. <laughs> he and, just uh, wants to pin everything on you. It was, but no, he apologized right there for that. But it, it was you saying Dewey beat Truman. <laughs> <laughs> it really gets. Yeah. And you know, and I, I yelled back. It, it was, weird. and everybody gets all. It's people are such. Oh God! Yeah. A couple of guys are yelling at each other. Mm -hmm. One of the guys that I was on the panel with, like I'm downstairs. He goes, "Are you all right?" I go, "Am I all right? All right. I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight." What do yeah. you? Am I? This is easy right. for Nick. It's not my we, chick. I'm Italian. We did this at the dinner table every night. Exactly. Yeah, this is easy stuff something. for Nick DePaula. What? Let's go to Coop oh, in New York. Coop, God. how are you, buddy? Hey, good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Hey, what's up, Toast? I love your book. Um, Thank listen, you. I wanted to ask something. You guys are sitting there talking Who's how blacks that? are walking around arrogant, arrogant and all this other stuff. Yeah. And how white people, 
no, excuse me. Nick was just saying that white people have been pretty much emasculated on the media for the last 20 years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you guys sound like you're upset about that. But who are you upset at? Because we don't control the media. Blacks don't control the media. You can't be we're not, screaming and yelling about No, no. We're, 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 not, never, we're not blaming that on you, Coop. No, I never said that. No. It's it's the okay. the it's, it's the white same, liberals. It's the same liberal white people that um have this conception that that black people can't take care of themselves, mm -hmm. uh so they have to come to your rescue. Yeah, is mm -hmm. uh is is what what it is that it's that mindset that has made these commercials always the the smart black guy and the goofy incompetent white guy that he has to help. Uh, figure out uh, his taxes or uh, his credit. Look Insurance. at any of these. Look at these goddamn uh, 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 creditreport.com commercials. These mother effing credit report commercials. It's always the the white band. You know this young white guy, and he's in his band now with a bunch of white guys, and he's talking mm -hmm. about how his credit stinks, and he wished it would have been better so he could do this. And one of these com uh, commercials has him at like a hip hop party. Oh mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm familiar with and, that commercial. And, and, and like it's just. It's that whole thing that puts this uh, mindset in that, you know, dopey white goofy guy and uh, responsible black guy that's got to set him straight. Oh, there's a million examples. Yeah, there's a lot, also, plenty. Okay. Also, I wanted to just um, say something about the black people that's walking around arrogant and <laughs> you guys is how do you feel like. I'm going to say I think what it is is that. Like 60, 50, 60 years ago, white people walked around with the same attitude, so to speak, that, oh, we got people that represent us, so they could go around and lynch and behave and do what they was doing. Yeah, yeah well, I wasn't yeah, around I was, back yeah, then. Yeah, don't blame us. I wasn't I'm not, around. You know, I'm, not, I'm not. I wasn't around. You're absolutely right. But what I'm saying is this. Blacks today pretty much took that same attitude. We, we, we pretty much adopted the same attitude and behaviors and mannerisms as you, and the problem with that is we're not you. Can I and tell what you? And, with, and the reason this country, the reason things are the way they are in this country is because y'all want us to assimilate to you. At the same time... No, no, not to me, not to white people. Country. Hey, keep your culture, be proud of it, whatever you want to do. No, but I'm, I'm talking not, about... I'm look, culture. look, look, I'm talking I'm, about assimilating I'm, to society, to this country, which means... And, uh, you, explain, and what I want to explain to you is that that would never happen so because we are two different animals. Right. It would never happen. You know something? You I, would never get along the way... So-called white people dream about and so-called black people. You know something? Because... I agree with it. He's a, you're, you got a kind of a separatist that. attitude, which uh, I, I yeah. agree with. We are Who's very going? different but, types of people. But Anthony, he's allowed to have that separatist attitude. You yeah, do I like can't. No, I'm, then I'm a racist yeah, I, and a white you know, supremacist. I, mean, I agree with you. I mean, there's a lot of the nonsense you say that gets me upset. Yeah, but I agree with you in that that we can't. Honestly, we are two different people, and this and this whole thing was not built on equality. You know what I'm saying? You're, I'm you're not right. blaming white people. I'm not saying you're talking about the devil white men. What I'm just saying is that <laughs> it was built with white people in the position of power and everybody underneath them. That's right, but let, let me bring up this point. You brought up like 60 years ago, and it was very racist and uh, very hard for black people, and, and we're still living with the legacy of that. Uh, I, mm -hmm. I said I wasn't around for that. What I have mm -hmm. been around for, though, is to witness a disproportionate amount of crime and uh, single parenthood, abandonment, uh, and, and and basic shenanigans well, on the part of of black people you know, that has wait hold, hold, hold let me finish let me finish that that has affected the way I think uh, mm -hmm. in, in in a negative way and and I'm sorry mm -hmm. as as uh, the upbringing that that maybe your parents grandparents had. Um, that that gave you a negative outlook of how white people treated black people. I'm having the same negative attitudes with the way I see black people treating white people and uh, committing crimes at a disproportionate number. Uh, Fifty percent of of uh, uh, male blacks are are in somehow uh, uh, been either incarcerated or through the court systems. Um, and this has affected me in a negative way. Uh, okay. So I can then blame society. For uh, uh, impacting, uh, um, uh, for having a negative impact on my uh, uh, outlook and 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 uh, of the future of 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 how we're going to get along with uh, each other, um, is that a bad thing or isn't that the same no, thing? No, that's that's the opinion you you you've made up for yourself after years and years of life experience. But let me ask you something. You said so. You told Patrice you you have a scholarship. You have a degree in black people. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, but let me ask you uh, when. Do you understand the history of black people in this country and not just with slavery? Yeah, I understand, understand everything. Uh, oh, of course. Let me say something. Take Let me it say easy, something. Will you cope? Let me say. Mm -hmm. oh, no, I'm just going to say something. Because yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. You're up. Say some things. To, all right. 
first of all, when those, I'm, I'm, I don't want to go there, but I'm just going to go there for a second. When those Africans were enslaved, they were completely erased of all their humanity. And those mm -hmm. slave masters made them into what they wanted them to be. They, they, made, they came up with the whole, oh, black is ugly thing, and y'all are this, and y'all are this, y'all going to take our religion, and this and that and a third. Yeah. What happened was they created shells of human beings and put what they wanted into these people. And when they were done with them, they said, oh, now you're free. And guess what happened? Because they created this thing of a human being, we didn't know what to do. So the simple, the only thing we could do is mimic the best we can what white people do. Oh, and what yes. happened was white people showed and proved that white people were showing as hard as y'all people, y'all little black niggas work to act like y'all us, you will never be us. And that's what so it, everything it, negative in the black uh, community is based on white behavior. We all, all the bad things. Eventually. Yeah, I right. Said, look, okay, how about? Yeah, we also civilized you. Personal responsibility. I, I'm not. I'm not completely knocking you, but if you want to get to the root cause of it, that's what it is. What it I is. actually hear what he's saying. As far as there wasn't any like post-slavery education where it was like, okay, uh, let's let's free the slaves and then work to. Um, work them into society. It was just kind of, hey, you're free, go about your ways. And then for years, uh, for uh, you know, a century, you had people going, we don't know what to do. You know, I understand what you're saying as far as that's concerned, but you're downplaying the adaptability and intelligence of black people no, to I'm be not. able to. Just, I understand. No, what I'm saying, you don't know what I said. What I said was. These people, they pretty much mimic what white people are doing. They figure they build schools, they build churches. We'll be white because our God is, quote, white. You know what I'm saying? Now, what happened was white people at that time were showing and proving you are little black niggas, and we're going to hang you and kill you no matter what God you believe in. Despite the fact that it's our God you believe in, you're looking to be like us, you're not us, and we will never accept you as us. This is back mm. then. Yeah. And this is the mentality we have today. It's a self-hating thing that black people has pretty much perpetuated itself to this day. Yeah, well, it's, what he's saying is white as fuck. I could, you know something, though? I, 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 can, I can actually kind of understand what he's saying. In, in, in a way, I do. Mm -hmm. well, but, you know, well, it, you it, it, well, you but, but I'm also, but I'm also saying that, that there, is, there is an intellect there. There's something there that you need to oh, understand yeah. that, that there's adaptability. People come here from other countries all the time, from countries that are impoverished, from countries that are uneducated, and, and they come here, assimilate to the society, and use it to the best of their abilities to make the best of themselves. But they came assimilated to the society, what, the last hundred years? You, uh -huh. One thing you're doing, though, is you're kind of taking away the human nature factor in it. Like, right, right. Like, there is yeah. a human nature thing where, look, no one can already argue 40 acres and a mule. Everybody knows that that's the reality of what happened. But... You know, like, there's never been a black president, so when a black president wins, attitudes are going to be different. That's just, it's human nature. Well, that, that would happen anywhere. You're right. Oh, uh, well, I got to uh, go. We, yeah, All right, Coop, cool. thank you. Thanks a lot, Coop. Yeah, Let's, we got to take a break. We really have to take a break. Hold, this one really wants to talk to Anthony. Uh, Marianne, can you hold through the break? Yes. All right, hold on. She is. She is. She's a little wound uh, up. She is wound up. You we know? got Nick DiPaolo in studio, nickdip.com. Jimmy's going to uh, Providence tonight for a book signing. Six o'clock, Borders, Providence Place in Providence, Rhode Island. And then Wilbur right. Theater in Boston this weekend. Very cool. Tomorrow Opie and Saturday. Anthony, stay there. Anyone else noticing the Opie and Anthony show just flies by lately? Yeah, it certainly does. Wow. Look at, the, look at the time. We haven't even done anything yet, and we're almost done. We're doing plenty, let me tell you, my we, friend. We got an hour left. Opie and Anthony, NickDip.com, Nick DiPaolo in studio. And uh, Marianne, she's just livid. What's wrong with Marianne? Let's uh, talk to Marianne from New Jersey. What's up, Marianne? Marianne. I'm from Sayville, Long Island. All right, Sayville. Sayville. Right on. Whatever. Okay, that's not my Whatever. point. Whatever. Welcome points. aboard. I'm going to make three quick points. Okay. Well, a, uh, you make your points Anthony. and stay on the line, okay? So we can well, talk. No, I might, all right. Let me okay. see. Go ahead. Okay, go okay, ahead, Anthony, Marianne. For one all right, Marianne, what do you got for the program? Yeah, let her talk. Do I wonder you are. We're just setting don't, up Marianne. Don't, don't interrupt her because I really want to hear what okay. she has. All right, go. Right. Okay. Marianne, one week. Week. go ahead. Son of a bitch. Go ahead. Anthony? Yes. <laughs> one week, you have sound like a sore loser white supremacist. Ooh. Point number one. Uh-huh. Point number two. All right. Open up Newsday today and see what's on the front cover. Seven white kids beating up or killing, killing a man just yep. on rape. Yep, saw number that. Number three. Mm-hmm. Two towns being hit with Ku Klux Klan literature, yep. okay? So don't tell me that the prisons are full of black people. I'm a white woman. I didn't okay? say full. I didn't say full. Get, get, my, 
Get my points right. I said there's a disproportionate number, and I said 50% of black males end up going through some portion of the penal system. That is a fact. That isn't me making sh- crap up. That is a fact. And about me sounding like a white supremacist over the past uh, uh, week or so since Obama was elected, um, I'm seeing things that are happening outside. I'm experiencing things myself. This isn't my uh, uh, imagination. I am being bullied. That is just what, what's happening. And as far as the front cover Newsday, that's a, a horrible story where uh, uh, white kids killed a Hispanic guy just on race alone. How many of those do you see on a daily or weekly basis in the papers? That's why they make front page news. Because they rarely happen. What does happen is groups of black thugs will beat the crap out of white people and rob them. That's the crap that makes page 17. Anthony. What? Why don't you use the power of the media that you have to yep. try to bring... I am. Uh, I am. Thank, Thank, God Thank God I'm here. Thank Jesus yeah. effing Christ. Yeah. But I am yeah. here listen to me. spread my word. You really got to listen to Marianne. She's making a very good what, point, Marianne? Go you got a lot of power. Go what should I be doing, Marianne? Marianne, okay, please tell me. You. Use your power for good, let like Marianne, Marianne's trying to Let no. Marianne tell me what I should be doing. Okay, the country is moving in a new direction yep, right yep, now. Yep. You need to jump on board, mm-hmm. jump on the on the train, yes. and be with everybody That's right. else. Jump on the train? That's what? right. The boxcar yes, to Auschwitz? Separate. Go blow me. All right, I just dumped down. I'm sorry. You, try, you see what you're doing? What? Yeah. How ridiculous. You sound ridiculous. No, you sound ridiculous. You sound ridiculous. You sound ridiculous. A new direction? Douche. Is the new direction uh, five thugs on a sidewalk uh, 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 pulling out their racial crap on me this morning? Just this morning. A because couple of hours ago. On the media. Yeah. Yep. What? Yep. They don't know who the hell I am, yep. dummy. Yep. I know they, they do, right, Marianne? They they listen, you're going to talk <laughs> me like that. I'm hey. hanging up. I'm hey. not listening. Le- you know something? <laughs> yep. Leave your leave your door Marianne. unlocked and your window open at night, and I hope you become a statistic of a home break in, and and you'll see what happens. You'll see what happens when a phone cord's around your goddamn neck. You you friggin' blind bitch. You're a blind bitch. Wow. You don't want to see things. Open your eyes. <laughs> Goddamn C word. You're a C word. I and it that. ends with a T, that whole thing. She's not a cat. She's a crow. She, yeah, <laughs> that's me, a K. <laughs> I know. Let me go up to Boston, Anthony, and say uh, hi to ah, I Assad. Know, I know Boston's going to be. Assad's a black guy. Oh, Come on, geez. Assad. What do you got? Glad what do you got, Assad? There. Yeah, I totally agree with Anthony. I'm tired of black people blaming everything on slavery. That was like 400 years ago. Yeah, baby. Oh, uh, my mom grew up in a rough time. She grew, she went to school in Southie like 30 years ago, which is horrible. And she never told me, oh, hate white people, hate white people. She told me, hey, that's what happened back then. Get over it. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can't use everything like that. And I'm sick yeah. of black people telling their kids, oh, no, the white man's trying to hold you down. That's horrible. That's not true. I mean, most people, Roker. they held themselves back. What was that? Al Roker. Look how well he did. Yeah, see? All right. Here's a nice stat yeah, for you. Thank Three you, times as many young black men are in prison as are in college dorms right now as we speak. Don't you think that's a little odd? And don't tell me it's our racist system. system, yo. system and th- <laughs> yeah, any system will take a crime and then convict you for it. Hey, uh, Fast Freddy writes, I don't think you need to open today's Newsday to see the cover. She's a dummy. <laughs> oh, open. <laughs> she said, right, she I did say that. that. Let's God, go to Dirty funny. Harry in New York. Dirty Harry, what do you got? Hey, uh, you guys are cracking me up because listen, you know, listen. My parents are from Haiti. I'm uh, I'm black, but uh, I'm from I Haiti. A bit out there because you guys are I Haiti. Me. Everybody, yeah, I, <laughs> no, <laughs> go ahead, my friend. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, listen, I mean, Ooh. when I had a my ex girlfriend was uh, was Italian. And her dad did not know who I because obviously I guess I don't sound too black on the phone. Yeah. The day he met me, I realized that I am never stepping in his house again because otherwise I'd get some concrete shoes on. Well, was so he not, Frank Vincent from uh, Jungle Fever? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. I mean, listen, I'm not the average black guy. I played hockey. I snowboard. I just quit a metal band. You know, I you sure I you're black. Thing. Yeah, exactly. Teasing, of course. Did the same damn thing. <laughs> You know what? I still see it. I still see it happening. I see both sides. I understand you guys because I know the night that Obama came in, let me tell you, the city was alight. People leaning on their horns. Every bus driver was going crazy. I thought they were going to run over nearby white people. Yeah, there was yeah, a there were white people, too. 
Yeah. Yeah. White people celebrating. Of course. I don't like that you said you guys. I are all about the black man these days. I, well, I wanted Obama. We're feeling your like pain, him. and we're happy Obama's like in there. Obama. Right, Jimmy? Yeah, you like know it. something? <laughs> let, let, me, let me be completely honest with you. I'll be completely honest with you. All right. Um, okay. I... I <laughs> I've gotten well over the fact that uh, Obama is Dang. elected. My guy McCain, ah, he didn't make it in. He wasn't really not much I, of I a really guy. Really didn't like, on. yeah, what he saw. I'm not Ooh. freaking out like a, the, the greatest candidate he ever got beat. Right. Uh, and I do want to see what Obama can bring to the table as far as uh, being president for for four years. I don't like the fact that he's got a, a lot of Democrats to back him up in Congress, but. Whatever. Let's see what happens. I'm open mind. I'm willing to say, hey, let's see what happens. I think uh, he does seem sincere. Um, uh, I don't like a lot of his positions. A lot of his, his uh, uh, platform stinks. That's if you ask fairness me. doctrine. I don't like that. Right. I don't like his taxing. I don't like his Second Amendment uh, uh, stance. It's horrible. It's an abomination of the Constitution. But look, let me see what he could do. Uh, but it's this other thing, this attitude that is going on in the country. This has polarized the the country, I think, more than brought it together. There's this phony bringing together thing that's going on. It's a phoniness that, uh, again, the media is is perpetrating that makes it look like everyone's getting along, that uh, like everything's a Sunny D commercial where the whole, uh, oh, look, yeah, oh, look there's a little that. Asian kid, a little black kid, the little white kid. They're all in the house getting Sunny D. Well, everyone loves Sunny D. Yeah, what's wrong with Sunny D? Oh, they? Yes. I'm excited to see the miracles because we haven't seen miracles since Jesus. Yeah. I'm just happy that we can finally see Wait, miracles the like they did back, fixed, back when Jesus was doing the miracles. It's going to be good. Oh, it's going to get ugly. He's oh, yeah. the first one. He's the first. Hold on, hold on, sir. He's the first black guy. That's all it is. It's like you got to look at it in a historical sense. No, but he's, he's, he's biracial. Black. He may be but completely he's, he's half white. Black. Statistically, he's black. No, he's not black. And he identifies himself as black. Listen, yeah. uh, hold, 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 hold. back in the day. Uh, you, go. Okay. Okay. Uh, you know what? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's Dirty it's, Harry, I gotta hang up on you. Jimmy's Harry. trying to make it. No, I'm just saying. It's like if you look right. at it a hundred years. Yeah. Uh, let, let's say like what is it? There's 25 more elections. 25 elections. Let's just say four more presidents are black. 21 are white in the next hundred years. Each black president won't matter as much. It, it doesn't matter. It's just the first time you deal with anything, you have to put up with some crap. That's all it is. That's why all... put up with crap and why not put up with some Again, pride? Again, human nature. Some, some uh, uh, have pride in the fact that, wow, you know something? We do live in a country where that if you do use this system, maybe the they'll come out, in Anthony, place, in time. That, no? that it, you know, I, I, look I, at I, me I, being I, the optimist over here. Yeah. Yeah. But, but maybe, I, maybe it will. I didn't know I who think, the hell that was <laughs> talking behind me. I think you're Jesus I, think Christ, I was like, where'd Nick go? It might have. There might be a segment of the population that's like, hey, you know what? Why do you ain't that bad? I'm sure there is a segment of the population. Right. But well, yeah. what I saw this morning was just another little right. jab in my side. They with, with that, we got. There's you, Therese, when you need them. Oh, is that Malik? Oh, no, this is Danny. Oh, oh, this okay. Danny guy, Make I remember you, Danny. Hey, how you doing? Hey, man. How you doing, little Jim? Hey, how are you? This oh, thank you, man. Thank you. This guy has a way of making a point, this Danny. I remember you. Go ahead, Danny. Hey, Anthony. Yo, what's up, let me Let me tell you something, man. You know what the problem is? What? You notice that it's not Opie and um, Lil Jimmy uh, screaming. It's the Italian guys. And the reason is okay. because, you know, back in the days, y'all were the tough guys. After, um, you know, a uh, streetcar called Desire and all that, y'all became the tough guys, the romantic figures, the boxers. Right. And then blacks hit the media, and y'all lost the franchise. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Yeah, that's it. Killers. I love it. Got us nailed, huh, Anthony? The Italians, he, we, we lost the deal, our, our uh, spot on the pyramid. Still but knock out Joe deal, Lewis. Man. Here's the deal. You know how, you know, what happened is y'all created a, well, not y'all, your, your forefathers. They created a permanent underclass, and they didn't um, set up a therapy a situation or a mainstreaming into jobs. They denied them their jobs. So, you know, you have to take uh, responsibility for some no. of the stuff that you say are negative. Not, not this, not, not on, this far on. into it. We only got one black guy who ain't even in yet. Y'all had 43 guys in there. And let me ask you And question. look at what a disaster uh, the United yeah. States has Ended up being the only world superpower power. left. World Hold on, power. 43 yeah. guys in there. Why is there an Appalachian, man? Why is there um, whites in trailer parks and poor whites, man? There are. That's just the way this is. But I'm saying, so why, why? you saying now that Obama said that every black should now become, you know, I didn't I'm say that. I never said that. They just want to be normal people and live normal, man. So then be normal people and live normal. Anthony, it's not my responsibility book, to make someone. a book by Lewis Potts. It's called Liberators on Two Fronts, the Second World War. And hear about two people, blacks and Jews, who went through some horrific wow. stuff, man, by the hands of some misguided people. 
And when you finish that book, man, you're going to change your tune. Believe me. Why, you why do you pick up a book called uh, Slouching Towards Gomorrah by Judge Robert Bork? And then you can well, find out right, how we got the know, let's, let's, let's do each other's. But what right. I'm saying is, Why don't you watch Bridge on the River Kwai? You know something, man? Why don't you pick up I Hate Your you Guts by Jim Norton? <laughs> <laughs> yes, get it Anthony, signed. <laughs> you can set off something, man, that you don't really mean to in a humorous way, but there are some nutcases that really are feeling... You know, pressed upon. They don't understand. People been pressed upon for like a four hundred years here. We've been. Do you don't think you don't think I could go to websites, uh, black separatists, black supremacist websites? The Black Panthers That's are able I'm to walk. Saying, wait, wait, wait. Hold brother. on, hold on, hold on. It's on both the Black, sides. the Black Panthers. No, it's not on both sides. It's one sided. The no, Black Panthers. Not. Yes, they are. The Black Get Panthers are a lot. Can, can I can I talk? You? God well, damn it! I don't know. Can you? Let me tell. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> Love this, Danny. Just quiet for don't a second. Your in a bunch, Jesus man. Christ! <laughs> My panties aren't in a bunch. Look, you proved you're a funny guy, uh, and 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 here's how you you keep talking uh, and don't let me speak. You don't let me speak. No, I'm not gonna let you. La la la! I'm not letting you speak. I'm not gonna let you speak. No. I'm playing sound effects and not letting anyone hear you talk because you won't let me talk. You won't let me say a word. That's how you fight. You just go on in there and don't let me talk. That's it. Screw you. You're not saying another word on my show. Go screw yourself. Thank God the Blazing Saddles template wasn't in. All right, hold on. Give Danny a chance. We've talked a lot, no, Anthony, today. I want to talk. You've, you've, you've done a lot of talking today. Nah, screw him. Da Danny, what's your last point? Let me see what you got to say. Is this Danny Glover? Hopefully it's the last point before I hear you uh, taking your life. What? Wait, let me hear what you got. You annoy me. Yeah, he wants to hear what you have to say. Anthony, let's hear your point. Yeah, go ahead. I forgot. Come on, Anthony. <laughs> Come on. I want to hear your point. Don't play that. Two oh, words. Yeah. Joke. All right, well, let me just say this since you ain't talking. Forget. You know something? You know who would hate for um, slavery to come back more than black people? Hmm. White people. Because with all of the money white women got today and all of the freedom and power, they would buy them some basketball and football teams, and that would be the last naked white woman that white men would ever see. Yeah, I love right. that fantasy they got going. Oh, about white. I know white women that would even talk to you, man. That's yeah. why they're all fat ass, bleach <laughs> blonde uh, pigs. That uh, yeah. just give me a break, would you? <laughs> just stop point, it. You a funny dude. Stop hey, it. Dan hey, Danny, how'd Roy jo Jones? God damn it! He doesn't get shut up. And go talk to those all right. Guys, oh yeah, so get we... out my car and talk to him. Yeah, and get a Reginald Denny hat. <laughs> Get out of here! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You're talking out your ass! You're talking out your ass! Shut up! Maybe you really should... set me straight, Danny. Maybe we should just Don't... do some talking. Yeah, I don't know. Are you maybe we should get to know dead. each other Shut finally. Shut up! Anthony. Yeah, let Why me step out of the vehicle and have a civilized conversation with them. Right, that would have happened at five fifteen in the morning. It I feel like... sorry for the poor white son of a bitch that came upon those guys after I had a discussion with them. That's who I feel bad for because he probably got, there's probably a white guy laying down there on on uh, uh, on Lex Lex and Fifty Seventh. He's probably laying there bleeding as we. Speak. All right, Danny. Uh, I'm a big fan. Bye, Thank Danny. You. Well, we'll see you in the in the 19th century, and we going on to the 21st. Is Danny, that how, Danny, how did uh, Roy Jones Jr. do against Calzaghe, Italian guy? I don't know, but there's yeah, you do guy know, guy stupid. Shut that up. Him in the door, man. All right. I uh. <laughs> <That's> I, uh <laughs> Yap, yap, yap. Don't let anyone talk. No, good strategy. Reginald Denny was actually, here's what happened with Reginald Denny. He did yes. get out, and he's like, someone has taken my hat. And they're like, well, sir, we don't have one, but we do have this porcelain object that you may want to use as a hat. Yes. They were trying to help Reginald. And as you put the hat on, watch me do a little dance. Yes, that was the here's your hat dance. <laughs> Let's go to Boston again. Jason, how are you, buddy? Get out of the car. What was I going to hey, do? Get going, out of here. Yeah, a lot of calls from Boston these days. Take What's up? APC into work. <laughs> Go ahead, Jason. Oh. Hey, what's happening, guys? How you doing? Uh, hey. You know what's going to be funny is uh, all these uneducated people are going to be very upset when they find out that Obama is just as white as you and I. And that guy that just called in saying, welcome to the 21st century, they can't even get out of the 18th century. Sir, let me tell you something about Obama, though. <clears throat> he's not as white as you and I. Obama is, uh, I like him, but he's more radical than he let on. Um, look, it is what it is. The, the, he was there with Jeremiah Wright, said what he said. He probably agrees with a lot of what Jeremiah yeah, Wright great, said. He, right. He's he's more, uh, much more radical. I agree. It, that said, I still like him. But I mean, uh, you know, I really, I don't care if he is. But right. but uh, you, you know, will. don't be fooled, sir. He, you know, no, nah, I don't think. So. Guy brings up a great point, though. It's like the, he's uh, Danny there was telling me uh, to get out of the. Uh, 
the nineteenth century. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do they bring up every two seconds? They bring up the you know the seventeen hundreds. Give me a break. Let's go. To I'm my- in the. I'm in the now. I'm in the future. I have my eyes open. I'm looking at what's going on. And you're paying for the past. Yeah. Let's- exactly. Let's go to Mike and Boston. Five steps ahead, everybody, Pally. Mikey, what's up? Hey guys, how are you this morning? Oh, right. we're loving. Great, it. we're right. loving. Very late back. To say it. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm listening, and I'm, I'm, I can't stop thinking to myself that, that Anthony, you paranoia. It seems like you're you're a couple weeks away from locking yourself in the basement of your nice house with your guns on your chest, and uh, <laughs> you, know, you feel that uh, Five weeks you're away. Taking over here. I just, love the unraveling of Anthony. Exactly. You'll be able to see it. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. The unraveling of Anthony's beautiful. I the it's look the makes for great radio. Look, the only reason I <laughs> when you do like have a nervous breakdown, can you at least do it with one of your voices? <laughs> this will not turn into a nervous breakdown. This is somebody You were just bragging to Nick about how many guns you have. I said, Wow, it sounds like a sock drawer, but it's filled with guns instead of socks. The That's only how many reason, guns you got. Look, look, I'll be real for a second here. The yeah. only reason I own guns and I purchase guns is because with the Democrats in office, they're not going to allow me to purchase the guns I want. They dub them assault weapons and take them off the market. So I have to buy them now so I can own them in the future. Believe me, in, in within four years of that election, they're going to reenact the assault weapons ban, and you're not going to be able to get an AR-15 anymore. You're not going to. You're going to be able to get bolt action a uh, hunting rifle, maybe with for ammunition. You're going to pay 500% tax on ammunition. So I'm buying up stuff I'm not going to be able to get. You can do a lot with a bolt-action rifle. Look at our old friend uh, Lee Harvey. Lee Harvey. Outstanding. (laughs) (laughs) It's turning into the opium Captain Quig show. (laughs) (laughs) Strawberries. How many portions did you have? Exactly. They they were all looking at me. They were yelling Obama. I knew that he hadn't won the election. Call me old Yellowstain. (laughs) Old Yellowstain. I knew. Stupid Fred McMurray. Yeah. Yeah. I got the Yellowstain blues. They made a song about him. (laughs) I love the excitement Anthony has lately. Oh, look at Reginald. Oh, yeah. thanks, Danny, for pulling that up. Look at them There's helping Reynolds, him out. Reginald, yeah. Danny. Oh, they were helping him. That's He's like, it. my hat. Where's my hat? Like, Wait, get this guy a hat. Find a hat for him. Oh, oh, lay- all lazy. He's laying, but you know what? He's Taking so nap- upset that he doesn't have a hat. He's laying down. He's trying to reach for his hat. And then look at this gentleman that comes over and gives him a hat. I think he's already been given Oh, is he a mess? Wow. That Unbelievable. Poor bastard. All right, we got to take a break. Listen, uh, blacks were barely considered human 60 years ago. That's Malik. Wants to defend Anthony. He is my brother in arms. Aren't the blacks uh, the ones that sold their own people to us? In a, uh, this guy's in a mixed relationship. I endure racism all the time. Parole officer, 100% of my parolees are black. Watch uh, 48 Hours, that show where they uh, take the first yeah. first 48. Yeah. And this Why is, is it? That it's 99% black people committing these uh, crimes. I have an answer for that. Yeah. Can't, do you? Yeah, yes. Jimmy will tell Would you. Would you please give me He'll tell I'm, you after the break. I'm not being negative here. I'm no, not being a racist. I'm not I want to know why. You, is it, is it yeah, the Jimmy's media? got an answer for you after <laughs> the break. And also, uh, speaking of racism, the, the biggest racist we know will join the show next. Uh, do, why are we even having him on today? Uh, uh, well, Brian Reagan. He has a lot to say about Dude. this black oh. and white thing. He is probably the biggest racist. Wasn't he we know. head of the Klan once? I, I do believe he was. So. Mm-hmm. Brian Regan next. <laughs> Opie and Anthony. <laughs> Opie and Anthony. Starring Jim Norton on the bestseller list with I Hate Your Guts. Yes. Yeah. Congrats. Thank you, man. We're very happy for Jimmy. I'll be signing tonight at Rhode Island, uh, 6 o'clock at Borders on Providence Place in Providence. I read your Oscar chapter last night. Loved it. Thank you, man. I read your chapter on. Uh, the quote dude that got pregnant. Oh, did you give oh, him a beating yeah. in your book? I loved it. Because the media, like, make him believe it, it was an actual man that was uh, pregnant. Pregnant man. And Jimmy made some fine points in his book. I hate your guts about that whole thing. It was a lesbian. Yeah. Just had pretty, pretty much. Yeah. Sim- simple as that. Uh, Nick DiPaolo from NickDip.com. And I'm pregnant also. You might- yeah. Found out, <laughs> and the racist Brian Regan in yeah. studio. So uh, yeah, we're yeah, all set that, for another fine hate, state, man. Hate, hate all you can. <laughs> <laughs> we got uh, Mike in New York. He's a black guy. Because now, when you leave. call the show, you either have to say you're a black guy or a white guy. Yeah. Uh, and he's a motivational speaker for black youth, and he agrees with a lot of well, Anthony's points. Failing. Interesting. Uh, Mike, how are you, buddy? 
What's going on, man? First of all, I'm from Buffalo, um, and uh, I want to apologize for the time I woke you up in your apartment. And uh, <laughs> you know, I really, um, I, and that's why I chose motivation. You know, motivation speaking to get my life together. So you know, nice. Hey, you helped me. But listen, um, uh, first of all, Jimmy, congratulations on the book, man. You Thank know, you, man. You very much. You're, you're a very funny dude. Thanks, Mike. And uh, Anthony, you're hilarious too. But I'm Thank about you, to sir. get in your behind right now. So all listen. right. All right. What happens is a lot of times. Most of the stuff that goes on, man, I agree with 100%. 100%. I mean, it's self-inflicted. You know, the foolishness that, you know, these kids, you know, and it's mostly the youth. You know what I mean? Like, to catch my age, I'm 41 years old. Yeah, got yeah. A big, we kind of move beyond that kind of stuff. You know, we realize that, you know, getting a house and a job and a car and a family, that's where you, you know, that's how you do things. But what I explain to the youth is they've got somebody for you. That's just called the law. You understand? The law will take care of them because they play right into the law's hands. But, like, when I speak to the younger, you know, the uh, like the freshmen in college, the ones who are actually trying to do something, I tell them the most dangerous black person is the one who sits back and learns and takes from the, you know, the power that be, you know, that be, the, you know, the white statue. You why, sit back why, and learn from them. I understand that, but why does it have to be that? Like, why... Why does it have to be the the most dangerous is the one that learns? Like, why do oh, you want to be? Why, why does the why? youth want to be dangerous and and have to have this uh, uh, street cred and 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 respect? No, you're not getting it. And, not and getting the, no, because it sounds like it's, it goes the, the most dangerous is the educated going to school. Like, wh why motivate like that? No, 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 I'm not motivating like that. What I'm expressing is when you're viewed a certain way. Like I said, the, the, the thugs or what have you, the, you know, the image that is portrayed on TV, like I said, the first 40 hours, those fools always get caught because they're dummies, okay? Yep. Now, when you educate yourself, whatever that may be, you know, however that may be, you are the one who has the advantage. All you have to do is sit back and watch, you understand, and observe, then... You get what you want. You don't have to go out and steal and this and that. So that's what I mean by dangerous. I'm not talking about dangerous to the white man or whatever. I'm just saying that's when you become cunning. You know, that's when you become you know intelligent. That's what you want to be. Street street credibility is, is crap. There's no such thing, man. Yeah. Well, apparently it's pretty important to certain uh, people. Well, you know, when that's all you know that you strive for, you know, small things do become important to you. That's nothing, man. You understand? The most important thing is, like I said, the image and the legacy that you leave. When you have kids, you know what I'm that's where I'm at. You know what I mean? Yeah, you got kids. Yeah, I got, I got uh, little girls, man. You know, and and that's very important to me. Me not being you have one, my father. You have one one woman that you're with, or, or with yeah, I'm these married. Girls? I'm married. I've been married four years now. See, all that stuff. See, you mean one woman? See, there you go. Uh, no, no, I'm just asking. You know, I don't get it. There you go. I just wanted to see. You know, I love you, but I know. I just wanted to see. Just wanted to see, my friend. Because there is. Uh, you're not saying that there's a disproportionate number of single uh, 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 mo mothers out there and kids being raised by grandparents. You don't see that, Anthony. You're surprised when you when you hear that a black guy's actually married with kids and doing That's the right what thing. I, I just was asking. Okay. Why do I have to catch crap for asking? There's plenty of black guys out ask. there married with Give me kids my doing the right shells. thing. Give me my eggshells and I'll walk on them. Ugh. <laughs> Tired of it. But dig it. Like I said, that's important to me. Me, like I said, my situation was my dad was, you know, a heroin addict. You know, I'm, like I said, I, that was the era he was from. You know, he didn't, you know, he didn't contribute. Mom did, you know, grandma did, that type of thing. So you can either use that as a crutch and be a scumbag uh -huh. or... You can, like I said, do better. See, like I said, my legacy for my daughter would not be the same as my father's was for me. Oh, good. I say that's good. But I swear that's good. That's what it's about. So it's, but what you have to understand, there is a number of, you know, there's a number of black men who, who do, you know, fit the profile that, that I just described to you. Mm -hmm. You know, but then again, society's job, I'm, I don't want to say media because, you know, that's, that's lame, but the betrayal often is the negative because positive never sells. You know that. Yeah. Let, me, let me ask you a question because I, I haven't experienced the same thing Anthony has, but I mean, I you know, Anthony has certainly seen it. No, oh, you will. No, no, I, I mean, um, <laughs> but what are right, you? You're a black guy. So what is, uh, you know, you have the inside skinny. What's, yeah. what's the what's what's the vibe among black people? Is it more happy that Obama got elected or is it more uh, okay. uh, all of a sudden an anger is servicing? All right, listen, OK, again, let me let me break it down this way. You have certain groups with certain emotions, okay? So, like I said, the people my age, the ones that I roll with, 
we're just happy of the you know for the symbolism of it. Right now, we're not we're not fools to think we can just go get free Cadillacs and two white women and all that. That's not going to be the, that's not going to be the federal law. Well, not as you know, platform. We, yeah. <laughs> so, like I said, we well, my, white group, my group is excited. You know about the fact that you know we actually saw this. It's cool. Now, if he does, you know, change something, if he changes, he just makes the economy better. It's great. Okay, mm -hmm. he's done his job. Like I said, Anthony, I hear about you, you know, with your taxes, your stories and all that. Like I said, I listen every day, you know. Mm -hmm. I love you. Thank you. I understand where you come from. You know, you put yourself up by your bootstraps, but if you ain't got no boots, you might be, you know, you're in trouble. You know what I mean? A lot of people out here ain't got no boots, man, for whatever reason. Well, so you know something when you're in, when you're in, when you're inside and you realize that you need boots, you got to do something to get some boots. Yeah, you can't go out feel. without boots and then go, "Why don't I have boots? <laughs> Let me <laughs> take some that. boots." <laughs> you go steal some boots then. <laughs> no, but listen. What happened is like I said, the other group are the people that you talk about that I hear, you know, uh, Obama's going to, you know, uh, just change things over. He's not. You know, let's be realistic. Even if it was, it was a white man in it, he wasn't going to change it. It's too many, it's too many things on the menu exactly. to be changed. You know what I mean? So if he throws us a bone, you know, or whatever it is, that's cool. He's done his job, but he's not going to make it a black world to where, you know, like I said, we run around slapping white folks no. and getting off, and we don't do that. You do that under white presidents. Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, Regan. Uh, hey, I was <laughs> blaming our president. That was Nick DiPaolo. Oh, that was oh, Nick. No. Let me get that straight. <laughs> I Poor said one funny it. thing in an hour. That was Nick DiPaolo. Nick DiPaolo. <laughs> NickDip.com. Well, okay, if, if Regan had, like, black protesters outside his shows <laughs> yeah. screaming that he was a racist. Hey, wait a minute. I didn't say uh, that. I didn't say that. What did I well, say? Like I, well, like I said, man, it, it's just, like I said, I, I, I'm always, I've always been an open mind. You know, I've got white friends, and I'm not saying that to be cliche, yeah. but my white friends are the white friends who... Uh, my white friends were white trash. Put it that way. Yeah. You know, because those, those are the white guys that I knew, you know, kind of like you, Anthony, growing up. Always yeah, it's true. Night, I, I'll know? absolutely put mm -hmm. myself in the white no, trash I section. Stuff like that. I was Long stuff. Island white trash growing up. Absolutely. Right, and I, and I can tell that. You know, and I, and I love you for that. <laughs> Anthony's rich like Steve Martin was in The Jerk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's sweet. I like that. But listen, like, like, Jim, now listening to you guys talk, Jimmy, I can tell Jimmy has dealt with black people and he knows black people, you know, he actually, I don't want to say study, but he actually kind of picked up a lot of things. I hear how he talks. Anthony, you know, right. you, went the, you went through the, you went through the, give me 50 cent stage, give me some money, I'm going to kick your ass stage, you yeah. know, and, and Anthony, and, and, and Opie, Opie just, you know, you Opie's know, been Opie sheltered from black people in yeah, center court. Opie, Opie, man, he, you know, he sees black people and thinks, you know, Jesus Christ, what, you know. Nah, yeah, that guy comes. Opie worked with them as caddies at uh, the Christmas no, I, club every yeah, so exactly. often. No, my, my sport growing up was uh, basketball, so, you know, a lot of interaction. Well, yeah, I, I, I mean, my famous, my, my famous story, you know, I was hanging out with black people so much, I felt like I could talk like them a little bit. Not, not wigger crap, but... You know, on the basketball court, they're throwing the N-word around, and one of my my good friends, he, you know, I've told the story a million times, but he he, he sinks a he sinks a three pointer, and I turn around and I go, nice shot, N. And uh, next thing you know, I'm waking up because he knocked me out, <laughs> knocked me out, and I learned a valuable lesson. Uh, a lesson. Oh, okay. I guess I can't say that word in front of other black people, well, even if I that. meant it in a in a nice way. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't a good shot. Maybe it was not a good. <laughs> yeah, shot. right. Yeah. <laughs> You're looking at it different. He yeah. said it to the wrong guy. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with that. It was he, it was an air ball. He, he missed completely. Yeah. I grew up listening to Off the Wall because you know my fellow basketball players were enjoying the early Michael Jackson stuff. Right. I tried to uh, assimilate. <laughs> okay. Do you mean Michael Jordan? No, I said uh, Michael Jackson off the, off the wall. Oh, off the wall. Okay, yes. good. I'm a little slow. This Last time yeah. was a male. Yeah, no. But. Yeah, exactly. But like I said, man, like I, I'm a great fan, man. Like I said, I listen all the time. Thanks, man. And uh, whenever I'm in New York, you, you, you better let me in the studio. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah, we will. Thanks, Without Mike. Hey, I appreciate uh, it. Later. Very hey, good man. phone call from Mike in Buffalo. So, Hey, Brian, what are you up to? You're you're playing tonight in uh, where? Kingston, uh, New York? Kingston, New York. Ooh. Ulster Performing Arts Center. And then uh, Boston on Friday, Atlantic City Saturday. Wow. Good Stamford, routing. Stamford, Connecticut. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> and then <laughs> Fairbanks on uh, Sunday morning. Fairbanks, Miami. Alaska. You know then what? Miami. You should have started at AC and worked your way up or started at Boston and worked your way down. Well, yeah, I he has to go to Boston, then Atlantic City, and then back up to Connecticut, according to your uh, schedule here. 
Uh, it's all on Brian Regan. Right I just now. picture <laughs> I picture this like Learjet with Regan on yeah, the tail. I, I wish. Right, and yeah. he just gets on there. All yeah. right, pilot. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're going to change gears for a second. We lost another DJ. What? Uh, this one, we can't really help the guy out on this one. We no. try to help out the guys that are getting fired for... For doing for you know, things? some pretty what he do pretty basic tame stuff. He said, "Dang it!" Well, oh, it's now, a, now you're in trouble. <laughs> it's, <laughs> a, <laughs> it's a liberal uh, talk show host, and he had some things to say about Joe the plumber. Uh, but the problem was, it was a hot mic, and they were doing some kind of news report, and you could hear him in the background just cursing and, oh, and, and saying, you know, crazy stuff about Joe the plumber. And he doesn't use enough flux when he <laughs> solders pipe. Yeah. Flux, I remember that. Flux. <laughs> This is you this... gotta you use more flux. <laughs> Shut up with your flux. Can't they invent uh, solder? They still have that? I don't need flux. It's like I air... don't know. Every time I was in the work truck, there was that goop with the brush yeah, stuff it's like in air it. Like airwax. You gotta yeah. put flux on it. It makes the solder flow. How funny would it be if there was a flux university? Oh, the t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's 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 play this clip from uh, the radio guy that got fired. Listen to this. With only a few days to go before the election, John McCain tells ABC News Radio there's still a lot of work to do. We're going to campaign hard. We're going to campaign on the differences between myself and Senator Obama. Joe the plumber made it very clear to the people of this country that uh, he wants to, uh, quote, spread the wealth around. I want Joe the plumber don't want that. <laughs> this guy. I actually agree with him. Yes. This guy is so fired. Uh, with the bleeps, it messes it up a little bit. He write, uh, he said, F goddamn Joe the oh. goddamn plumber, effing effer. I want mother effing Joe the plumber dead. Oh, I like it because you disagree with him? Yeah. <laughs> Typical I, liberal douche. I think he got fired because of the effing. Drop an of F course. Of, you know, Good. Talking See about ya. Joe the Good plumber. riddance, you intolerant douche. Yeah. <laughs> That's the uh, same station uh, that Bernie Ward was on, who was a real uh, left. Uh, oh, Bernie very liberal. Ward was a naughty, oh, naughty boy. Bernie Ward was very naughty. He had yeah. a very naughty hard drive. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Bernie Ward apparently mm. liked to send uh, naughty photos of uh, people who were allegedly not eighteen. Oops, they weren't. They were kids, and uh, that's, a, that's a station whose talk format is suffering. Yeah. Wow. The guy that uh, we just played, he also uh, played Ding Dong, The Witch is Dead when Reagan died. Yeah. Really? And also wow, said, he's edgy, huh? He's brave. And also said Tony Snow got cancer because he lied to the American people. So. Oh, is that right? Oh. I'm curious. I, I that clip, the, the guy was talking. Yeah. Um, didn't, I mean, he knew the guy was on the air. That's why I don't understand that. Well, no, the guy talking was the host, and he didn't realize that he hadn't turned his mic off, so he's playing a news clip, cursing in the background with his own live mic on. We do that all the time here. Oh, when we're oh, playing right. some audio, yeah. we keep our mics on. Another genius liberal. A lot of a lot of these guys turn the mic off until the clip's over, and uh, yeah, I don't think he it, meant to. I hope he finds a lump on his left mm. nut. And spreads I don't his. think he meant to be <laughs> throwing the f bombs out there. Even like though that. he is a liberal tool, I like him because he said something awful about a dead guy. He attacked cancer, and then he wants Joe the plumber dead. The guy's just kind of a dick, which I. I kind of I like that. He's a like dick. A triple whammy. Man. Yeah, guy's a kind douche. of a cowardly dick. Say something. Yeah, you know, I make a joke about Martin Luther King Jr. They don't. Yeah, go ahead. Try that. Yeah. What, do, do you agree with everything that he did, so that there's nothing you can say exactly. bad about him? Exactly. Uh, so pick one thing that uh, you don't agree with and throw that out there. He, they never. Reverend tried. Abernathy. <laughs> they pick the easy targets. A dead Ronald Reagan. Wow, that one's gonna come back to haunt you. Yeah, yeah exactly. Literally. Boo. Yes, boo. <laughs> Fake shock stuff. <laughs> Say something about somebody who can pop you in the mouth. Yeah, yeah do that. that. That would be edgy. Yeah, they are a bunch of just. Yeah, they're, they're fake the cowards. Babies. That's why their radio, uh, any of the liberal radio stations go on the toilet after five minutes. Phony you know. bravado that just, yeah, pick Oh, I don't targets. know about that. That guy's pretty dangerous. Yeah, he sounds it. How about yeah. like he's a dick? What's going to do? Uh, Reagan, uh, there's ten years he didn't know where he was. He finally dies. Thank God for, for Reagan. He was probably like, you know, thanking God that the death finally came knocking. And that's the the guy he chooses to play Ding Dong. The witch is dead. First of all, how relevant is that? That's 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 years in, in, after in that, that city, very. <laughs> what city was that, Jimmy? <laughs> San Francisco. Yeah, I oh, love that one. Oh, yeah, of course. There you go. Yes. Which is dead, but the queen's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Give me those ribs, you. <laughs> 
All right, I think we should take a break to catch up. Oh, for Christ's sake, we're just getting we, going. I know yeah, we yeah, are, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Take Something a break. Something from the Eagles? <laughs> <laughs> now we got to take a uh, you know, commercial break. This is Got to pay some talk. bills. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you my... Huh? Jimmy, I'll show you my stimulus package during the break. Oh. <laughs> Nick DiPaolo, NickDip.com, Brian Regan, BrianRegan.com. And then the, See, then the fans go there and figure yeah. out what you're up yeah, to. All right, very, Jim, very Norton, easy. Jim Norton has no website because what happened, Jimmy? It just sucked. What happened? I had to take it. I had eatabullet.com taken down because it was so it was being handled. You don't need it. Do you have Jim Norton? I, I have to because MySpace is not as popular. No, Jim Norton is being a cyber squatter who, who I hope is. I hope uh, it's at the funeral of a relative right now. They won't let it go. What happened to you to Bullet? Uh, it was, I, I once, I tried to send out another email blast, and once again, I got an error message, and I've talked to the company, uh, so many times, uh, accurate imaging about it, and ne- nothing ever got fixed. Wow. So I've taken it down, I'm gonna have it redone with another company. I can't, I can't handle that anymore. Technology bites you in the ass. It's yeah, it's it's yeah. yeah, technology doesn't like it. Jimmy. It holds the back of my head and, cl- and gags me in my throat. Yeah. All right. <laughs> wow. It bites me in the ass to be friendly as opposed to the head <laughs> hanging over the back of the bed I get. <laughs> oh. You should explain it that way to the tech guy when he's working. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... Let me, let me explain what, what it feels like. Yeah. <laughs> now you fix that. Yeah. It, technology pinches my nose and makes me swallow. <laughs> yeah. Can you fix that? You got a tool that will fix that? <laughs> Can you solder something? <laughs> the flux. Uh. After the break, the Paul Abdul story. It's terrific. All right. Even if you don't give a crap about Paul Abdul, it's an amazing story. We'll uh, uh, explain next. Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. During the break, we're watching TV, and, uh, you know, the, uh, the the shows that should be talking about this crap we're talking about, they're doing other stuff, like they're interviewing Muppets. They're doing a whole uh, look back at the 80s on another channel. Uh, they're showing t- DeLoreans. Uh, they're showing a DeLorean. Uh, they just had Richard Simmons on the air. Why? I don't know. Well, what do you mean why? He's ripped. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's ripped, all right, and I hear he needs a few stitches because of it. <laughs> <laughs> hard, hard night last night. Oh, yeah. Why aren't people buying into his crap uh, year after year after year? Not a hint of a muscle on this guy. I thought we couldn't talk about him. Oh, we can? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, he, him we can. It was something else. <laughs> And we can Absolutely. talk about that other thing, too. We just choose not to at this point. I think he lives on heavy cream and lasagna. <laughs> uh, yeah, they. Uh, but, man, how many years? 30 years this guy been around doing this crap? With his dumb short shorts. Sweating to the oldies. Well, well when is he going to sweat to anything? He doesn't. He just cries right, uh, and tells people to spray stuff on their salad yeah. and they'll lose weight. Yeah, that, you ever try that crap? Spraying yeah. a little... It's, I don't know. It doesn't work. He tries the other way. He sprays stuff on his face <laughs> out of another dispenser. Yeah. <laughs> then he rubs lettuce on it and eats it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy jeez. What kind of show is this? Oh, <laughs> my goodness. How else this are you is... supposed to get protein from your salad? <laughs> yeah. It's oh, a, my goodness. Not many calories. No, but... Uh, NickDip.com. I, I want to say it on the air. I say it every time Nick DePaul is in. This guy should be on the radio full time, and uh, he's not, which is just uh, insane what this business is doing um, to talented people. Get- Nick is one of the funniest people I know. Yes. Thank you. As, as, far, as, ha- as right. far as hanging out, like, you know, I mean, he's hysterical on stage, but <laughs> I sat next to Nick at Caroline's. And I laughed for about a half hour straight, man. Nice. Now that comes from a guy. When I first came to New York, Brian, I saw I saw Brian at Catch Rising Star. I was hanging out there. Yeah. You know, and I remember being sticking my head in and seeing him. You were breaking down a sentence. Remember that bit? You, <laughs> and I, I almost packed my bags and went back to Boston. I, I can't play with these guys. <laughs> I mean, and uh, you know, I appreciate it. And I he's can... doing a th- he's doing a theater, so is Jimmy, and you know, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm doing. Uh, I'm just frustrated. I've been <laughs> doing the lobby. Of the <laughs> uh, apparently, my racial no, I'm just, angles not working. Yeah, well, I would show up. I'd I'd watch you in the lobby. Thanks, man. Bri. I'm just frustrated by the radio business because this is a perfect time to do like FM talk. I mean, we oh, have a black that, president, right. and and the youth of America were the ones that voted like yeah. crazy this time around. It's perfect. Nothing People want to talk, talk about, about right, this okay. stuff. I know. I it's know. like, I don't know what they're doing in these corporate offices. I do. They're playing the Eagles again. Why? Who gives a crap? There's more important something things. Charlie like, Pride. Yeah. There's more important things going on in this country right now. It's perfect. It's perfect timing again, to bring back kind of like a young talk thing. That's you really like co- Charlie Pride? I, I don't know where that came from. I like Charlie Pride. He, he's terrific, right? Yeah. Black uh, country sang, singer? Yeah, he sang... Uh, he sang... Uh, oh, my God. Uh, uh, the most beautiful... Uh, 
Have you Girl in the world. No, that's Charlie Rich. And if oh, you that's Charlie Rich. Oh, she cried. Right. Uh, Charlie Pride should be crying. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, Charlie Rich would say, what was the other song he had, Most Beautiful Girl? And the other one he would say, Take the ribbon from, from your, your hair. hair. He would say, Oh, talk. He had that awful, like, Hyman Roth thing with his K. <laughs> she loved to talk. <laughs> I don't remember be that one. Two oh. syllables at that moment, and he had to stretch it out. You know? Talk. <laughs> wait, I wait. do that with some punchline. <laughs> yeah, right, <laughs> right Brian? The money's on yeah. the table. I'll let we have hang. a deal. Talk. <laughs> if not talk. What was the stupid song? Um, I know what you're I talking know, about. Jimmy. We'll, we'll Probably get it rich. for you. Somebody uh, will call in. Yeah, we'll get it for somebody you. Somebody white second. in the late 80s will have sure. it. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got to do the Paul Abdul story before we get out of here. Uh, what happened? Well, we're going to go We're gonna go backwards. This crazy chick uh, auditioned for American Idol a few years back, and we got a uh -huh. couple clips from her audition, and then it leads to what happened to her today. Mm -hmm. I hope yeah, it wasn't bad. You have to have a certain, have have a certain personality to be able to carry my look off. Not anybody can do it. And where on earth could she have gotten the inspiration for this style? I really like Paula Abdul a lot. She's really cool. Hey, baby. I'm like a really big fan, and I make life-size drawings of Paula. Is this I've been ever since I was a little kid. <laughs> and my first drawing was of Paula Abdul. Brace yourself, Paula. Your number one fan is on the way. Oh, she's got braces. That's why he said brace yeah. yourself. Oh. Remember that uh, this this one is a huge Paul Abdul fan. Yeah. All right, and then she uh, finally meets uh, Paula and the rest of the judges. What's your name? Paula. Paula. And my name. You had it first, so, okay. <laughs> yeah. It's a similarity here. Huh? More than just the name. Yeah, <laughs> the odor. Oh. I just said there's a similarity. <laughs> Yeah, uh, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, they're both I nuts. Definitely. <laughs> I think it's a compliment because you're beautiful. No, I right? mentioned it's a compliment. Yeah. Oh, thank Once again, oh. she really likes Paul Abdul. Did she, she ever? Dresses like her. How's this going to end, huh? Oh boy. And what are you going to sing? Proud Mary by I Can Tina Turner. Fabulous. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, that's a good job in the city. <laughs> Work is all the man every night and day, and I never lost one minute of sleep. It wasn't worried about the way things might have been. Did you not hear the X? There is a similarity. <laughs> oh, oh, stop it. Oh, wow. Wow, that's, yeah. Stop it. Don't be funny, Salt dog. Down. My goodness. That was her audition. This is what oh. the judges had to say. We're getting there. We're almost there. Uh, Paula. Okay, I thought you meant me. Oh, my God. No, Paula or Paula? She should yeah. be rolling on the river like well, Frederica Paula, Bimmel was. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's a good or bad. It's a very big fat girl. No, it's not a great thing. It's well, it's not a good thing by being speechless. Uh, this, oh. this time, no. Okay. No? Randy? That was terrible. What was that? But I don't think any artist on earth could sing with that much metal in your mouth anyway. You have so much metal in your mouth. <laughs> She's got braces. It's not so much metal. Yeah, but it's metal. It's braces. Yeah. People have them. People yeah, have but braces. You, yeah, but can you sing with all those? Yes. Yeah, people can. <laughs> That's like a bridge. I mean, it's... What? <laughs> and finally, before we get to what happened today, she says goodbye. I mean, I was pitchy on a couple of notes. Big... Pitchy. Deal. There's a lot of people they send to Hollywood that can't even really hold a note. I mean, come on. Yeah. You know what? It's not over. I'm not going to stop singing just because you don't like my voice. Yes, you will. <laughs> you sure will. Well, fast forward a couple of years, and there's a cute little story coming out of L.A. today. Oh, okay. Heard her pitchy little voice? Yeah. <laughs> Let me guess, Tommy Mottola signed her? <laughs> <laughs> life ended Tuesday night. Oh, wow. That's, uh, what? Here we go. And this is where her life ended Tuesday night, 200 oh. feet from the front of Paula Abdul Sherman Oaks' home. Oh. A photo of her idol was hanging from the rearview mirror in the oh, car no. where Goodspeed apparently took an overdose of drugs. Oh. The person on the license plate read ABLLB for Abdul Love. In Thousand Oaks, Goodspeed's mother was in seclusion, but neighbors spoke of her daughter's unique appearance. She seemed to be very pleasant. You know, she, she from a distance, she looked just, just different just for her appearance. <laughs> Because she had um, strange clothes, you know, she had a lot of makeup, she had some piercings, because when I'm talking with her, she um, obviously had a tongue piercing. 
Well, I had a similar experience. <laughs> and wow, then, that's that's <laughs> upbeat. <laughs> Cute story. A couple weeks ago, I took 20 Ambien in front of Shaka Khan's house from Raven Hill. <laughs> Uh, here's a little more to the story. Some neighbors have noticed that Goodspeed was a fan of Paula Abdul's. Um, in passing, her drapes are always open, and I noticed a lot of pictures on the walls. LAPD now confirming that over the past year, they were called several times to Paula Abdul's home to deal with problems called by, uh, caused by Goodspeed. In one of those instances, she had overdosed on drugs. She survived because paramedics got there just in time. There you go. Uh, so the first couple was a cry for help. Yeah. That's creepy. Oh, get Paul Abdul on the phone. I don't know how many pills I've <laughs> How many, Is this Paul? Could you get... That was our mistake. Trying to get through to Paul and time ran out. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder how Paula's going to handle this. She's not exactly stable herself. She's probably I'm... rifled through the girl's pockets for more pills. <laughs> 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 Got to be some extra ones in here somewhere. Yeah, she couldn't have taken them all, selfish right. bitch. <laughs> oh, that's tragic. So what else is in the news? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm with you on that. Good. Yeah, let's go to traffic. <laughs> let's go to traffic. <laughs> now it's time for traffic and weather together with Brian Regan. That was horrible. Paul Pierce had 34 points last night. Celtics doing all right, man. Yeah. A big game tonight, though. You got the Pats and the Jets. Yeah, yeah, I don't get the NFL oh. Network. Re- what well, we Do can, I? We could get the game here in New York, can't we? Yeah. Well, I'm not going to pay. Are you for scared? It. Me? No, I'm not talking about paying. I don't have the NFL Network on my cable system up in Westchester. We get it locally. Yeah, you don't get the. I live in Westchester. No, you get some. They said I have to go up my roof and face towards Mecca. With <laughs> <on> my ass, <laughs> and I might get the second half. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine biggest game of the year. I'm going to be watching Northern <laughs> Illinois <laughs> with Boise on ESPN2. <laughs> but I'll stay up for that. I do love college ball. Brian, didn't you play college ball, Brian? Yes, Florida? I did. Wow. No, no, no. no. In, uh, Where? Ohio. Heidelberg College. You played that football? Right? Yeah, he was a receiver, college. right? See how impressed That's everybody is? white boy. I was, no, I was a wide receiver. Yeah. Really? He had blinding uh-huh. speed. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I was blinding. Uh- um... <laughs> Yeah, I, I caught a touchdown pass. See that? You did. <laughs> All right. That was it, huh? Last Thanksgiving on the front lawn. <laughs> I caught one touchdown pass in college and one in high school. That was it. That was it. That's that a boy. Yeah, but, uh, you know, I, I was okay, I guess. Did you really, were you hoping to, uh, you know, be a football player? No, football? No, 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 no. In fact, I, I'm glad I went to a small college because I, I wanted to be able to play. I was able to play as a, yeah. you know, one sophomore one. and stuff like that. Sure. So mm-hmm. it was fun. Well, I never would have uh, had you picked for a, a ball player. <laughs> I, know, I remember hearing that. Something. I know. We don't know what to say to you. Yeah. Uh, I played high football in high school, but not in college. I played in college. You didn't play football, Jim. I did. No, you didn't. You played in high school? Yes. Or? No, you didn't. Look at his eyes. Jimmy <laughs> used to break wedges for Notre Dame. <laughs> Nobody believes this. The, the 12th man. He was. He was like Rudy of his time. <laughs> Rich Voss was a discus thrower. Wow. <laughs> Are you, no, you're no. kidding, right? Of course I'm kidding. <laughs> Jeez, that, was just how how kidding like that was just how Voss spelled disc. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the worst. That's so funny. Uh, Nick, everyone's trying to tell you the game's on Channel 11. But you're oh, saying, is it? You're saying in Westchester you don't get the game? I don't get game, Channel 11 either. Which is get, pretty close I to New York. I get one channel, 71, and that's it. That was, yeah. It's a terrible cable system. And we got the Charlie <laughs> Pride song channel. before we get oh, out channel of here. Oh, yeah. it, it was, uh, what was it called, Mike? <laughs> That's when we get behind yeah, closed we just hear, Oh, how we talk. <laughs> <laughs> now i got to hear that. you got to hear it straight. Good how she loves to talk. you got a great oh, voice. Yeah, that is. I like that stuff. Yeah. That uh, is. Brad? Yeah, guys. Good evening. It is that song. Hey, Brad. Hey, uh, once we get behind closed doors, I believe. You're right. Yeah, there you right, go. Right. Okay. Well, where's the K in doors? Help yeah. me out. Well, he doesn't <laughs> say anything. Jesus. And it's something about talking. Well, and yes. we get to talk. Hold on. I'm looking at this. You're thinking of the Yiddish version? Naked girls. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. Is that Brian in the... Oh, they had a football no. yeah, player. Yeah, right. It looked oh, like... Brian's supposed to be on the right. Upper right. <laughs> <laughs> you thought it was him in like a 1930s football oh, car. What is thing. that on the upper right? That's, I have, that's I have a, a naked woman. That's I Brian have... stretching his hamstrings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my college football video. <laughs> that's him on the training table. 
Somebody rug- yeah. Somebody's rubbing bag bomb on his. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, is that a beautiful ass? Yeah. I got a full yeah. rod. What comes out of that? Dog. Soft serve. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> that is. Who is that? That's uh, red rum. She's red rum. Up there on she's top a good egg. Talk. Oh, I thought oh, it was a guy. I'm sorry. I got a full rod. No, that's a, she's a good egg. There you go. She's Showing doing a little something egg. extra for you right Showing now. Ass. I yeah. can't believe that has anything to do with the digestive system. <laughs> you? It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my waffle cone? <laughs> All right. Ouch. I think we've done enough damage for one day. Uh, Brian Regan's going to be in Kingston, New York tonight. Ulster uh, Performing Arts Center. And then, then you're just back and forth, back and forth. It's, yes. it's a little confusing. Boston on Friday. At the Orpheum S- Theater. Yeah. Kind of. Stamford on Sunday. Yep. Atlantic City on Saturday. Wow. I don't like to say the days in the right order. <laughs> no, I understand. It's about that. a half million dollar weekend, Brian. God. Yeah, that's a <laughs> Jesus age. Yeah, that's for you. <laughs> and then uh, you got that DVD out too, man. Uh, the epitome of hyperbole. Yes. In stores now. Two, two biggest words I know. Go to brianregan.com, nickdip.com. Uh, what else you got going on, Nick? Uh, November 28th, please plug Tarrytown Music Theater. You just did. Hey. Perfect. And uh, right. I got a new uh, CD coming out called yeah? Funny How. I think there's free MP3s <laughs> on my website. So you can check out a little... Uh, NickDip.com. Of Nick DePaul's humor. And Jimmy's uh, all over the place, too. Yeah, I got my book signing tonight in Providence, Rhode Island, 6 o'clock. It's, it's pretty much the final one I'm doing. It's at Borders, 142 Providence Place. I've been there. Very nice. It's nice, right? And tomorrow I'm in Boston uh, with Regan, but he's on earlier. You're on what eight o'clock show? Yeah, in Boston. Yeah. Oh, you're there tomorrow. <laughs> I got a nine forty-five at the uh, at the Wilbur. All right, cool, so you man. Can go see both. If you already have Regan tickets, go oh, see Jimmy. I wonder you're why it didn't sell out yet. I'm like, I got like forty tickets left. I mean, I'm close to selling it, and that that explains why. About There's two thousand of them being eaten up <laughs> off the street. Fresh. <laughs> Good job, agent. <laughs> Book me against one of the biggest touring comics. <laughs> I'm like, I'm literally like across the street. It, it, it's amazing. They're gonna actually, really? Yeah, they're no, gonna hear his know. set coming through the wall. <laughs> Do me a favor, get me that gig in Arkansas when Larry the Cable Guy is doing the arena. <laughs> Stupid zilch. Like when you go to the movie theater and, and you're, you oh. wish you were in the theater yeah, next door. You heard door. that action movie. Yeah, right. You're with your chick Explosions and stuff. Dopey <laughs> chick flick. And there's action and adventure right. going on next to uh, the movie next yeah. door. Hey, oh, I'll be in a strategy room at noontime, too, at Fox. Oh, really? Oh, you do that again? Fox Great. News, if they let me back into this. <laughs> yeah. Fo- FoxNews.com, if you go to, go to the strategy room. Fight back this time, point. Nick. You're, you're I good did. They didn't, they didn't show that part of the clip. I, I, I did. It, All but, right. uh, I didn't get, you know, it All really right. didn't bother me. Another quick break, and uh, we'll continue. Opie and Anthony. Uh, Nick DePaul made the walk, and Brian Re- uh, Regan uh, made the walk. I think, yes. I think he wanted to go <laughs> sleep, but I kind of said, come on, Brian. Uh, uh, you know, we don't, we don't get to see you often. Why don't you come by for another set? You guys set. are so nice. How do you turn down an invitation? So thank you. It's got to be hard right, because he's all sold out. <laughs> he's doing nothing. I know. He doesn't yeah. even need to be here. <laughs> what do I have to be All here? I can do is ruin it. People are going to cancel their ticket. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> it didn't sound funny to me. Uh, <laughs> Where's Nick DePaul playing? Uh, we had a nice discussion. He's at his house looking for the fuse box. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, me, Brian, and Nick had a nice discussion about being homeowners. Yeah, and we're all the same person. We we don't know shit about our own places. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't like that. Uh, it's not fun for me to own a home. You know, I don't, yeah, I don't, yeah. It's not a, it's not a fun. Thing. It's fun to have like a house and everything, but to actually be the homeowner and have to. I do the absolute minimum at I, my house. The, I, I'm the, the same way. way. I, I and can't it's do too anything. much. And it's too much for me. Like the other day. It was raining, and and this will by elitist fucking me. This will sound great. I, I have the cover on my pool, and uh, and there's pumps on it on the top because you can't have water gathering on your pool cover. Why not? Makes for a nice ice rink, don't it? Yeah, a little ice rink, and the kids stomp all yeah. trot <laughs> upon it and fall in and yeah. drown and sue me for everything. Yeah, exactly. Watch like Lou Costello. Like the cry. omen. <laughs> yeah, Lou Costello. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, if there's too many leaves get in there in the pump, the pump's not going to pump the water up. Oh, boy, that's So I have problem. to go out there, mm-hmm. no matter how cold it is, sure. with, a, like, a, a janitor broom and pull the pump away and then sweep <laughs> the leaves off the cover. Jesus, dude, why? And then put the pump back. And I'm, like, beside myself going, I'm working. Yeah. I'm working yeah, over yeah, here. Yeah, immigrants yeah. you can call. I okay. know, but they're not there while it's raining. Like, today, it's going to be raining here in New York. Yeah. yeah. I'll be out there sweeping my pool cover. If something God, breaks, it. if something breaks at my house, I am at the complete mercy of whoever walks through right. that door. What, right. Whatever, whatever they say, 
goes. <laughs> That's <laughs> a good that. feeling, ain't it, bro? Yeah, you know, I mean, I, 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 I know nothing about whatever's broken, but I always put like one token bluff in there. You know, the, uh, like the guy will come in and he'll look at whatever the hell it is, uh, you know, and he'll say, uh, well, it looks like you're going to need to replace the whole thing. And then I got to do my bluff. Well, I was looking at it and um, I was wondering if maybe you could just like fix that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And they go, well, with the uh, labor and the parts, you know, to fix that, you might as well get a new one. And then I'm done with my bluff. I'm like, <laughs> That's it. All okay, right. go ahead. We'll do a new one then. I fold. Yeah, I fold. I'm out. I'm out. And 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 how much? Whatever you say, whatever comes out of your mouth, I will pay you. Yeah, this. Whatever you say. They know that too. You gotta they- think. <laughs> it's probably just a on. rusty screw, and they make you replace the whole unit. You don't know. The guy could say, you know, it's sixty-seven hundred dollars. You know, <laughs> all right. And they're all, all kind of okay. angry to these guys. They're yeah, not yeah. happy they're doing this shit. They always have like an edge to them. These Never guys, a smile. Oh, they're fucking kind of miserable. Never nothing. Yeah. Well, it's going to be this. And, what do you and, and, and what they do you all have? have a different opinion. I, I've had like five guys come out, look at my, you know, my uh, boiler, and they all all shit on the other guy's job. Yeah. <laughs> they hooked that up wrong. <laughs> what the fuck? That's all hooked up wrong. What clown did you have come in here to do this? I mean, <laughs> which is an insult to you because you hired the last yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah. Fucking and paid him when he left and looked at the work and thought it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> my house is built in 1937, so oh. I'm supposed to know oh. how the fucking. Really? I have to know oh. where the two oil tanks are under my house? But yeah. she's just the think of the wonderful times back then. I was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know what you mean, Anthony. The nostalgia, you got to take that away with you. <laughs> Some wild shit went on in my house. You didn't know where the, the history of that. You didn't know where the fuse box was, Brian? Uh, electrical box. Electrical box? Yeah, that okay. would be your breakers. I, your don't even know, breakers. I don't even know what that is. And, and this guy you know, came in to fix something and says, where, where's the electrical box? And I just had to say, I, I don't know. It's the magic box this, of electricity. Well, this guy, this guy looked at me like, "How is it possible that you don't know where your electrical box is?" I'm like, "I don't, I don't even know what that means. I don't know." You know what I would tell I him? called you to fix it. <laughs> yeah. So you have to find it and fix whatever. The second you come in the door, it's your job to find it and fix it. It's not my fucking job. I- uh, yeah, and he should he should know it's not going to be on the fucking dining room wall. It's fucking you know. <laughs> yeah. What do you got? A, closet you got a new something. house, right? Relatively new house. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. <laughs> it's in the basement, you fucking asshole. Or <laughs> dining room. Yeah. That was pretty fucking. There it funny. is. That one just hit home. I, I just pictured you eating with a big, yeah, closet. big fucking breakers are snapping yeah, behind you. Yeah, the, the big orange fluorescent <laughs> thing. Right. You got the giant, you know, the, the giant spoon and fork that all the ties out trying up. to hide it. <laughs> Yeah, hang a pot holder, uh, put a big pot yeah, holder on it. Pot holder. <laughs> you know, so I it can't so on it. Yeah, yeah, what the fuck do you think this is? It's in the basement, jerk it's off. It's in the Look spice rack. What the fuck? I didn't go to school for it. Look for it. Um, I tell jokes for a living, and I got to do 20 minutes on you, and you leave, you dick. <laughs> Brian and Cherry Hill writes, I'm a new homeowner. My bathroom fan stopped working. It needed just to be cleaned. I paid $168 for an electrician to do Oof. it. See? Wow! Just so, open the window and go like this with a times. Yeah, I got, yeah. Woo. <laughs> I got yeah. major, major fucking work going on at my house now. It's like major construction in the basement. They're finishing the basement, and uh, all I I just hear banging noises and stuff and write <laughs> checks. That's pretty much. The banging extent of what I'm doing. Bah, you could, bah, you just sit bah, down there banging it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it. All right, write another it's not check. Even working. Yeah. Yeah. They could leave like a like a soundtrack down there, and you know. Yeah, just uh, let a tape and play crawl, on a loop. Crawl out the basement window, <laughs> and you're just hearing bonk, bonk, bang. Bonk, bonk. <laughs> they go into their truck, throw some sawdust in their hair, and come to the door. Check. <laughs> what the fuck know. is happening? Yeah, Thirty-four hundred. Actually, have a mic set up. Yeah. <laughs> They're going, I'm, 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 I'm hooking my house up so I never have to leave it, is what I'm doing. Really? I'm, I'm so tired that. of society. Society. I hear that you, I'm man. just building, uh, 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 I'm building an oasis in my house. Um, uh, home theater's going in downstairs, which is an actual movie theater, because I got tired of going to the movies. I can't fucking sit like, in a movie. No, I we're soulmates. I believe can't me. go. I go hey, you know, none of us. God bless you. Got the money to do that. I can't shit. take it. I, I can't handle people talking and opening up their snack. Oh. How, how can it take like five <laughs> minutes to open up a cellophane wrapper? <laughs> Just rip the thing open, you know, and get it over with. You hear, you hear, are, are, are you trying to make it like less obvious? 
<laughs> yeah, it's just, I couldn't take the movies anymore. Were they shocked when they were the workers when you said, "Do not put the whites only sign"? <laughs> yeah, that, I need two drinking fountains, please, down here. I, yes, one that has water and one that has arsenic. <laughs> uh, but it's a uh, yeah, a, a, an actual theater. It's not even one of those home theater where it's like, oh, I got a home theater. You got your TV, and then you sit on the couch and watch. This is movie theater seats. It's going to look like a, an Art Deco movie theater. Really? Something from the 30s. Oh, yes, I want that whole thing. look wow. going through. Can we come in now? And the, of course, please. <laughs> I'll need friends. I want to see Schindler's <laughs> List I have again. nothing. <laughs> and then uh, you, uh, in, in that, you, you leave the theater, and then there's a bar. Because I'm tired of going to fucking bars. So I'm going to have my own <laughs> bar in the basement. <laughs> And uh, TV set up for sporting events and whatnot. Bathroom for down you. there. All kinds That's of where we're headed. That's a right. video and audio recording studio. That's we're going to have down there. So that at some point, uh, oh, I'm probably going to get a line down there and do the show from my basement. Oh, really? And then I will <laughs> never have to leave. <laughs> There's other shows that have done this, and I'm like, of course that's what we're going to do. I'll have a big monitor. You'll have Tom one Bernard here. in Minneapolis. Uh, we'll that's, just that's right. That's right. We'll talk to each other. I'll look at the big monitor. We'll yeah. see. We'll do the show that way. And then my door, I'm just going to weld it shut. <laughs> I'm going to weld my fucking doors shut. I, I did a show like that one time where the hosts weren't there. The hosts were, like, at yeah, their house. And I'm like, what the hell do I got to be here for? <laughs> yeah. And they're like, well, pretend like they're here. Right? <laughs> oh, I, I got to sit here while they're, like, <laughs> Were you just talking to TV stand? Two weeks ago, Minneapolis, Tom Bernard. Really? At his house. But you have to come to the studio. Yeah, you go into the studio and sit there. Why can't you go into the house? And I was really overdoing it. I was like, wow, you look good, man. It's a nice tan. I was just really piling it on. Jesus, those shoes. What do those cost? Those are nice. So it's just you in a studio with this asshole at home? And like, well, his sidekick still had to come in and. There's a, there's a few shows like that. What's the one out in L.A.? That's the one they, city I saw wow. tickets in. The one really? in L.A. does that now. Adjust the hue and tell him he looks a little peaked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in a little green. I was friend. going, you know. That's fucking, that's got to be a little awkward, though, talking to a, a monitor like that. It was all right. There wasn't no, even a monitor. No, you're no. just like doing a phoner? Yeah. From the, oh, you know what? My oh, this is no monitor or nothing. It was your show, and you were interviewing the host. When you, when you said so monitor, you mean like visual? Yeah, yeah. I thought you no, were able to no. see him. No. So he's just in his drawers there at, at home. In his house, yeah. Sitting around and scratching his balls. And you, you got to pretend like you see the guy across from you. Oh, yeah, that hey. sucks. Oh. Wow, it that's, worked, that's though. rough. It's already like the easiest job in America, and now it's... Just show up. Just at least show up. You just got to show up and talk. What's well, also, also weird That's is when my you dream, man. Sometimes oh, you do a phone or you, you do a phone or you call in and they 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 tell you uh, that they're taping it to pretend like yeah. it's three days from now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. my my brain isn't good. <laughs> oh, at that. That's got to be great. Hard <laughs> to lie. It's hard. Yeah. Hey, did you see that thing uh, two nights ago on TV? About that the, nuclear. The game? How about the nuclear <laughs> bomb that went off? Uh, those terrorists. <laughs> yeah. How about that bomb that's going to go off on Wednesday? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah that's going to be something. Yeah, and it'll sound really good as you're doing bits, and there's some kind of world catastrophe. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and you're making light pop tart yeah. jokes. <laughs> you didn't know about the big calamity. <laughs> calamity. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm Fucking talking radio. about the calamity. Fucking radio stinks. Have we lived through a calamity? You think was oh, 9/11 the 9/11 calamity? Was a calamity. Yeah. Do you think that's a calamity? Yeah. Jesus, Officially, I guess. Yeah. Tsunami was a calamity. Tsunami, the uh, yeah, fucking... For them. Yeah, those it's are gonna be calamities. Bigger, fucking... The further away the calamity, the less people care. <laughs> Who's the boss? <laughs> <laughs> calamity is my long... new favorite word. I love a good calamity. Calamity. <laughs> <laughs> calamity. <laughs> That's an Old West word. Like calamity Jane. Yeah. yeah. She must mm -hmm. have been a pisser. Yeah. <laughs> a the calamity. Hell. The hell came hey. for that name? Uh, that was a chlamydia uh, Jane. A slight it? mishap Jane. It was, it's a calamity. <laughs> and, chlamydia Jane. <laughs> and you got the, yeah, they just mixed up the fucking words. You got the movie theater, you got the bar. What about the strip club? Mm. Well, uh, I've seen that basement. You got room for a strip yeah, club, yeah. too. I'm thinking maybe the bar, if I could. Well, we, we got the strippy pole that we don't use here. Maybe we could take it down take there. It. Yes, I got that it. little part of the wall that goes in. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could put it there, and uh, it, that'll be right near, the, near the bar. Showers. The part of the wall that goes in. Shower. <laughs> Isn't <laughs> that called the corner? Yeah, well, it's. <laughs> well, two walls meet, and it goes in. <laughs> you, haven't, you haven't seen That's this. It would be a big house. They finally got to the corner of it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, a stripper shower. 
Not a regular shower, a stripper shower. No, it's just a pole. Fuck them. Where are you going to get the girls? No, I mean, legit, li- really, fuck them. You can bring them up to your, bed, <laughs> you, up to your room and have oh, them Oh, I got them. a big shower in you there. You got an elevator? Ah, wow. How about an elevator? That would be good. Uh, elevator right, right down to the get basement. A freight elevator for the fat ones. Oh. <laughs> for the pigs. You got to get the Batman entrance. So, Mine, they, don't, so don't, they don't know how to get to your house. I have such a guinea house, though. Like, I had to incorporate real guinea things into it. Marano which is like, glass. Like, like uh, when you walk in the front door, uh, Angela, who is uh, uh, Keith's wife, she did all the decorating in the house because I was just fucking waste. I'm not going to sit there and look at swatches. I'm not going to look at paint chips and see what the that's fuck. That's not your job. You know, that's I, for women and That's fans. it. Just exactly. You do it. I'll pay. I just yes. want it done. And she did a fantastic fucking job. So I said, I want a chandelier in the entranceway because it's very high. It's big double door thing. I want this like a grand entranceway. So she's showing me these things. And they were like this wrought iron thing or something else. And I was like, no, nah, you don't seem to understand my heritage, my background. I want the biggest, gaudiest crystal fucking chandelier. And now I got this giant thing. And and the, the place that where, where the mount is yeah. is kind of inset. Oh, wow. And I said, nice I want it painted like gold. I want this. Go- so it's just pure guinea. <laughs> Pure fucking guinea. He could have weddings in his house. I had to have that. There's Roman oh, columns in there. Yeah, oh, it's like love columns. <laughs> inside. I was just sitting there. Yeah, inside I have What's columns. What's painted gold? <laughs> the, the inset. There's like an o- octagon in shaped house? inset. Yeah, what a fucking ginza. Oh, th- oh, it is. I want just the living room to look like the Coliseum. Yeah. That's what I want. I'm like Caligula with a fistful of lard. Yeah. <laughs> you stay stand over. Be- stand between them like Samson yes. and like you pretend you're going to... Oh, I'm going to knock this fucker down. You should open your house for wedding photos, man. People yeah. would appreciate that. Yeah. That sounds fun. I can't wait to see. Fuck it. Oh, it's, it's, a fun, it's a fun place. You know what it is? The columns are there because they cover up a lot of lolly columns because I, I want open room. I want a lot of... I don't like a house where you feel like you're in a maze. Mm. It's a lot of hallways and walls and shit. So this thing is, like, really open. And in order to do that, they had to put these, you know, columns on to hold the beams up, and then they had to surround them with something. So fucking Roman... <laughs> columns. That's what I want. I'm putting a coliseum in the backyard so I can fucking. There's a fucking tiger in the kitchen. Tigers and Christians and gladiators. Are gonna be... <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I really did just leave. go all out. Either. I'm a fucking piece of Long Island white trash that got lucky. Fuck that. That's Good to you. pretty much it. You got some Howard Hughes in you too, bro. What? That I piss in jars and leave them all over the house? Call me, right. call me Hershey what? boys. <laughs> call me. A little let, Howard Hughes. Let my it. nails grow really long and filthy. Yeah. I walk on tissues. But did he really? Yeah. He I, I know he walk, I know he's a germ nut. But Wait, he Mormon walked on tissues? Of, yeah, he'd put tissues on the floor and walk on them. And uh, there were tissues yeah. everywhere. He, he like roped off areas where he would walk and everything else was just like sure. fucking trashed. He had a certain amount of uh, tissues, it was uh, directives <laughs> yeah. that you needed to open the cabinets with it, with the tuna can. You had to have your five cushions of napkins. Yeah, yeah, it was, really. Yeah, I think it was Kleenex. Up. I was just watching a documentary. Kleenex, yeah, and I think he he sent out a memo to his staff saying it, the proper uh, amount of layers of Kleenex that you need to touch stuff was eight. Eight. You eight layers of Kleenex to open doors, open cabinets. He was sounds like an easy guy up. to live with. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. right. Was Dumb he like cuts. normal before that? I mean, there, there, he, you know, there's footage of him, you know, acting like a normal human being. He flew the plane and everything. Yeah. You know, yeah. did he become a nut or was he yeah. always like that? I think yeah. over time he got married. He was <laughs> he was kind of always uh, crazy like that uh, from the movie. Anyway, I don't know how accurate that was, but. Uh, uh, his mother kind of fucked him up. He showed signs in high school. He used to bring a shit sandwich to school. <laughs> <laughs> lunch. But, uh, apparently, he was a, an engineering uh, genius. And, uh, you yeah, know, he was really smart. Yeah, he worked then, three days at a time and then collapsed for 24 hours. He was, he was crazy. Sounds good life. Yeah, he would just stay up, and he would buy out contracts of these Hollywood actresses that he was obsessed with, and then just have them watch movies. Like, he would just make them watch movies all day, but he wanted to possess them. He's like an OCD, obviously, mm. a fucking OCD nut wow. in a lot of areas. That's me. Yeah, what a great job. <laughs> yeah, he did have his own screening room, and uh, okay. I think he went down there to screen some movies, and he didn't leave for like six months. I so. heard he just kept watching Ice Station Zebra over and over and What's over again. What's that movie about? I don't know. It's, I uh, bet you he knows. Fucking, yeah, he knows. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. But that gets me fucking weirded out because uh, I'll, I'll watch the same movies over and over again. I've been made fun of. You don't like the Zebra fun. I can't. Me too. I will watch. Practical Magic with Sandra Bullock? Oh, my God. I got it on a loop. <laughs> I watch the same movies over and over again. Like at night, if I'm going to sleep, 
I need something on. I can't just have silence or I, I sit there and just have my own thoughts, which I can't sleep put, to. I put can't on Bill that. Curtis and AE. His voice. I, I, puts I, me I, in put, a coma. I put those on. Bill Curtis. Knocks it me was out like fucking 8 05 p.m. Mm. So wait, do you watch the, the town movie? town of Pomona, California. Do you watch the movie over and over again <laughs> in the same night? Uh, no, 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 not on the all same right, night. But right, but like right. if if two nights goes by and I go to bed and I want to like go to sleep, yeah. I don't want to put something on that I haven't seen or I'm going to be up watching the thing. Yeah. So I put on something I've seen a thousand That's times. Right. So Gladiator will be on, and I'll fucking just you know put Jerk on Gladiator off real quick. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, get a, whip off a quick batch. Uh, of course, Back to the Future. Mm -hmm. If that's on, I'll put that on. I'll put on mindless you know movies, uh, Alien or Aliens, either one. Those, I'll put them on over and over I again. I hate seeing the same movie again and again. Oh, no, I can't I, I've watched it a thousand times. Even That's if you really I love the movie? This, huh? this shit. I, well, I'll, I'll, I'll take a long break, like six months to a year, and then maybe pop it in again. No, Man. I'm talking a couple of days five can go by and watch the same no fucking movie. Same I need, if, like, uh, I need I like, like it. five years, man. Wow. Five or ten years. Yeah. Yeah. If I see a movie, even yeah. if I love it, it's like, I don't I don't want to see it again. Oh, yeah. no. That's why I don't understand, like, when you... you, you, you you buy the DVD, it's like, I already, I already saw the thing. Now I saw it, but... I know, doesn't it imagine that people buy our, your DVDs and shit? <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, as a comic, I don't mean that. I didn't mean no, that. That's just, <laughs> no, but you know hey, what I mean? That's true. You know what I mean? I didn't mean that. Like, you know what I mean? No, no. Even a CD... Well, they 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 sell they you know like they'll air a special and then you can buy it and it's like um, yeah I, I, obviously it works in my favor that people would but yeah. yes I, I I think that's kind of unusual yeah the yeah. worst is on uh like the History Channel does a thing where you know and then Hitler shot himself in the bunker and had his troops burn himself and the credits start rolling it's like if you want to purchase what you just watched <laughs> go to history dot com and you can purchase the DVD. It's like I just, just watched it. it and right. taped it, and 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 it's not going to end I different. Fell for and that, Hitler though. escapes in this <laughs> yeah, version <right. laughs> and runs off. And yeah, it's like legend. There's a different played by Jude that. Law. <laughs> yeah, different ending, an alternate ending yeah. to World War II. Yeah. Hitler goes to Brazil and yeah. lives happily ever after. Takes a wacky balloon ride with fucking Benny Hill music. All the Jews chase him with their fists in the air, using Jews as ballast. <laughs> well, I would buy if it was a drop different. another Jew. We have to go higher. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yes, bro. Oh my Fuck him up, fight him. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him up, fight him. <sighs> yeah. Fucking guy's getting fresh over here, Jimmy. <laughs> fucking fresh. Uh, uh, we're getting fucking fresh. We're in my party. He had eight murders under his belt by that point. He's getting party. fresh. He had like his talk. He had a party. Ruin my party. His party. Three fucking people. That's my new phrase. Ruin my stuck. party. Ruin my party. Hey, Anytime somebody gets me no, mad. Don't, no. don't get nervous. Don't get nervous. I like that. Don't get nervous. He tells the broad that at his party, the one broad. Oh, look at that. Stock market's lost over, what did it say? Three trillion dollars over the last, what did it say? Uh, wow, that has over the last three days. Yeah, we're, uh, oh, it's oh, Jesus again. Christ. Oh, right it's up. just opening right now. Yeah. Well, that means time for me to pop on my E-Trade account. Good luck. <laughs> right. I should have fucking, I should short sell that goddamn Google. Yeah, I'm chicken shit, because I'm chicken shit. Yep. I know the second I do it, it's going up. Yep. You no, it is short sell it. Nothing's yes. going up. I've told you that. I should have. Always short I would have made sell. a fortune. You fucking course you would down in the 200, broke through the 300 barrier. It's all about the puts. Yep. Puts, put options. What the fuck you're talking. That means puts. making money even if the stock tanks. Sell short coke sell. to kids. You can't lose. Just yeah, so. <laughs> say it's all about the puts. Sell and you sound intelligent. It's yep. all about the puts. They shouldn't, they shouldn't allow people to be making money off it, losing money. Yes. Everybody should be voting for it to make money. No, but if, you if people are betting on it losing, if you're how bearish. do you do that? I'd like to bet. Here's what you do. You have a stock. I've explained this before, uh, but I love explaining it to people. Let's say you buy, uh, the stock is $10 a share. There's a stock, it's $10 a share. What company? It ain't serious. Oh, shut up. There's, it's any stock. <laughs> it's Widgets. Widgets All right. Incorporated. All right. $10 a Ted's share. Emporium. Yes, how about Ted's Hat Emporium? Right. I sell 10 <laughs> shares of that stock. I don't even own the fucking stock. I don't own it. But I could sell 10 shares that I don't even own. How does that work? You're just allowed to do That's it. goddamn juice. So I go on and I sell 10 shares. I make... A hundred dollars because I sold ten shares at ten dollars a share. So I made a hundred bucks. I got a hundred bucks. But now the people are going, wait a minute. You didn't own those shares. You got to pay us back for those shares. I go, okay, I'll pay you back. I wait a little while. I wait. The price oh, of the share goes down to now five dollars a share. So now I pay them their fifty bucks. 
for the shares, and I'm holding 50 bucks going, ha, ha, I fucking won. I got 50 bucks profit. Even that little bit of logic throws me. Well, How that, does that help, but, though? And we wonder why, yeah, the economy's in the shit. Look, me, yeah, what if it goes up? What, what if it goes up? If then it what goes do do? up, then you have to replace the shares at a higher price than you fucking paid for it, and you're fucked. That's what I'm, but, but how, can, how can you do that if you don't, if you don't have the money? So you had you start with See? zero dollars. Then they come. You you you, you sell the stock yeah. for whatever. Yep. And then the price goes up. Usually you can you go to jail? start with hey, zero dollars. You, you got to put the money in escrow. Quote it's a unquote, margin. Your... It's a margin account. To but you sell have to put options. more than what because what if the price goes up? Yeah, you need money. It could theoretically go up above what you have, and then it's called a margin call. And then they come knocking and say, "Hey, uh, you got." And and if you then. Don't pay them. They sell off your assets. Buy land. They're not making and, any money. Uh, they will sell off other stocks. Hey, that you that there's a time limit at too. any price. There's a t- yeah, yeah. So you could even wait. How long? Uh, I don't know. It all de- it all depends on uh, like I could buy I could buy options for any month. I could buy options for fucking next January if I want. So you have and until I next have until January, January to pay them back. And if it either goes up or down, I have to either sell it so, or so exercise my options. So somewhere between now and next January, you can decide when to sell. When back. to sell That's or or buy so the why stock. Are we all or rich? Something. That seems like an easy one. It was back in ninety nine, and then uh, or ninety eight, and then ninety nine two thousand hit, and I was up about ninety thousand dollars. Nice. And uh, oh, it all went down the shitter in ooh, a month. Not nice. <laughs> Ouch. I was selling options on vacation at Disney. Dude, you used I to- woke up and I was like, option, option. Oh, all right, Ugh. I made twenty grand, paid for the vacation. Uh, Fuck, oh, yes, what leave. kind of options at Disney? Like, Heine ointment for youngsters. <laughs> yes. <laughs> At any W, he was day trading. We would be doing the radio show. Well, and, we were doing afternoons. So. And I, I'd be ranting and raving about something, and I'm, I'm looking at Ant to come on board with my rant. And he's like, yeah, yeah, that's good, that's good. Trying to get out of stock. I'm trying like, to come get on, in stock. sell fucking, sell this, go through. And I'm Brian, I'm like, oh, my God, he's not paying attention. But it was afternoon, so it was like, you know, 4.30, the market closed. That's, a, so. that's, that's yeah, an important time. Or 4 time. o'clock, yeah. so. I knew the yeah. show officially. It was an hour. The first hour was, was going to say the, the show officially started for us at four thirty one. First hour was really going to blow. <laughs> no one knows that, but I guess we can tell them now. <laughs> You're clicking in the background. Yeah, yeah. clicking and clacking. So come on, the stream going through. I got to sell now. The price is falling. Yeah. Anything else uh, on your mind there, Brian? Oh. Nah, I, uh, Anything else bothering you out there? I don't. I don't understand the economy stuff, man. Yeah, the, the mortgage, the, the mortgage meltdown. I have like friends try to explain it to you, yeah. but they talk to you like you're a little kid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I hate when they're, they're condescending and say, "Brian, Brian, it's very simple, right? <laughs> you have a mortgage, right?" I'm like, "Yeah, I got that." And you pay your mortgage to the bank, right? Yeah, I got that. They bundle those with other risky uh, securities and sell those to speculators, right? Okay, I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Am I supposed to still be with you because I'm way no, I'm, I'm, I'm way gone a lot at this of people point? Aren't. Even people on yeah. TV that talk about it don't get that shit. Yeah, what does that mean? I, what no does that mean? Knows, yeah. How do you you bundle them together? How? Yeah. Who, with what a what rubber band? Have? I don't. Yeah. Know, I don't know what. What is it? Asparagus or stock? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it is true. It's um, very. Um, no way, one I, can I explain it. It's the only way to get the prime rate down is if you bu- if you're gonna uh, prime rate. <laughs> there it goes. He's gone. Hey, uh, I have no idea. There's no way to really explain that fucking finance thing. Holy shit. Speaking of, well, oh, yeah, here they're, they're these, back again, yeah, the scaffold just, guys. They just jerk off looking at us angry. I can't waiting. believe there's not a better way to clean windows. <laughs> every fucking six months, one of these things nope. snaps. These guys are cleaning this window every day. We don't know why. What? We what do you think, think in 2000, 2008? We think 2008. That's 2008. Right, Anthony? They should do it from the street with lasers yes. or a hovercraft. Yes. Should be fucking high above the city. But now there's still fucking it cables, really amazes pulleys, me. and you're risking your life to yeah. clean a fucking window. <laughs> Seriously, What's you this? fucks, you you realize? Well, they have a safety yeah. harness, but there's something oh, yeah. else going on the here. The harness is connected. <laughs> yeah, you got a thing fat guy, yeah. 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 which is hysterical. Yeah, there's yeah. an anvil on top of the <laughs> <laughs> piano. Yeah, right, yeah. We think <laughs> this is the CIA because they're cleaning this yeah. window every day and taking a peek inside the studio. How dirty is We're a little paranoid by these guys. It's not even level. It's like at a. these guys at an angle. I think I see Bubba and Love Sponge on it. <laughs> on one side. Yeah, it's tilting left. Right. They, uh, that, that, that would horrify me. Hey, uh, Jim, you yeah, want to moon him today? Why would you risk your life to clean a fire? We moon him every once in a while. Too. No, because in my complaint like to the building, who already here. Oh, there he goes. They're straightening it out now. Right, well. Look at these guys. Why do you do this? What floor are we on? Uh, 47. 
<laughs> we're, all right, look, we're only on the fifth floor. <laughs> I know, but after four floors, it really doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. After, anyway. after 30 feet, you got a 50-50 chance. I that's say. it? Yeah. yeah, that's it. Wow. After, yeah. Yep. 30 feet. Uh, How about the guy that fell 48 stories with his brother, remember? And he, he fucking lived. He lived. He lived. I think he knocked the wind out of himself. That was Jesus it. Christ. Because How do you look, fall that far? Well, they far. were on like a piece of, they were on the it, platform. It yeah. had to be going down. It, it wasn't going down full speed. It couldn't have been, right? No, oh, it, yeah. No, it, it fell full speed. Yes. His brother died instantly. But, uh, yeah, the, the, there was a, a platform made of a piece of plywood that kind of got wind resistance. Ah, uh, okay. He but still, little, I mean, I don't uh, care. Him down it's like not a like a fucking yes. magic yeah. carpet. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> he <laughs> fell like the feather in Forrest Gump. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> His brother was dead instantly. <laughs> Aladdin just landed softly. <laughs> he got pretty fucked up, but uh, he's now walking around like Thanks, nothing man. happened. Hey, uh, That's a long, long way money. down, man. That's a Thank long you. way down. Anthony, really fast, because we're talking about stocks. We're almost at a milestone. Nick uh, from Pittsburgh is keeping track. You guys are getting close to a milestone. Citadel stock is almost one one-hundredth the price you guys paid for it. So he wants to congratulate us. It's down, oh, at, it's down at, look how smart we are, Brian. We got in on what's called an IPO, oh my, my friend. God. We got in uh, with Citadel stock for nineteen dollars a share. That's, fine. Mm. That's right. Aunt and I decided to go all in. Oh boy! You bought it's, a share. It, it's oh, yeah. <laughs> a one whole share. It's now at twenty-one cents a share. <laughs> That's a fucking huge difference, man. That's great. <laughs> Wow. That thing See, is you should have done the selling thing. That 25 were. cents or something. What is it at? 21. Guys, 21 so cents. And dropping. And dropping. We bought it $19. $19. Is that bad, though? No, <laughs> it's great. No, it's, it's good wonderful. stuff, really. Guys, I what's my the product? Uh, it's know? radio. You know, something we should know about. <laughs> radio. And we got in uh, on an IPO, which is the Ooh, initial hey, public hey, offering, right. which means we got in before the public was even allowed to buy. How much so did we got the to? cut rate price. Uh, once it went up to $22 a share for a, a tenth of a second. It never and, went higher uh, than that, right? I don't, no, I don't, I don't think, think it did. It did. I never put 40 did. grand into an alpaca farm. <laughs> <laughs> We might as well have. I got. I got. We I got a new radio, but I guess we did it. I either want to get into uh, Amway or uh, a pyramid scheme. Right. Where's a good old Ponzi scheme when you need really? one? Nice yeah. chain letter. That'll yeah, chain up. letter. Yeah, right. <laughs> Where are the good old time investments? Then, uh, you know, if you get no, because when you reach the top of the pyramid, everyone's got to pay mm, you. Yeah. Oh, uh, really? Ooh. I bring a grand to fucking a VFW hall, and uh, <laughs> who was falling for this shit? A lot of people. Uh, a lot of money in that white pot of pop for a while. <laughs> All right, the food has arrived, so we're going to take a quick break. Uh, Brian, staying going? I'm staying. Oh, look at that. Brian, you're going to have fun, man. I'm learning how to fix my house. You yeah. still live in the, you don't live in a city no more. Vegas. No, Las Vegas. Las Vegas, Vegas. Vegas. Uh, BrianRegan.com for all his dates. Uh, which one do you want to push right now? Kingston tonight, Boston tomorrow, Atlantic City nice. Saturday, Stamford, Connecticut Sunday. Perfect. You nailed it. Nick the Dip. back and com. forth tour. For Nick DiPaolo. <laughs> Opie and Anthony will continue. Opie and Anthony. We got Jennifer on the line. Hey, hey, hey. We're going to have a serious moment here, fellas. Are we? Uh, Jennifer in Alabama. What's going on? Hey. Um, I was hoping y'all could call my husband. He has cancer and he is out in Texas. And he loves you guys, and I was hoping y'all could wish him a happy birthday. Mm. How old is he? He's 41 today. Oh, geez. Will he make it to 42? That's sad. Where is he? <laughs> Wait, we're trying. I we'll missed it. Uh, he's, he's in Texas. She's in Alabama. It's his birthday, and he's got the cancer. What kind of cancer? He has, um, it's leukemia. Oh, right. How come so. you're in different locations? Um, because we just had a new baby, and I couldn't travel. Oh, yeah, but he's got cancer. I know. You don't have to tell her. <laughs> I think she knows. What, what's the prognosis? Um, well, his doctor see. says if he does what he's supposed to, he can be cured. What's that, uh, pray? It's, it's hard. Yeah, really at least hard. that's still working. Yeah. Oh, wow. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so what's his name? Why don't you say happy birthday to him? Because we don't know him from a hole in the wall. What? His name's Andrew. Andrew, happy birthday. Andrew, happy birthday, Godspeed. Andrew. Best of luck to you. Really, Andrew. Oh, if you want to give him uh, some words uh, that maybe uh, no, make him no, feel good. No, what? No, 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 no. <laughs> People could. <laughs> what? Maybe he him. needs, uh, you know. To call him. I'm, I'm just a happy, uh, you know, uh, best wishes, something no, uh, like no, that. No, 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 um, no, no. 
you know, I, I, hope for the future, the something. Bit, I'm starting to believe in that karma thing. <laughs> oh, are you? Finally, yeah. You don't no, want to give them a, no, no. Like the old GLB? <laughs> no. I'll tell the story to these guys. Ow. All right. Hey, uh, Jennifer, thanks. Uh, I hope everything works out for you guys. Andrew, happy birthday. Do what the doctors are telling you, please. Yes. For the, uh, All right. Thank you so much. Medical Goodbye, care. Goodbye, madam. Good Alabama luck. Alabama has got to be. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, you know what, though? Always cheer somebody up when they're sick. What? A copy of I Hate Your Guts. Oh, boy. Ah, that's what true. is better for a man who's not feeling too well than yeah. a book to laugh at? Oh, Team of therapy. Go. Yeah, yeah. Well, laughs, from that. It, it's a known fact. Laughs cure cancer. So. That's right. If you didn't learn that yeah. from Patch Adams, you learned yeah. nothing. And he yeah. probably literally <laughs> hates his guts because they, uh, you know, yeah. they have cancer. Well, and could you make sure his XM units paid up for the next year? We could use the subscriptions. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you guys are fucking cold as ice. That is really good. Right. We listen to you going down the road on the laptops wherever. Oh, uh, by the uh, nuclear power plant. Yeah. <laughs> right. Exactly. Stop During giving chemo, us all your Where else? Yeah. <laughs> On the right. toilet, in the right. kitchen, in the right. basement. Right, we get it. <laughs> exactly. Just hope right. his last name isn't Piccolo. <laughs> oh, my God. Unless it's Jenny and I can fuck her. <laughs> Who didn't love old slutty Jenny Piccolo? Every time oh. she sneezed, a cum bubble fell into linoleum. <laughs> Fucking Fonzie loved her. Even the big ragu would slide on the floor and eat her pussy real quick as he went by. <laughs> <laughs> Singing a happy tune. Yeah, from they, rags to riches. They, they <laughs> fucked it for everyone, though, man, because she was like this mystery, and then they finally showed you what Jenny Piccolo looked like. And exactly. Like, she sucked. What are you guys yeah. talking about? Fucking stupid happy, happy days. days. Your yeah, stupid friend, stupid Jenny happy Piccolo. Days. Jenny Piccolo. I don't remember Jenny Piccolo. Yeah, she was in the later episodes when everybody was, left. I remember Potsy having a nice ass, but I don't yeah. remember Jenny Piccolo. It's yeah. like everyone, when everyone leaves a show and they try to go on a couple of more seasons, but no one's there yeah. anymore, yeah. Like, and they take the fake phone call, like Mrs. Cunningham will be like, oh, it's Richie. He's on the phone. Yeah. And she would just talk, and you're That's supposed right. to imagine she's on the phone. Yeah. No, he's not. He he's, didn't want to be part of this horse shit no. anymore. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, These guys well, weren't principal members to begin with. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's supposed to be a, still a college kid with a chrome dome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, everyone's saying uh, good luck, bro, to uh, Andrew. Uh, could, Jennifer, could, uh, I did not say yeah. it though myself. Could Neither someone uh, uh, make the font a little smaller on the phone thing? Because <laughs> I'm seeing shit. Three, I'm seeing three words of yeah. what is being screened. Yeah, you might what, as well not type. What is this? The future? We're still doing our show in, the, in our seventies, and we have to yeah. get the big font. I so we can... can't see so good. Uh, make it bigger. It's like a font on a gas station sign. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's better. It's like half a message. Yeah. Like, yeah. Guy with gun is coming, and then it stops. <laughs> <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> All right, Jennifer. Uh, good luck. Good luck to you, Andrew, and the rest of your family. All right. Thank you so much. We love you. Right. Oh, I love Goodbye. that. Yeah. What, God bless. What Anthony's referring to, Brian, uh, oh, when Peter yeah. Jennings had cancer, the lung cancer that eventually killed him. Mm -hmm. um, I was in Central Park, and uh, here comes Peter Jennings. He's weighed. He, he weighed maybe 120 pounds at this point. Oh. He's got, I, I believe, uh, his two kids helping him. He's going for a little walk in the park, and I'm like, here's my moment to say something to Peter Jennings. And the best I could do was give him a thumbs up and go, good luck, bro. That was all I could come up with. He died the, the next day. He actually shot himself after hearing that. Yeah. <laughs> good luck, bro. But, and it really helped because he uh, he was gone in no I, time. I saw him coming for at least two or three minutes. I'm like, all right, I really want to say something. Can you imagine if his guy. white salt count went up right after you said that? <laughs> ah. <laughs> so that's the famous good luck, bro, in, that uh, you never mm -hmm. say to somebody that might be sick. It's a good mm -hmm. sentiment, though. You yeah. Know? I mean, you're... You could have been worse. It was a positive thing. Yeah, you might as well part. talk to a news legend like he's a fucking 17-year-old surfer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good luck, bro. Hang, hang, hang ten. Hang ten, buddy. <laughs> right. yeah. but it was, give him the old pinky thumb shake. I did give him a thumbs up, though. You know, thumbs uh, up. Good luck, bro, to Peter Jennings. That worked. The legend. Uh, I think the legendary he took that news, well. uh, man. Oh, that's well. the one that's... Oh, you fucking waving that this way, you motherless oh, fuck. Jimmy again with the oh, fart. Oh, I got upset at the bad news. Is that what it is? That's how upset this Before it was away. nerves. Yes. Nerves and anger cause it. Whenever right. I get upset, the sadness has to come out. <laughs> so the good Christ. feelings push the sadness away. I thought you pushed the fear out. Everything, everything makes There's a lot of causes. Yeah. Right. Everything makes them shit but food. <laughs> Why does the sadness have to be wearing a diarrhea coat? <laughs> <laughs> the sa you know what it is? The sadness rolls around in my body and takes all the impurities. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Sorry, I saw a good-looking girl. I couldn't <laughs> help it. <laughs> Uh, awful. What's the matter? It's partly cloudy. <laughs> 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 ah, I was sad at the weather. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> hey, there's a sale over at Macy's. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Jimmy. My body always tells the truth. Twenty percent responds to every stimulus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> hey, uh, I got a question for Brian. It's my father's oh, well, birthday tomorrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Whoa, check out that sports headline. Whoa. <laughs> Uh, Brian, you like tits? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 I do. We got a little yeah, plus column. We got a little tits story. In the plus column. <laughs> yeah, you know, if people like tits. I like yeah, them too. Are sure. there two lines? I'll be in the line of the people that like them. <laughs> happy day. We got a nice tits story for everybody. Oh, yeah. right. Hey, hey, the happy holidays are coming up. Day. What better time than a? <laughs> cool. <laughs> Say, holidays nice. coming up. It is one of the most recognizable brands in lingerie, but Victoria's Secret is now defending its popular brand against allegations some of its bras may have made women sick. Roberta Ritter claims <laughs> wow. she bought... Come on. It's the radioactive bra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As that came out, the plutonium <laughs> brand. What are the trans fats in the cups? Come on, bucks. How does a bra make you sick? Well, there's tacks on the inside to hold it to your tits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that might fucking have something to do yeah, with it. Let me hurt. try on that Ebola <laughs> bra. Yeah, that's how it holds onto your nipples. It's fucking monkey teeth that clamp down on your fucking nipples. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, under, the monkey teeth. Underwires and under monkey oh, teeth. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> May have made women sick. Roberta Ritter claims uh -oh. she bought bras at this Ohio mall and that her angel secret embrace in very sexy extreme me push up bras triggered a terrible reaction. I had the welts and the very red hat to the touch. Hat um, to the extremely touch? Extremely inflamed, oh, like yet. blistery. Um, it itched profusely. Oh. I oh, was just somebody. utterly sick. Bucket. Do you guys hear the name of the product? The Extreme Me Push-Up Bra. There you go. Oh, mm -hmm. Love yourself a little much. Self-indulgent. So how does it make you sick? I don't, it must be some allergic reaction she's having. Yes. It's it formaldehyde, right? Isn't it in the article it says oh, it's yeah, formaldehyde or something? The big reveal before he got Give this John a mail. Oh, I'm sorry. If I did radio every day, I wouldn't be making these mistakes. Well, <laughs> <laughs> but that, but that a, big, a big closer coming. Yeah, see, we, we, I thought you already revealed that. We already <laughs> worked. You know, we work toward the closer. I, I was just fucking watching the TV over there. I'm sorry. Are you still using formaldehyde for? I'll, I'll tell you, what are you my, keeping dead frogs in your cup? <laughs> yeah. yeah. My, my question is, who's formaldehyde? <laughs> Hold it. I haven't played in court. That... That's actually an old Abbott and Costello bit. <laughs> was it really? Give it, take this jar, take it to Mel. Tell me I need him to hide it. What's in the jar? Formaldehyde. I know it's formaldehyde, but what's in the... It actually was. I, I believe it. No what? shit. Oh, that was a big another... follow-up to who, who, yeah, who's on first. Wow. They, they, they tried it with hit? fucking every word in the dictionary. Right. And, and then, then finally uh, found one. Lou Costello had to run away. and <laughs> Then he finally found out what formaldehyde was for. Oh, and it made him very yeah. sad. <laughs> <laughs> Embalming young children that fell in his pool. <laughs> oh, I bet, oh my God! I bet old Lou cemented that pool up pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, he sure uh, did. Memories. Let's sell the house. <laughs> I bet there's a kid in my sk skim skim. I bet there's a child in my sk my sk. <laughs> Then turn off the turn off the pump the pump the. Pump. <laughs> oh God! Classic. Uh, now, you'd good. rather hear that or the fucking eagle? Of uh, course, yeah. yeah. fucking God. Uh, this is my skimmer. Let's get to the broad story. A little more uh, to it. Roberta has filed suit against Victoria's Secret and claims she isn't alone. I was just just floored. I thought. I have to come out with this. I, it, the can of worms has to be open. Roberta and Where's her attorney from? claim they've done Chicago? research of their own. An alleged high test high conducted on several Victoria's Secret bras found evidence of the toxic chemical formaldehyde. Well, she doesn't sound um, hot. Preserve those titties. No, her tits no. must be horrendous. She does. She sounds like a oh. We Great line in there. Frankie in New York. That's why we have our listeners helping us out. Those Frankie, are blisters, go ahead. Those are nipples. Listen to this. I can't believe this room full of comic geniuses missed that line. What was the line again? She said when her tits got all sick and blown up that it made her utterly sick. Oh, <laughs> utterly. Yeah, well, we've been up since 530. 
okay? Man, I heard that. Sammy, hanging every word. Jimmy's farting at the uh, mere thought that he missed fucking, that line. Go back to the mattress factory. <laughs> That's how success pushes failure out of you. Uh, yes, of course. We're going to be tossing and turning all night. I can't believe I missed Utterly. Oh, yeah, sorry. Utterly. 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 Ah! Wake up in a cold sweat. We all, the we all chose to ignore it, stupid. It was right there. Uh, uh, yeah, and finally you get your hack fucking line out, <laughs> dummy. For its part, Victoria's Secret issued a statement saying, we have strict quality controls around our products and we do not use formaldehyde in our bras. Ritter right. says her coming forward was an attempt to alert other women. It's woken me up big time and I just hope it's to wake people up to the far. reality <laughs> that it can happen. Can happen. You know, my tits felt really awful for like a whole day. I wonder what happened. I was wondering what happened to Sarah Palin. And I, uh, yeah, <laughs> I had a rash. Formaldehyde. They don't use from. Why would they use formaldehyde in, in bras? I hate reports like that. So she says formaldehyde, and then the company says we don't use formaldehyde. Nah, so what's use the it. fucking truth? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for the report for not clearing anything up. <laughs> That's now, Victoria's secret. I wasn't secret. even confused about it until you brought it up, you fucks. I also hate when reporters say, like, no one knows. You know, it's like, no, you don't know. Yeah. As to whether the allegations are true, no one knows. No, you don't know. You didn't find out to tell us. And it's your fucking job. Yeah, you're supposed to know and tell us and then we'll know. Yeah. Well, they go, may cause cancer. It may not, too. Fuck yeah. it. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Brian, you still do your local news stuff? Because that's some brilliant crap. The, uh, yeah, the commercials they do for the local news. Yeah. A news anchor you can trust. Yeah. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> right. What is there not to trust? <laughs> right. Is he going to lie to you? Yeah, there's a big fire downtown. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know if I trust this guy. There's something about him. I can't put my finger on it, but something is awry. Uh, yeah. That shit's good. Or a go. news team that cares. Yeah. Oh, okay. They don't care on the other channel. <laughs> you click over there. A major highway is closed down today, but, uh, hey, I don't drive home that way. <laughs> oh, turn it back to the team that cares. These two are surly. I've had it with their uncaring ways. <laughs> surly. Surly. <laughs> surly anchors. Uh, I can't even listen when anybody says... Consider it done anymore. <laughs> I can't even fucking think. consider it done. Wait, what's that? Is so, it? That's <laughs> Brian. I know. I don't, I don't remember that. Because it's the dumbest fucking line anyone can say. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Could you do me a favor? Could you consider it done? <laughs> well, is, is it? it? Is it done? That's what my age said when he booked me today for this show. <laughs> Consider it done. <laughs> yeah. Fucking showed up. Nobody knew I was. <laughs> Holy fuck. Jimmy. What? <laughs> What's everybody making me feel bad for? <laughs> oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Yes. Jimmy. You're just going off over here. Can't help it. We got a good oh, oh, rapid nervous. fire. Brian's bit was very funny, and I got jealous. <laughs> <laughs> well, I get... Jealousy. Jealousy is another motivating that was, uh, that was the uh, good part uh, of me pushing the envy out. <laughs> they called the old brown-eyed monster. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, nice. oh, Jimmy. You guys want to do another it. one? We got a mom posing as a daughter to go back to high school. Why? And we got a female bartender forced to work in kitchen after gaining five pounds. Mm, fatty. You know what? Fucking pig. You want to do that one? Yeah. Sure. All right. She gained a few pounds. They said, look, She's you a got. Bartender? Yeah. Certainly. They made her go in the Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is like, like 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 high school girls playing records, but we've got like <laughs> some, like these, these horrible incidents on on audio. We got our forty five. Yeah, right. Play little, that one. We're having, little, little, we're having a little sleepover. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Play the leukemia thing. That was yeah, fun. I like that one. Then Play that again. Frankie Valley and then they care about the cat with no ears. Laying no. on the bed on our stomachs with one leg up, yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> gossiping about the girls. Uh, yeah. That last one was dreamy. Right. <laughs> I never thought of it that way, but you're right. Just a stack of 45. <laughs> yeah, like slumber party. Right. <laughs> Singing about our girlfriend who's in the bathroom looking at the front of her shirt. Oh, what happened? <laughs> oh, shit. <What? laughs> oh, oh, Jimmy goes right to unnecessary. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Oh. All right. We, female bartender. These yeah. stories pop up from time to time. 
Usually in the uh, casinos when you know one of the cocktail waitresses is gaining weight and they don't want him being the waitress anymore. I got no problem with that. I don't have a problem with that. Just it look either. at the stewardesses today. Bunch of fucking heifers. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah. What happened to the, you know... Well, you couldn't look at a nice piece of ass from New York to L.A. They might make the no. time go by. You ever... you have to look at a gay John man. Madden in a fucking dress. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here's my penis. I fucking ate him. All right, thank you. Yeah. We, we got an airline commercial that actually ran where they, mm-hmm. they play up the whole sex angle big time. They used to. Oh, we get that Iraq. The whole Fly Me campaign right, years right. ago. Well, then right. the feminists got involved. I'm and Jessica. Doing... Fly Me. Yeah. And she was be all, she'd be all hot now and it, Now it's she high. I'm Jessica. the airline. She meant the airline because oh. like, she was representing the airline. I thought she meant fly her. No, no, it, it, no. So you read into that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you read into up. that. We'll find it. You got to hear the spot. That ad is hi. I'm Jessica. Feed me now. <laughs> feed me. <laughs> Come on and feed me. They look like Playboy models, and they, they you know, we're not shy about fly talking the about friendly skies of United. Thing. Sean no, and George no, has they look something like for Donovan. <laughs> <laughs> Sean's got something for Brian Reagan. <laughs> Brian's opinion of something. Uh, Brian, did you ever watch uh, shows when you were younger about maybe Flipper or Gentle Ben or anything like that? <laughs> I'm wondering how you like those. Yeah. I, I, I thought we no stopped doing this yeah, bit. Yeah, it's just like such a monologue. Bit, right? Yeah. yeah like, <laughs> if you're going to do this bit, could you like, make it a little shorter? the most shorter? gifted comedians <laughs> sitting around me, and I'm going to like... You know. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, but let me tell you... <laughs> No, I appreciate the, Brian, the, the, the I, setup. I was thinking about you yesterday because uh, when the truckers call, we always ask, what are you hauling? And a guy goes, I'm hauling spaghetti sauce to Chicago. And I think of the bit, the lumber bit you talk about where the lumber... Log trucks. The log yeah, trucks logging pass truck. each other on the highway. Yeah, like, yeah I never understood it. Yeah, you got one truck over here going that way. You got one truck over there going that way. I just <laughs> I don't, I don't get the point. Yeah. <laughs> logging trucks should never have to pass each other. Exactly, ever. ever. <laughs> there, there's no... It, it, somebody could make a phone call and <laughs> that should be eliminated. Logging trucks should never pass. <laughs> A good fucking point. Yeah, but don't they have spaghetti sauce in Chicago? Yeah, yeah. Like, why do you need a know. truck spaghetti sauce at the Chicago? <laughs> and I bet there are trucks leaving Chicago With full of spaghetti, spaghetti sauce. sauce. Yeah, going the other way. Leaving the other way. Yeah. yeah. There's got to be some central command you know, that can well, save a lot of miles. Yeah, that they're making spaghetti sauce somewhere in Chicago. They have to be. Just make Maybe a little you have a gosh! <laughs> <laughs> I love that bit. <laughs> yeah, but you're forgetting those different brands and stuff. <laughs> oh, literal Jim. <laughs> hey, did the wise guys make the cut? The satellite radio cut? Oh, of course. Of course they, they had hey, to. you're not going to whack that show. Hey! Hey, I said rest in peace to the meal I just killed. Hey, hey. Who, who's got the fucking uh, gabagol? Hey, the gabagol. Uh, like rest in peace. All right, hold on. We got another question for Brian coming in. Ted in South Dakota. Ted? Uh, Brian? Yes. I know you're an expert in all things medicine. I've got a, a sports-related injury, and I'm not exactly sure what I should tell my coach that I have. Can you help me out? No. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know if you're referring to the fantasy football. People play fantasy football, and you got to check for the injury reports. Yeah. And, and it kills me. You check the injury report in the newspaper. It has uh, the guy's name, and then they put a body part. <laughs> Can you imagine if your doctor gave you a diagnosis like that? You know, you're sitting on the table. He comes in. Uh, I'm going to tell you straight. Um, I, I had other doctors weigh in on this. We got the results back from the, the blood test and also the EKG analysis is consistent with what we had thought. I wanted a uh, uh, an anesthesiologist to come in and uh, take a look at uh, what the, what I had speculated. And uh, also the urine analysis came back. Everything seems to be consistent. You have what we in the medical community refer to as knee. <laughs> I, I, that's what it says in the paper. Yeah. The knee. guy's hurt. What's the matter? Knee. knee. I got knee. I got knee. Aren't there like about a million things yeah, in he, a knee? What, did he skin it? <laughs> yeah, you could skin it or it could be gone. Yeah, you, you could you hit it with a sledgehammer. Yes. It could have a, yeah. a, a, a pinprick. Did he fall or piss off the IRA? It could be a pimple on it. Or it could be under a truck. Uh, He's got a knee. Uh, we found one of the airline ads. Oh, goody. This is how they used to sell flying. Uh, yeah, 70s, the good I think old days. It? Yes, of course. Early, mid-70s, we're thinking. I'm Maggie. Fly me to New York. You'll love my two 747s to Kennedy. Fly me. Fly Maggie. Fly Nash. 
Fly Maggie, you'll love my two 747s. Yeah. Why do they That's have to a say two? joke. That's right. Of course, you've got two giant, luscious 747s. Yeah. You hope it doesn't wind up... Uh, Oh, you want my 1747 and my Embraer? <laughs> oh, God. My Piper Cub. <laughs> oh. All right, we got the bartender story all over the place. Uh, another 45 we want to play for everybody <laughs> as we do our little slumber party. Groovy. Is this the B-side? Nice. <laughs> yeah. the B-side of Charlie Pride? <laughs> yeah. Talk. A battle of the bulge at a local nightclub. Mm. A female bartender says that her boss forced her to work in the kitchen after... She gained five pounds. Now leaning. she's suing. Victoria Sorzo <laughs> says she was an exemplary employee for nearly a year here at West Hollywood hotspot Foxtail. West now she's Hollywood. filed a lawsuit alleging sexual discrimination, saying her employees moved her from the bar back to the kitchen and told her to lose some weight. It has humiliated me Aren't to you? be told that my value <laughs> as a human being it's based solely on my weight. All right. You know what? Can I can I jump in real fast? Sure. It is a fact. If you hire a hot chick to be behind the bar, you Dude. make more yeah, money. But, but here's Stop. my of point. Course. You this make is, more but, money. But I'm sorry, but this is West Hollywood. You know, kind of. It's all fucking fags. Ah. It doesn't matter what she looks like. True. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Virginia Sorzo says good she's good always been a size five six <laughs> since she started work as a bartender at Foxtail in January. It's her height. The uniform I was given on my first day of work. What a show, but Sorzo says even though her clothing size didn't change earlier this month, the manager told her she'd gained weight so and that she'd have to work five. in the kitchen out of public view until she <laughs> lost five to six pounds. I love pounds this guy. To start. They told me that my appearance had changed, mm -hmm. that it wasn't my hair or makeup, that I was bigger. They asked me how long it would take for me to lose it. And when I said I didn't know, I'm, I'm a part-time student in the mornings. Uh, they said, anyway. we, well, exactly. we're going to have to put you in back. <laughs> we're gonna have to put you. We're gonna have to tuck you away, you pig. What are you? One eighty? Put on an apron. It's gonna be worse if they told her to lose height. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. What are they lose three inches? With it? <laughs> and why send her to the kitchen? That's the worst. Part. I know. Exactly. Exactly. She's got her face in the pig. chicken fingers. Sort <laughs> <laughs> so is now on leave from Foxtail, owned by LA-based SBE yeah. Entertainment, which owns upscale restaurants, bars, and hotels in LA, Las Vegas, and Miami. Sort further alleges in the complaint that Foxtail was a sexually hostile work environment where women sometimes walked around in lingerie and on one occasion VIPs were given a menu of sex toys for sale. Sort attorney maintains her client was being held to an unfair gender stereotype. Oh, fuck off. No woman should fuck have to off. fit a gender stereotype of what a woman should look like. Is that Gloria Allred? That is a form of sex di discrimination, yeah, is. we is argue. Sounds like and that it. is prohibited by law, especially whereas is here, the men bartenders are not required to lose weight. Yeah, because nobody gives a fuck, you dumb cunt. <laughs> you fucking, you're everything that's wrong with this world, you stupid cunt. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Right? Unfucking believable. Fuck. It it just astounds me. All right, look, five pounds, that ain't that much. I don't know, maybe she was on the brink. But you ever see girls that are on the brink? They're on the high a, end. If you own a business, you should be able to do whatever but the fuck you want. Goddamn right, oh, yes. within the law. Goddamn yes. right. She should have told her just a different reason. Get in the kitchen because I want someone else out there. She's an employee. She has to do what he says anyway. But yeah, exactly. It's your business, and you're no, no, like... No, but he's stupid not knowing yeah, what I the understand ramifications that, but, would be. But do you oh, my, see how... this yelling... Oh, Jimmy. oh no! Did that get you nervous? Yes. Jimmy. That 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 put a lot of hurt in me. Jimmy. Like it's Jimmy. a tragedy. Some chick had her feelings hurt. You see how we protect mm -hmm. the self-esteem of fucking oh. women? It's the most precious thing on the face. Certainly oh, is. Jimmy! What the fuck? Jimmy, Jimmy. He got, what happened? It's like Jim. I got a piece of shit on my upper lip over here. <laughs> what happened, Jimmy? Nothing. Just listen. <laughs> you don't say too much, Jimmy. What's the matter? I'm so fat. That was the, the skinny <laughs> person. A story, a, a Campari. You don't fart much. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice story. It translates a little better. He said, "Stop farting." <laughs> and then he said something else and something else. And my son was shot in the back of the head in empty room. <laughs> Tracy Morgan's on NBC right now. He's always on NBC. Oh, look, Oprah. Good. O Oprah did uh, Thirty Rock. Yeah. Uh, that's fun. I guess there was something I had for Nick, but I can't remember now. Mm. Uh, Tracy Morgan's funny as hell. 
There was something. It's funny. There was something where you were going to do. A chill that. pill? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was just kidding about that shit. I was just trying yeah. to make Jimmy fart. That's it how worked he, for us. See how I wanted to anger. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like there's a little bit of like different emotions, you know? <laughs> how about angst? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, a uh, happiness. Tracy's head is shiny, Jesus. I know. Hey, get girl pregnant. Wow, yeah, look at his hair. It's really shiny. Putting weight on again. It's fake. It's fake. Yeah. Issa Funding. That's or not other... him. That's not him. Either. That's that guy from CNN. Yeah. Oh, that's Christopher Dodd. Yeah. Oh, boy. Gotta right. get his sweetheart deal from country. Yeah. Let's, go with the, let's uh, play the next 45. Had a white hair on that guy. I like Brian's analogy here. I'm going to use that after you're gone, Brian. <laughs> uh, mom poses as daughter to go back to high school. Mm. There's something that was going to... Yeah. Okay. Poses as her own daughter? I think so, yeah. What? That's crazy. How does a 33-year-old mom pass herself off as a high school cheerleader? Well, I'm just correspondent Rochelle Carey. You're going to tell us, right? By wearing pants? Apparently somewhat convincingly, Mike. <laughs> Hold on. We got a, we got an answer to the uh, the logging question that Brian brings up uh, in his act. This might ruin the bit. I know. I don't want to get a logical <laughs> response. Let's go to Kevin. I'm the pointing out the, hip, the, the ridiculousness of it. Yeah. Kevin. What's up, guys? Hey, man. We got Brian Happy Regan in studio. Amy. Hi. Thank you, hey. man. Hey, we, we do this all the time. We, we haul product to one warehouse, take it off our truck, put it on another trailer. That way they don't have to pay inventory tax on it. It's constant. Uh, Wait, you guys so are that... just moving the lumber around for the hell of it? Yeah, so... we just take it from one place and they take it off our truck, put it on that truck. Well, please tell me he's inventory. kidding. Please fucking tell me he's kidding me. <laughs> please tell me that's not the fucking world I live in. <laughs> please fucking tell me that. You're kidding me, right? Like, uh, Your whole day is just moving lumber around. They should change this inventory tax rule. Yeah. Oh, my effing word. Huh? Wow, man. <laughs> get those trees out of here. We're going to get taxed on them. Love the show, guys. I'm going to punch out. All right. Okay. Get those. Get, the, get that lumber back to Bangor before you get taxed on it and pick up those two-by-fours and get it to fucking... <laughs> get them over, back, over to Sacramento. It's like juggling. <laughs> fucking Just keep them in the air. Keep one, keep one in the air, man, or else they're going to charge you. <laughs> Uh, Inventory tax. Who comes up with this shit? I don't shit? even know what that means. Unbelievable. Jesus Christ, huh? How does a 33-year-old mom pass herself off as a high school cheerleader? By I'm blowing the captain? Carey. You're going to tell us, right? <laughs> Apparently somewhat convincingly, Mike. Police said this woman yeah. attended cheerleading practice, got a cheerleader's locker at school, and went to a pool party at the cheerleading coach's house. Take a look at 33-year-old Wendy Brown. Does she look 15 to you? Huh? No. Yeah. Not at all. Not at all. Felicia Brown stole. She's, stole she's good, huh? The girl doing the story. professional. She enrolled at a school in Green Bay, Wisconsin. The problem That's is, yeah, yeah. she only went the first yeah, day of yeah. class. A truant officer <clears> started investigating and found out that her daughter actually lives in Nevada with her grandmother. Oh, who gives a turkey? <laughs> the male chili had noticed her pussy was bone dry when he lifted it. <laughs> <laughs> lifted her I just like the, the way the news guy reacts. It's hard for me to think of a tag for that. <laughs> yeah. Nice, wholesome, clean tag to that joke, Nick. <laughs> Did you hear the news guy? I can't guy? really jump on your, your punchline. Yeah. You're out. Got, you're you're out out right, Brian, go. <laughs> right. Make it wholesome, uh, Interesting you said that, Nick, because, uh, no. Let's put uh, it I'm through, sorry. Let's put it through the Brian Regan wholesome filter. Yeah, right. <laughs> Golly, jeepers. It's a beauty of satellite, isn't it? <laughs> uh, sure. It certainly is. Wow. What were we going to say yet? Something oh, the, about... uh, the, yeah, the, the woman was like, does that uh, girl, uh, woman look 15 to you? And one guy, and they went, no. <laughs> like right, like excited, he knew yeah. a little too much what a 15-year-old looks <laughs> like. The guy right. fucking her. And knew that wasn't it. She's too developed for a 15-year-old. No. no. <laughs> Speaking of pussy, uh, Brian, do, have you ever seen a horse's pussy? Uh, yeah, last night I, I nailed a horse. You nailed it. You want to look at horse pussy today? <laughs> sure. I do. Yeah, I, 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 get, I get the feeling we're going in that direction anyway. Have you ever um, seen a horse yeah. pussy? I've seen a horse pussy. It I, I did not know what it looked Donald like until party. yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the second half of the cheerleader story as Danny finds horse pussy. Jesus wait, 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 Christ, it's a two-potter? Oh, yeah, it is. Of course. Apparently, this woman had an issue with some childhood she thinks she missed, and this is yeah. her idea of getting her childhood back. 
faculty members thought she did look a little bit old. I guess they thought she'd had a rough life, but she acted like a teenager. Apparently, she cried in class because she wasn't good at math. What? Wow. I don't think teenagers yeah, she cry about that. She played this to the hill. Right. She did 33 minus hit. 15 equals 18. <laughs> did you, that was her age. Did you hear what the other guy said? <laughs> she played it. To, she good. played it to the hilt. To the hilt. Listen, when was the last t- time you heard the word hilt? Um, probably Tuesday. <laughs> what? Wow. I don't think teenagers cry about that. She played this to that. the hilt. Yeah. I think teenagers I, don't care if they're not good at math. So I'm not really good. sure about that whole crying there. thing. Right. <laughs> so, what? Oh, what, what, so that, that's it. She just won't make it up for lost time. Relive. I, 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 think it's a, I think it's a little deeper than that, actually. But that's her story that supposedly she's telling. And then she, she had to write a check for some cheerleading activities, and then she bounced the check, and that kind of also led to her whole story sort of falling apart. Wow. This is crazy, It Mike. is. <laughs> Jimmy. Brian, if I was you, I would sneak out. Yeah. Jimmy's just <laughs> blasting <laughs> farts no, all now into the microphone. Way to, yeah. My joke bombed, and that was that was me push, pushing like bad jokes out. Oh. Stick out. It's gonna start getting over here. Is this the news? There's Muppets on. Why are there Muppets on the news? They look like Susan Waldman. <laughs> oh, They've been doing the Muppet like, thing all day. Yeah. Maybe it's some kind of anniversary. Tie in with Jim from. Henson. A yeah. monotonous. Yes. It's been well, five they... years since the whole country went. He liked what in his what? <laughs> when he died and people thought it was of something else. <laughs> <laughs> People are very excited that uh, Brian Regan is into bestiality like we are. So why don't we show Brian the horse pussy? There's a horse pussy. <laughs> is that oh, fucking nice? That, uh, <laughs> that ain't right. That looks like a fat pussy on top and an asshole right. on the bottom. It looks like just the opposite. Brian, would you? What? <laughs> you would fly. Yeah, yeah. Ride I'd ride that horse. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to play would you, that's oh, all. Would you? Sure, that's right. I'm going to say, I'm going to decline. <laughs> This gets back to the two. I'll, I'll be in the line. No, no, thank you. I'm more grossed out by the awful wrinkled hands holding it open. Yeah. Those are terrible hands. I bet they that, fingers smell real nice, too, that after that. That's a great commercial. That, 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 that's like what a bad hand model gets. Wait he gets that gig. <laughs> <laughs> a, a good hand Funny. model gets the Noxzema ads. Yeah. The bad hand model gets this gig. It's the hold open a horse pussy. We got that picture, we got that picture from Oprah's OGBY. Oh, <laughs> shit. Listen to me. There's something else going with the going on with the hands. That's yeah. a man's hand. Yeah, that's a female's it's different, hands. It's two different hand. hands. Oh wow! They're working together to open up yeah, the horse pussy. That's, that's, uh, that's great. Wow. That's the lion team. Look, it was it's that bar at fucking like Secaucus. <laughs> someone, someone needs to open up the like horse a... pussy this weekend. <laughs> right on closing time. Come on in, nickel bears. The horse pussy. Oh, just stick your tongue in there. Jeez, oh man. Stick your tongue in there. Want to taste oats? <laughs> Uh, let's say it's hi. awful. Looks awful human. Yeah, yeah that's what we're getting at. There, no, that, I that's why that. we play the would you like game. in a pinch, <laughs> right? Would you? In would a you? pinch? It's been years. I don't, I don't, would is you? that actually You're a horribly horse? disfigured yeah. and you can't yeah. fucking? It fuck. looks like the exit wound of Martin Luther King's back. Yeah, it does really look awful. Yeah. Hmm. The problem is the asshole is too is right on top of it. Like drastic. I mean, you're gonna get shit on if you're having sex with this. Looks like a speed bag. Hello. <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> <laughs> kind of saved me a little bit there, Nick. Uh, Crotch Critter, the trucker. Yeah. Oh, what's hey. up? I'm Brian. Hey, you know, hey. uh, little Jimmy. Hi. Um, basically, what the other driver was talking about is totally the truth. Uh, half of our business, I, mean, I do flatbed, half of our business is nothing but picking stuff up, moving it from one place. I've seen right. it up. Drop the trailer, and had another trip. driver pick it up, take it right back to the same oh, place that we picked it up at. So, uh, so, 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 so right. the point is that if it's in a warehouse somewhere, then they're paying taxes. But if it's out on the road, they're not paying taxes. Is that what's going on? Well, basically, even if it goes to another <laughs> warehouse, not until they get that road, it's not, it's not necessarily their warehouse, so they have to pay for it being stored. Oh, so no. it's, so. it's, you know, to pay fifty cents a mile, you know, or you know, dollar a mile or whatever to get it hauled around is a hell of a lot cheaper so. than having. Story. It is so. If, really? So wow. if every if everyone's in on this, why not they just go? All right, we won't tax you anymore because yeah, we know what you're doing money. to get around this. Yeah, sir. If, if it's money. actually kind of productive, why are they doing it? Go. <laughs> you go. <laughs> you're on. What say you? All right, thank you, sir. What say you? What I'm say you? Real. Wait, who says that, that, what say you? Well, that's uh, a few newscasters. No, who uh, is it? A, I think that's O'Reilly, right? What says you? Bill O'Reilly says that. I think somebody else says yeah. it too. Uh, just Kevin kidding. Bacon. Just in New Jersey. <laughs> You're a handsome man, Mr. Garrison. 
<laughs> I love the fact they want to suck Jim Garrison's dick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jessica, you there? Go yeah, on. hi. Jess, you're on the echo. Hey, Brian, I really want you to do me a favor. Uh-oh. I'm gonna you do gotta a do the chest bit. He doesn't have to do nothing, lady. Uh, I don't know. Performing seal for you. Mm -hmm. The check it... bit. Chess. Chess? Oh, chess. 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 Well, it's a, it's a, thank you for wanting, it's, it's kind of a long thing. Yeah. Um, and, uh, I appreciate the... Take off the, your the, top. <laughs> no, 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 that's, uh, very cool. Thank you. You do the chest bit, we'll all take leaks. By the time we're back, you're <laughs> done with the chest bit. And so we'll get back to what we were talking about before, right? You guys are all at yeah. home in your studio and... And we'll show Brian. you more animal pussies. Right? Brian, we'll do the horse back. clip bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that, what, is your chest bit... About something about, uh, yeah, I was playing chess, and all the black pawns jumped on the white queen. Go figure. No, that ain't, <laughs> that ain't mine. Is that That's not mine. It's <laughs> Tracy Morgan. That ain't my chess bit. <laughs> that ain't my That's chess bit. That's somebody else's. I don't think we're going to hear the chess bit, Jessica. I'm sorry. No, my chest yeah. bit is. Here we go. <laughs> is such a nice mm -hmm. guy. I um, yeah. I, I just, I don't, I don't get the game, man. Jimmy plays chess. You play chess? Well, well maybe he can help. You. But, well, here's what I don't. I, I have a, a somebody trying to show me how to play chess, and he move a piece and put his finger on the top, mm -hmm. and just stare at it. <laughs> and I'm like, what's going on? He goes, it's not an official move until I take my finger off the piece. I'm thinking. And I'm like, well, you can just tell me you're thinking, and I'll trust you. <laughs> He's like, no, 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 you got to do it like this. That's and I'm true. like, I bet your desk is very organized. <laughs> <laughs> and then he moves it back. I don't want to do that. He move another piece, put his finger on the top, and I'd stare at that for another few minutes. And then he finally takes his finger off. I, I can you imagine if you could do that in life? If you're going to do something, you're not quite sure it's the right move. You just protect yourself. You walk into a bank with a gun and a finger on the top of your head. I want everybody's money! <laughs> then you look around. I, I, I'm not going to do this. <laughs> I'm not going to do this. <laughs> do you put your finger on the top? You do the top thing? Yeah, what, what, what is, oh, is I move so like fast, thing? there's no time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Check me! Yeah, you hold the finger on just because you don't want the other guy bitching at you. Yeah. And you don't want to feel like you uh, saw a better move after you took oh, your hand. Oh, sure. So you're telling me a guy with no arms just can't play chess. Yes, right. yeah, keep his, keep your nose on it. He can put his nose on it. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking, that's why my nose is exactly. buried in this rook. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Sam in Ohio. Sam? What's going Welcome on? Welcome aboard, Sammy. Go. Sammy, what up? Yeah, I work for General Motors, and you guys are talking about the taxes and stuff. Mm hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. They've paid. They've told us before to shut down the presses and just sit down and wait because it's cheaper to pay us thirty bucks an hour than pay taxes on those parts. Yeah, that's why you guys are going out of business in three minutes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what is an attitude like wait, that? I think we're finding something out that I don't think average yeah, people know you about. You wonder why the chinks are kicking yeah. out their ass. We're all driving product all over the country. Yeah, let's go to Chicago. Bigs. I'm bringing some butternut yeah. squash to Denver. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Big? Hey, bad for all these uh, bit requests for uh, Regan. Hey, DePaulo, why don't you do that bit about the whores? Go. <laughs> <laughs> Did he say horse or whores? Yeah. Whores. Either way, whores. I know it's going to be good. You got a good whore bit there, Nick? <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, you don't. All right. I really don't. Thanks for the request. <laughs> I was hoping he was requesting a, a, a real bit so we could get to 11 o'clock. I couldn't even remember uh, it. I, the my bits. I don't work like that anymore. How about we take a quick break? We'll uh, regroup. I do other people. So I got to take a leak. <laughs> we got to take oh, leaks. Gosh. Brian, if you need to go, I understand. I, I think I'm going to try to zonk out for a couple hours. Oh, I got I'm quit being a pussy, Brian. <laughs> I, I'm the one that's right. got to go do the fucking book signing at 6 o'clock in Rhode Island tonight. Oh. At Borders. Oh, nice. Yeah, that'll take a lot of energy, huh? On what? what uh, like that. On Sit what? in a chair. Street. Sign my book. Sign my book. Oh, no, I fucking my book. Go, I go crazy at book signings. It's a fucking madhouse. I am. And, no. you're, and you're on the bestsellers uh, list there, Jimmy. Well, you know, I don't know. the bestseller list. Yeah, yeah, you made the list, man. That's very cool. That's amazing, Jimmy. Good for you. Yeah. Oh, thank you, man. Fuck. Good for you. Good for you, Spider. Thank Best you. selling author. I got a brochure, and it wasn't easy this time around because there's like ten Obama books on the list. Oh, so. it's fu that's why yeah. I said O'Reilly. His books on the list are yeah. fucking. Uh, it's a good how many Obama already. books for real? Like four? <laughs> four Obama books. O'Reilly, a Lenin book. It's just stuff that's really hard to compete four with. Obama. Where, where, where is, is it on the... books at one time? Uh, the printed list is fifteen. Uh, the spaces. first black I'm president. Thirteen. Yeah. You're number thirteen. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
The wow. power of the show, Brian. With a yeah. bullet. Yeah. Write a book. Yeah. Write a book. Yeah. I'll be on it off in one week, but I'll be happy no, I was there. No, no, I'm not even being downplayed. It's just That's probably fantastic. a reality. Unless the fans love me. Look at how hot book. Sarah Palin looks with her messy hair today. I know. She, right. she should have done wow, that. See how hot she is with the doctors. Is adorable. She's got bedhead today on Fox News. That would have been know. ridiculous. Cool that. About her. If she did it. In it. That would have been really fun. That would have been pretty cool. They have her in front Just of a map that. to show that she knows about geography. Yeah, where's <laughs> Africa? Point, quick, go. <laughs> <I know. laughs> They're saying that uh, that never happened. I know it didn't. Yeah. I don't think I don't happened. think that could have happened. Of course no. not. Some feminist with a mustache hated her guts. Every you know you can't know Africa is a. Brian, uh, a continent? What is it? A country? Uh, no, it's a fucking it's a county. State. It's a state. Yeah. It's a county. County. In Jersey. County. <laughs> Newark. Yeah, Newark. <laughs> Africa Brian, County. Brian, who do you hate? Uh, Brian, by race. Stu Caymans. By, 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 by race. race. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that won't get me in too much. Brian, you're, not allowed, to, you're not, allowed to, you're not allowed to leave until you tell us That's who right. you hate. Who do you hate by God's day worship? Go. Go. I'll tell you who I hate. <laughs> Uh-oh. Here we go. And that was uh, horrible. I like this is from the bottom. I hate people from Liechtenstein. <laughs> ah. Lichten, watch one person from Liechtenstein will I write mean, a letter. Yeah, I know. It's less like, like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> one, one guy who like doesn't Bird. get that there's like a, a humor involved. <laughs> how <Yeah>. dare you? <laughs> Is that how As, talk? Yeah, that's how Liechtenstein. That's a Liechtenstein accent. Yeah. How dare you make fun of Liechtenstein? Signed, you gotta La go. Signed, Larry Orpheum, and he cancels your Friday. <laughs> Larry Orpheum. Yeah. <laughs> Larry Orpheum. yeah, I get the one theater owner from Liechtenstein who Larry cancels Orpheum. my whole weekend. Lawrence Orpheum. <laughs> I didn't see the humor in it. All right, we got to look at them. We got to let Brian go. He needs to sleep. Brian, thank, I'm go all thank you all, man. You I had fun. Too, yeah. No. Oh, good. I just want people to miss me. I just <laughs> I want some attention. I love the range, man. Lo the, the 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 truckers to the, the picture of the horse. The, the horse, horse pussy. You, you can say horse pussy. They'll still come to your oh, show. Oh, picture oh, of the yeah. horse. No, Brian, say Brian's, it before no, you leave. Brian's got an image. I, 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 I just don't do that. Too. It's not going to hurt you though. Horse what? Horse. It's a horse image. Horse what? <laughs> a horse. It's a horse. Horse. I'll horse. tell you what, it's a horse visual. A horse. That's what that is. What? It's a, it's a, it's it a picture like a, of a it's what? It's a horse photograph. <laughs> of what, though? Look at that thing. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Let me ask you, it honestly. It looks like a bullet wound in Shannon Sharp's ass. <laughs> oh, what God. pisses me off is we haven't been able to crack this guy. What, you've been doing our show uh, 10 um, years now. Twice selling out this weekend. <laughs> right, exactly. <Yeah. laughs> Just say it. Say it. Yeah, I, gave it I gave it two minutes after I met you. Now, let me ask you a question. You can ask this however you want. Would yeah. you rather lick that or fuck it? Well, that's easy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> want the horse to come first, don't you? <laughs> are, there, are there more options on the menu? Dude? No, those are two. you got to answer. It's like a steak or chicken. You yeah. have to pick one. Or we yeah. lock in here. Where is the Show them the raccoon kits. Where's the Does clitoris? the horse have a clitoris? Well, Brian, why don't you point out the clitoris on the horse pussy for everybody? No, the, the, where do you think the there's, two, there's two the hands there touched you. pointing. <laughs> when there's two hands pointing. It's at four There's plenty of fingers pointing at everything. Everything's being pointed at in that picture. They actually have There's two ten fingers. Have... <laughs> the, with a window wash, you just peeked <laughs> in at the horse pussy. <laughs> <laughs> really good look. Yeah, that's, fucking guy. <laughs> that's when they stop squeegeeing. Yeah, look at him. He's looking at the horse so look pussy. At the horse. He doesn't Don't, know that's a horse pussy. Of course yeah. he doesn't. He goes, <laughs> he's laughing at it as he plummets to his death. Wouldn't yeah. that be great? A yeah. horse has two clits, one at 10 and two o'clock. Oh, look, he's, oh, <laughs> he's, he's calling the other guy over. Hey, take Sorry. a look. They take both look. go over to the other side and set it off balance. This is all. When they're they sitting down to have their, their break to, to drink their soup out of their, uh, their thermos, thermos. Yeah. this is what they got to look in at. Horse pussy. Horse. Yeah. That reminds me, I got a roast beef sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I had lunch. Oh. Could you fucking meat fill cannoli? That reminds me, I got a pastrami on uh, pumpernickel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, <yeah. laughs> oh. oh, my goodness. Oh, this, geez. That is a horrible looking fucking thing. What do you mean? It's making me hungry. Yeah. Wow. That's good. Maybe you could do it in pastrami on pumpernickel. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like. All right, look, we're uh, uh, giving them. Shit. They're, they're gone. No, we're trying Where to get, they go? We're going to get a reaction. The rope snapped. We'll get a reaction from them, all right. It's don't. that guy over there. He'll never hear this. Yeah, I know, but uh, I don't know how we're going to do this. 
Who's Sarah Palin talking to? I don't know. Nobody. I think she's just trying to get things going for, um, what was that, 2000 okay. fucking one? 12. 12? Uh, 12. Jeez, shut up. 2012. That's not a prayer. No? Fuck no. It's in the public eye. Hell fucking no. Yeah, what do I know? Hell You're no. right. Hell fucking no. All right, Brian Regan, thank you. Brian Regan. Thank you, guys. He's all Good over the East Coast in the next three again. or four days. So go to brianregan.com for all the dates, right? Yep, that, perfect. That's easy. Perfect. Thank okay. you. Okay. Nick Dip. Uh, Dot com. Yep. November 28th, Tarrytown Music Theater, That's night after Thanksgiving. It's going to be uh, it's gonna be great. There'll be a live band yeah. at some other place. And we're, con- we're going to continue <laughs> with Nick and Jimmy, so don't go anywhere. we got at least uh, another 15, 20 yeah. minutes in us. Uh, we just got some good news. I guess we can announce it officially. We're doing the homeless shopping spree this year. Yes. After taking, uh, was it last year or the last two years off? off. We had some stupid PD, I forgot her name at this point, who didn't understand uh, how... How the uh, homeless shopping spree would be a good thing for oh, everybody. Oh, God. Her, remember I that? remember that. She awesome. wouldn't give up a fucking day part. Right. I'm not giving up my day part. She would not let us have afternoons that's when for we st- one day. And that's why. That's when we stopped listening to her. Like, wow, another... Un- what a surprise. Another PD that doesn't get it in this business. But then again, she could have like, overridden. We're done with you. Was no, the- it was all her decision. Tom could have overrode her and he didn't. Yeah. Tom yeah. agreed with her. He yeah. could have and he fucking didn't. Yeah. Just, I don't know. So, but we're oh. bringing back the homeless shopping spree. We're going to have Great details soon. She had. It looks like it's going to be <laughs> December twelfth. So mark your calendar. We want a lot of fans to to help the homeless shop this year. Yes. But we just got the news literally like two minutes ago while you guys were listening to the horseshit uh, promos that just play over and over and over and over again. <sighs> what the fuck are you doing? And you what's wrong, it? Nick? Huh? Fart. What happened? Nick farted. I got nervous and I shit my pants. <laughs> <I'm cool. laughs> That's what he does. Did he really fart? Right to it. Oh my! Was that mine or yours? Not Jimmy? mine. Oh wow. my shit! My I never understood that. Mine. Like if if you, you're not really affected by the smell of your own farts, uh, <laughs> but yeah, you if <laughs> you and someone else fart at the same time, yeah, it's like the, and you your kept... fart doesn't stink. And you think the other guy's fart is yours? Will you be offended by it and go like ew? <laughs> or will you go? Oh, it's just one of mine. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. That's very interesting. interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that one could have killed 10,000 Kurds. <laughs> oh, my God. That was fucking horrendous. He used it on his own people. I did. I used it on myself. <laughs> uh, Tracy was jealous. Your hair was better than hers. Oh. Oh. Well, remember, she could have used some conditioner. Oh. Why? Oh, her hair. A conditioner. Joke. What? She oh. have, did she have dry hair? Oh. No. Ooh. Not if she was the scarecrow in the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> but no one, a little fire, Tracy. No one wasn't approved, which is frustrating because the merge was now done. So we're going to do homeless shopping spree December twelfth. Fucking eggnog drinking challenge. Over, uh, done, done. Can't do it anymore. Well, one person, that dummy. person, yeah. That, yeah, yeah, drowned or whatever. The yeah. Fuck. That yeah, bitch but, that held in her piss until she died. But this whole contest... <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much it. Yeah. Isn't that what it said in the obituary? That's on her tombstone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> bitch who held in her piss till yes. she died. Silly bitch. And loving mother. <laughs> <laughs> but how many people knew that you could die from drinking too much water? I know. Who Four or five hundred thousand tops. Yeah. Who fucking knew? <laughs> I didn't know that. Did you really know that before that, Jimmy? I did not know. Okay, good. I did not know. I did not know. I didn't even know it after. That's not yeah. even water I mean, care. No. Right. No. Waterboarding. How so cool is that? should have made a piddle. Still fighting. Yeah. Still Piss fighting for the eggnog drinking challenge, but uh, I don't think we're going to win that one. But homeless shopping spree, good news. December mm-hmm. 12th, it's a, it's a go. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got ghost hunters uh, in Philly, Jimmy. Oh, no. I can't say ghosts like you, but ghosts. <laughs> hey, ghosts. Says it, it's easy. Don't, don't hang me out to dry. Wow. Say it once. Ghosts! <laughs> Ted? Hey, you're actually, Hi, Ted. Little, you're actually the wrong ghost guy. hunter. Mm, that's why. Oil's cheap now, huh? Yeah. You know, $57 a. 5750 If that doesn't show this whole Lock thing's bullshit. Lock in your fucking heating prices. Lock them in. <laughs> this yeah. doesn't show that yeah. the whole thing is contract. bullshit. What was it three months ago? A hundred and what? Fucking a hundred and. 40, 150. Fucking oh, but that's supply and demand, man. It just proves that it's legit. Free market. It went down. Bullshit. So people stop driving. Our economy sucks, so they don't do anything. We're not buying stuff, so we're not going to the stores. And now the price plummets. Oh, is that it? So now OPEC will fucking start pumping out little 
spurts of oil people, to fuck us. People really stopped driving? No, really? they didn't. I was on the road every day, no. and there was just fu- as much as I don't know anybody who did. Is that all horse no. shit? That's it's speculation. Bullshit. That feeds the speculation shit like yes. that. Is that how it works? I think so, yeah. It fed, it fed the speculation. This shitty economy we're having started after the gas prices really went high. And then the oil prices, they had to get lower because our economy was shit. Right. So people were like, oh, we're not going to fucking, uh, we're not going to go out and drive anymore. So I remember hearing a lady in the down. news going, my, my social life, I don't have it anymore because gas prices are so high. Really? Wow. If your social life, is, you can't afford to go out because of fucking your gas. Yeah. You never had a social life. Exactly. What were you doing? So every gas station I went to, there were other people pumping gas, there's people driving, yeah. there's people fucking shopping, there's... Yeah, I was hope I was secretly hoping for uh, high gas prices so I could drive out to Long Island without uh, traffic. Any right? traffic? I'm not even joking. Like, right, but make it a high. So I, I don't know how you guys so make I can that go ride. See my fucking Ooh. family. It's the worst road. These in hours are not bad. Absolutely. I know the, the one in Boston was. Bad, what was the one uh, in Boston that was really bad? From uh, the whole fucking oh, which thing. Which one? No, yeah. the one near the water. It was. Uh, fuck. Help me out. What the express? It, that, express the Carter over there. They said was the worst in the in the. Oh, Star Drive. No, no, the main highway that goes north south. One forty three. That's that's, that's ah, the whatever. expressway ninety three. But yeah, 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 I think it's yeah. ninety three. Yeah. There's a part of ninety three that they officially said is the worst highway in America. Yeah. No, L I E. L I E is L I E. It is so rush hour. It's Friday. L I E. Try it. But it's raining. Oh. And, and a vagina truck has dropped pussies all over the <laughs> oh, shoulder. Oh boy, then we got it real problems. Slick. <laughs> yeah, you but, slip on a lip. But Anthony. <laughs> But during, <laughs> but during rush hour, you you expect that it's going to be horrendous. I'm talking about Saturday yeah. at noon. Why is it the bumper I know. bumper? I've sat in traffic at two in the morning on that Thank road, you. where you're like, "That's what." What I'm... the fuck is going on? It's two in the morning. I did it. I did a gig a couple of weekends ago down in uh, Belmore, I think. Yeah, yeah. Brokerage, brokerage or whatever. Sure. I, I get I get on this Southern State Park and I had to go home. I go about two miles, and all of a sudden they're doing construction. Detour us through Roosevelt or some shit. Oh, great. But they couldn't put a sign up saying, they they, well, they, will, they let you get on the highway and go two miles before they let you know before there's construction. Before they let you know, yeah. So now I'm going through Roosevelt with a thousand other cars. Great. It's, uh, lights, stop signs, After having a miserable shootings. night. <laughs> <laughs> Roosevelt fucking... isn't the nicest neighborhood to go through at that hour. Especially. Actually made it interesting. I didn't mind. But, oh, my God. Fucking, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm like, I could have been a dentist. It stuns me when I drive home, and I'm just like, what the fuck is it? It makes you weep. The rain just, is, is one thing, too. People the cars just, multiply they when lose, it rains. They multiply, and people lose their minds. Yeah. They think... They think that their tires cannot even handle water. Yeah, it's at all. water. It's not olive oil. Step yeah, on the yeah. fucking olive gas. Oil. <laughs> Dumb fucks. Olive oil roads in Guinea. You chum, chum. chum. No. Mother yes, Nature, not Mama Leone. Yes. <laughs> Douche. Genco olive oil. Genco <laughs> olive oil. <laughs> Okay. Have your blessing now. Go kill everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Godfather, can you can you bless me? <laughs> yeah, who uh, wants to bless the uh, olive oil company you're making? Stupid exactly. olive oil. You just yes, start they, shooting people. They cut the competitor's throat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 be like a real Irishman. Stupid olive oil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck, yeah, fuck it. I never got it. It's good for your heart, man. I never understood the olive oil thing. Olive oh, oil. it's yeah, terrific. Right. You never go to a restaurant where you have a, a big clove oh, of garlic. I tried they, it. And, and they, they fucking bake the shit out. Him. He grew up on shepherd's pie. He doesn't know what the fuck. Yeah, they don't know. It's all about Irish the aren't known for their good food. I take food. the vinegar over <laughs> he the likes oil. The I'm, I'm telling oh. you. <laughs> he'll drink a douche before he'll go to Naples. <laughs> yeah, there you go. When they fucking take a garlic clove and just fucking burn it with fresh thyme, and then and then throw fuck. it in some oil and shit, you just sit there and go. I don't, uh, need, I don't need the uncle. Uh, you got to grind up a little <laughs> stuck of oh, cheese. And then they call it a little like a the cow. Yeah, you, you put a little abacata on the side. Yeah. Rest in peace. So you put in your, your meatballs and your sausage, a little sugar, some wine. Oh, my mother's sauce. Rest in peace. <laughs> that crap. I got better things for him to be doing. <laughs> the old twat couldn't cook anything. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Ronzoni. Rotten old bag. That overrated old meat bag you called a mother. Ah, you gotta take a little avocado. Oh, oh, she had a secret. She put in some of the dog. Ronzoni. I haven't heard that. Ronzoni. Ronzoni. Son of Blondie. They have to be out of business. That was their fucking Is Ronzoni still in business? Yeah. Yeah. 
Are they really? Ronzoni. Or some yeah. awful alcohol. A little, a sprinkle, a little grain alcohol, and a, a fagadouche. <laughs> fagadouche. we got to explain to Nick. this some fagadouche. It's the best wine I've ever had, the fagadouche. <laughs> we got to explain to Nick where this comes from. The wise guys from The Sopranos, they got a little the, radio show together. Yeah. This really pissed you I've off. I've never heard of it. And them. they sit around, and everything has to go in this direction. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Italian, yeah. Yeah. They can my be talking about the election. And I'm trying to get on the radio. Right. That's why I'm telling you, just to annoy you. And my more. grandmother, we go over there. There every Sunday, she'd have a big thing of pasta, and then we'd have the fish dish and the gum and the gal. And the shit. <laughs> and they are right. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. But they do that with news events. That's what yeah. really drove us nuts. Hey, yeah, forget all that. <laughs> yeah. Should we? Hey. Who is it? Past story, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Who else? I don't. I've actually only heard it. I don't have no idea it was on it. Stripper, oh, no. probably. I don't know. Big, big pussy. Yeah, there's Bobby uh, Bacala. <laughs> we gave them a beating a couple years back. Not done. Played Dana. a bunch of their audio. Uh, it was. It was just like, oh my god, everything has to like. <laughs> go back to him. Thing. And then like some guy that got fucking whacked that no one knows their name. You <laughs> yeah, know, yeah. they had to get three guys. And, yeah. <laughs> well, who the fuck is he? Was in episode two. Yeah. Well, they're talking about olive oil, and we're talking about horse pussy. So I don't yeah, know. Hey, you it's gotta all have about a balance. Pussy. It's all about ah. diversity. Right? You cut that horse pussy up like <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Galamar. Yeah. No, like Gabagol. Like Gabagol. <laughs> no, I, I, I pull the whole thing. I pink sock the horse, right? And then I chop it into slices like a Galamar. <laughs> and you fry it up with some sauce. Ah! Yeah, mama, uh, ben! Ben! <laughs> ben! <laughs> <laughs> hey, pink sock horse of Galamar. <laughs> <laughs> oh my stomach! <laughs> oh, I, can, I don't even want to hear the show now. <laughs> and then the one chimes in. Even my grandmother would even fry up the asshole. Oh, oh, oh that's the best sugar. The best part. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a sin to throw it away. A sin. Yeah. <laughs> a sin to throw it away. <laughs> my uncle would look forward to the holidays. That's the only time she she had whole asshole. Yeah, because <laughs> it was a yeah. sin to throw it away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh, oh, she passed on, rest in peace. She didn't pass on, she was fucking she was murdered the fucking in a fucking in a, a hit over a prohibition argument. Yes. It's always the most disgusting part yeah. of an animal. It's like, no, nah, that's the best oh. part. Oh. We was eating lamb head once. Yeah. And that's this right. True. My grandmother grand used to make my lamb grandfather head. grandfather would pick a lamb head. I did yeah. as a kid. Oh. Really? Yep. Honestly, I can't. And have the teeth something. still in it? Yeah, the teeth. The fucking, you're eating a skull. It's you ever, <laughs> a fucking skull. And, and it's all the eyeballs. I used to put a hat on it. <laughs> <laughs> they put a little old guinea hat on the fucking thing. A little derby, like fucking, <laughs> like Clemenza War. I used to go, Papa! Papa! <laughs> <laughs> Am I the only one that ate... Drop uh, the gun, old olive oil hands. Dry from... blood, the goat's blood. They used to yeah. fry it. Am I the fry only... that up. Am I the only one that ate uh, chicken asshole growing up? Oh, that's an Irish thing. You never <laughs> ate chicken asshole? Anybody? No. I'm the only one? Yeah, the fucking asshole hangs off the chicken. It's, oh, its, it's own the thing. best part. Really? Oh, the, yeah, it's shaped like a like a little heart. Oh, oh, yeah. in yeah. beak in beak sauce. <laughs> right. It's I wonderful. Know. Yeah, you fry I up the like beaks. Those. Yeah, what? I like that. Yeah. I think my dad liked it, so I wanted like you know be one with my dad. So I started eating oh. chicken asshole. That was my nickname oh. in high school. They called it the Ogooby Gosh. You get a ball of mosquito assholes, <laughs> you melt them down over a piece of like a bread, and you soak it in the sauce. <laughs> shut up, you fuck. Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, it's so true. Ah, oh, it's wonderful. Go ahead, great, great. <laughs> Yeah. You never ate chicken asshole? Oh. Chicken asshole, no. You take their uh, toenails and their beaks, <laughs> and you fry them up with some yeah. garlic and yeah. butter. Ah, oh, yeah. and make a garlic butter beak toenail sauce. And you pick your teeth with a playing card, and you wonder why nobody likes you. <laughs> 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 oh my god uh, fucking, uh, fucking shit I guess it hits home because uh, my yeah. grandparents Oh, it was always my grandfather Sick as shit like that yeah. We do it. eel and shit as a kid. Oh, my grandma used to cook eel. Hey, it's eel. delicious, though. You'd pay 40 bucks at Batali's restaurant today for oh, the shit I Of course. Yeah. And for I didn't know. Garbage. This is shit that should be in the garbage out front. Yeah. And the fucking how... Italians are eating this shit. Yeah. And we were poor. Yeah. Ugh. It's an animal with no hands. Don't eat it. Just let it be. <laughs> it's not like poor people today. They live on fucking Jolly Ranches and snow caps <laughs> and Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> 
fucking bit. <laughs> hey, pig's feet. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Oh, pig's feet, pig's knuckles. I love a nice baseball hat full of mollusks. <laughs> <laughs> ah, muscles. <laughs> Pour it in there. Trying to eat mussels and just, like, fucking biting down on sand. Yeah. used to mash the goat's ball with a bocce ball. <laughs> <laughs> Smash them up a nice... Nice you gotta fight, you know, you gotta do it with the bocce ball. My grandma would have cooked them with a fucking blowtorch. We couldn't afford a stove. And, <laughs> no stove. But we ate. Cow. Every night we'd sit down, the whole family to eat. <laughs> we'd marinate that a fucking rooster cunt <laughs> and a red wine and a gully. <laughs> <laughs> and then we smack uh, uh, hey. some nice bread. My, uh, there's confusion <laughs> out there. Got bread. <laughs> there's confusion out there. My uncle was not named Chicken. Okay, <laughs> <He's> fucking asshole. <laughs> chicken <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Every Holy uncle's shit. ass. Uh, yeah. dicks. Fucking dicks that listen to this show. Go fuck yourselves. <laughs> I know, they're pretty mean. Oh, they're the, it's a mean country. That's why we love them, actually. Who we can. So well, you want to learn about ghosts in Philly? Oh, well, wait, Nick, I interrupted you. What do you got? Oh, I was just asking. So I can watch uh, the game on Channel 11 tonight? That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. Not in New York, though. You can, Not in the New York market. In, in, Seriously? No. No, look at his eyes. It's his it's mouth that gives it away. No, it's the I don't see Jimmy much anymore. You said it's the eyes. Well, it's the, the downturned time. mouth the that eyes. does it. Because I'm going to laugh. You can always yeah. see if Jimmy's lying because you barely move his mouth. <laughs> I look like Obama's wife. I used to be able to read him. I can't read him anymore. <laughs> yeah. What time's the game on? 730. 8 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> you got Virginia Tech at Miami too. Uh, well, mm, yeah, they, 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 they watch the game. I got fifteen hundred on. You come over. Hey, well, come on, yeah, yeah, I'll have Marie mix up some fucking Marie. Some Marie. Of my friends I used to be friends with their body parts. <laughs> <laughs> Call her up. Have her cook something. That's her job. Don't worry. You come over. That's her fucking job. That's right. She's gonna make a capo do tacuti. Last <laughs> minute. <laughs> for dessert, uh, we're mom. gonna have a nice amount of oaks pie. Yeah, she'll cut off her own feet and cook them for you. Yeah. I don't give a shit. Oh, uh, my grandmother's heels. Rest in peace. <laughs> my, heels. my grandfather got prostate cancer. Rest in peece it Was delicious. We <laughs> fried up with those uh, ass polyps. You cook those up. Correct. It's all how you slice them. Because uh, uh, no, they're a little tough. <laughs> no, they're not. You gotta slice them, marinate them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anything. Ass polyps over white beans. <laughs> Man, you can't right. beat it, the ass of polyp. Man, yeah. <laughs> the fucking ass of polyp. Uh, some, uh, some fresh lentils. Fresh lentils. <laughs> <laughs> lentils over the polyps. Is there anything oh. worse than lentils? No, no, no yeah. Yeah. Ass of polyps and scuttle. Oh, <laughs> scuttle. <me. laughs> I'd rather eat a bowl of those fucking fat skin tags. Ah, fat with with yeah. some baba galoosh. Yeah. No, with, with lactate milk. <laughs> with fat man's skin tags and a bowl of lactate milk. Oh, 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 I'd rather eat God. that. <laughs> the skin tags from under a fat man's arm. Some arms. old wop skin tags from where his neck is brown because he's fat. <laughs> Yeah, I want to just chew God. those things off. You just, you just came up with the most disgusting oh. meal ever. Clemenza uh, gonna fucking be Clemenza skin tags. And lactating milk. And lactate yeah, the lactate milk. milk is what kills me. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have the farts, you know. Ah, that's wonderful. And blow a snot rocket on top for, <laughs> for taste. <laughs> Good <laughs> stuff. Are we going to learn about ghosts? I think we should. I'm fine. Yeah, you think? Yeah, what is this? I don't give a shit. What I don't give a hoot either. Let's, let's I'm just starving now with all this food talk. Nick, yeah. sounds so good. Yeah. We're live till noon if you want to like uh, take us to noon. It's up to you. <laughs> I know you miss radio. Like you haven't done enough yet. I, but yeah, I uh, fuck. I get go to Fox, man. I gotta do. Oh, yeah. I, got I was Fox over there. I just, to, yeah. I just want to give you the. I'm, you know, the, who else is gonna be on the know. panel? What? I'm asking Nick who's gonna be. I, I don't know. Till I get what over. What time there. is that on? Noon. On on where? <laughs> On foxnews.com. Uh, yeah, people the, are clicking on the that strategy shit out, room. <laughs> they are checking oh, yeah. that shit out. That, oh, that gets, yeah. That, two weeks ago, it's only been up a, a month, month and a half. Two, I was getting three million hits a day after wow. like after two weeks. Not even. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, fun. Fun. We got fun ghost time. hunters in uh, Philly. There is oh. an x-ray technician in Philadelphia who is not giving up his search for ghosts. Don Pollock explains. <laughs> Traditionally, many contact with spirits from beyond is attempted using crystal balls or Ouija boards. But what X-ray technologist and freelance ghost hunter Louis Giroux uses is anything but traditional. Electromagnetic field detectors, thermal scanners. There is not one device that is designed specifically for ghost hunting. But we do utilize detectors.
detection equipment to try and capture some sort of tangible evidence of spirit phenomena. A quest that has taken members of the Philadelphia Ghost Hunters Alliance. I don't feel like focusing on this. I don't either. So they were I really don't. voice was too long. Yeah, I don't really feel like like even trying. No. Uh, fuck it. There's some <laughs> ghost hunting ghosts down there. I, it just hit me like it's going to take too all much that work. talk of Italian food. Yeah, you're gonna, yeah, I know. Focus. You're gonna have to concentrate and focus. Who needs that not. shit uh, at eleven o'clock? Let's not go to me. Bill in uh, Charleston. Bill. Hey, oh, hey. My grandpa used to make this stuff. It was kind of like goulash, but he'd always say it's a slum gully. They call it slum gully. Slum gully. Ugh. Yeah, I've heard of that. But hey, that's what he called it. Was what is it actually? It's it like macaroni and hamburger. It's like goulash. It's, it's, it's if you it pour, it's everything in your fucking cabinet. Yeah, throw it in hamburger. It's yeah. what you see it's when you, you say open say up that. a fucking a gut shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, fucking goulash I, I, was I, I, awful. I, I, all right, I, I, you I, keep I, talking. Didn't mean to try to chime in. It's all about you, sir. I apologize. I'm just a thought in your head. Go right ahead. I had an uncle that had a restaurant. Go ahead, Tom, just an actor in your play. Go. <laughs> Did you? Did you? The name of the restaurant was called the Guinea Grinder. Yeah, that's Oh, no, I think it's some racist shit. I hope somebody... Uh, uh... You know what? All this Italian talk uh, reminds me of uh, Pat Cooper. <laughs> he would uh, talk about his fucking... But he's oh, talking yeah. about his... Listen to this. My father. And the shits his father would take. Not he a, would go not to the scent. bedroom. Not a scent. And, and not, a, not a smell, not a scent from this man. <laughs> the respect he had for his family... All right. No, but you're missing the best part. The and then shit didn't stink. And then, what? And then no, you. He's talking about how his father had nothing but respect and this and that, right? Yeah. Two minutes later, he's talking about how he got hit over the head with a pipe from his father, yeah. and the father left of the course. family. It's like he bashed the shit out of him. This is a little confusing, there, Pat. My father would beat us, but it was it taught us, it taught us to be good, and its kids these days don't have that respect. He would go to the the, the the the. He didn't even say bathroom. No, he. What did he say? The, uh, the Buckhauser. Yeah, whatever. The la la lavatory. <laughs> and uh, when he <laughs> went, when, when when he went, there was not a smell, not a scent, out of respect. All right, but he'd smack you over the head with a pipe. Yeah. For well, what happened to your dad? That, that man. Damage. That man went into the bathroom. Nothing. Not the scent. Come right out of him. Yeah. And then what happened to him, Pat? Oh, they beat the shit out he of me. He punched my mother in the face. And left us when I was 12. <laughs> this <laughs> man. What? This Nothing saint. Nothing respect. This, this saint. saint. He called him a saint. Well, where'd your dad go? He set me on fire. <laughs> <laughs> We're sitting here like, what are, you, what are you trying to tell us? He was a true man. The respect. Right. Respect. Yeah. You're talking about beat you around the house. I think we did it all today. Yeah, we even got to um, horse pussy, which makes me proud. Yeah, well, so, I don't touch I, on that every day. I got to go home and nap. Yeah, I'm getting the fuck out of here one time. Is it? What? I'm gonna tell, what? What? I got shit to do. How you got a house nap? full of construction yeah, workers. I was gonna say, how you gonna I nap with those people hammering uh, go up downstairs. to the third floor. <laughs> <laughs> Take the elevator up there. Get a real mansion down here, don't you? Uh, I'm trying. <laughs> Old Long uh, Island. Uh, 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 guy's a regular Howard yeah. Hughes. Uh, 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 well, uh, 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 you could have bought Mastic. Uh, you should see it like, uh, you know, I, I got a, uh, a girl over the house. And uh, I'm uh, I'm laying in bed, and she's coming upstairs, and I'm like, did you lock the door? Did you shut the back door and lock it? All right, punch in the alarm and the key. Punch that. Could you shut that light out? Shut the door now. No, now you got a latch because I got double doors on my bedroom. Yeah, No, you got to slide the latch up for the one door, and then when you shut the other one, lock that. Like locked the fuck in. What do you get smart? Locked it. You got. They got. <laughs> you know something? I'm hearing people you, coming 99. into my house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm hearing people then <laughs> coming over my fucking house. I'll hear a few doors have to open. I got the alarm, Some noise too. has to be made. Yeah. Oh yeah, and the alarm. Yeah. Got to set that alarm. Who are fucking idiots that go? You know. And the intruders came through an open window that was left downstairs. Good for yeah. you. I'm, Fuck. Yeah. Well, a nice you know, summer it, day. You like that summer breeze. They, they you're yeah, 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 the summer breeze Sus is nice when you got Sus a phone cord around your neck and Sus you're watching <laughs> your wife getting fucking pounded up the ass by three guys. Hot. Say, maybe That's I should have locked that window. It's not all bad. They knocked over the enter here sign when they were climbing through the window. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong yeah, with you? Right here? You should have prepped the bull and everything would have been okay. Prep the bull? Yes. Why? Prep the bull. Oh. Line of the Day is brought to you by Jim's Fart and <laughs> WebEx.com. 
Hold meetings, make presentations, do it from the comfort oh. of your own home or office. Check it out at WebEx.com. Oh. Here's a runner-up line of the day. How funny would it be if there was a Flux University? Oh, the T-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's very clever. Um, just, a, just a thought. Just want to throw around the table. I want to bring back what did we learn badly. What did we learn? Do we switch out line of the day for a while, rest it, and do a little what did we learn? You know what? You bring up a good point. Fuck line of the day. Really? Yeah, we'll bring back uh, what did we learn, and then... Uh, Just to change it up a little bit. And then we'll go, remember line of the day? We used wow, to love, why don't we bring that back? One of my favorite bits we don't do anymore is that, what did we learn? Because it's just it's just a nice way to wrap up the show. Very Every, educational. Everybody gets involved and uh, they pick up on what they learned on that show. Uh, let's start. Can we start that Monday? The, uh, the I mean the ad, you know, the uh, yeah, sponsor won't give a shit. Of course, as long as we're saying Webex. Yeah. I don't care. And then we rest line today. We'll bring that back. Yeah. Just to change it up a little bit. No. Yeah. yeah. Jimmy, yeah. you're in I'm on this vote. For, I'm all for that. Yeah. All right. I, I don't like it. This is the last. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now we got to deal with Nick. Now we got a problem. Oh, another country heard from. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, I might have Scott missed it. You ever heard that expression? It's an awful expression. <laughs> what is it? When someone says oh, something, someone will go, ah, yeah. another country heard from. You never heard that? I swear to God. I don't know if I ever heard that. <laughs> You've heard that, right? Okay. Yeah. No, I, I've heard it's it. I've heard that. I heard it in another terrible. country. Another country heard from. <laughs> I was sure I heard that in Belgium. I didn't hear that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, look how hot she looks with the messy fucking bed head. Looks like she's wearing a fall, one of those wig lit things. Uh, would you? Yeah. Would I? No. Why Come not? She's too I heard old. in real life. No. Uh, was, I was talking to somebody. Nick, would at, you? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I would I, I was talking to somebody at Fox that's, you know, met her or whatever, mm. and, and some young guy like I had said, she was like, she looks way better in real life. Really? really? Yeah. yeah. It looks like she's her body ain't bad, but who knows? You know, like, yeah, yeah. set of tits. I don't know. How many kids she got? She's got to have that belly Five. going. Five. That fucking lasagna. Yeah. The decorative fucking uh, window. Yeah, she's outside. Window like treatments. And shit, you know. Her stomach, stomach looks machine. like window treatments. Yeah, <laughs> fucking shoe bag. <laughs> <laughs> awful. Oh, especially right. after that last one came oh out. Oh, my God. <laughs> really stretched out with that head. They had to open the right. pussy with the jaws of life. <laughs> They were pulling a fucking... Oh, Nick, I, Nick, I got a tough one oh. for you on the other TV, yeah. would you? Who? The guy? Right now. Oh, well, the guy Martha? probably would like Martha? it more than Martha. Oh, yeah. You would? Oh, absolutely. Martha, would, that's too. an old bag. Yeah. Look how big her hips are. Get the fuck yeah. out of here. Who wants Aunt to you anything on it? Oh, what? I thought you meant when I talked to her. No. <laughs> would you brush look her at fucking... The, see, look at that. No, Do that up there. Absolutely. Oh, Grab yeah. her. Any of these news women. Yeah. Would you brush... Would you fuck Martha Stewart if she promised to take the Mickey Rourke look off her face? <laughs> <laughs> but would you for like the story, Nick? But would you for the story? <laughs> what story? I the... fucked an old, disgusting broad. But it's yes, Martha. it's a great story. That's horrible. Have you ever fe fucked a Martha? No. Why would I want to? I didn't either. That is terrible. Look at her tits. They're they're ugh. They're all squeezed into that button shirt she's got. They're not big. She's turned into a flat so <laughs> big fat yeah, ass, she no tits. Better a few years ago, she did. Oh, You're right. The prison years were good for yeah. her. I'm gonna caged sh heat. Yeah, she came out ripped. Yeah. yeah, this is the transition. We're still doing line of the day, but we're still and now we're gonna start a little. What did we learn just for the new listeners? Oh, so great. they know what it's all about. No Rob on Long Island, what did you learn today on the Opie and Anthony show? Hey, I learned that Obama's president now. Nah. Say Obama president now. Nah. Oh, that's, that's what I heard this morning. Yeah. Nah. That's nah. what I heard this morning. Nah, nah. Obama's <laughs> president, nah. First of all, no. Bush's president, nah. Obama's going to be president in uh, January. So just shut the fuck up <laughs> and stop walking in front of my car. Oh, boy. You got him going again. Another oh, runner up line please. today. Thanks to WebEx.com. <laughs> yeah. today. Oh, you're there tomorrow? I got a 945 at the, uh, at the Wilbur. Oh, all right. Cool. So you man. Can go see both. If you already have Reagan tickets. Go see Jimmy. I wonder why it didn't sell out yet. I'm like, I got like 40 tickets left. I mean, I'm close to selling it. And that, that explains why. Bada There's 2,000 of them being eaten up <laughs> off the street. Fresh. Good job, agent. Book me against one of the biggest touring right. comics. I'm like, I'm literally like across the street. It, it, it's amazing. They're going to really? yeah, no, hear his know. set coming through the wall. <laughs> And also, there was uh, the comics come home mm. this Saturday, too. Yeah. It was a. Uh... <clears throat>
Tough time, and you still did unbelievable, Jimmy. Yeah, I got like 40 more of those motherfuckers. Fox Business Channel has a chick that ain't that bad looking. Where? Let's take a look. I don't know if they're just going to keep showing how the Dow is going down or... The... No, it's you just like Madeline Albright? The... Which one? The one on the left looks well, like China. No, no. The one on the right... This one? Look, no, no. Yeah. She's, like, she's got stroke face. Yeah. The one on the right wasn't bad, but now they're not showing her, so... She wasn't bad. I'm fucking... Believe me, I'm, I'm done with news... Chicks, anyway. Oh yeah, you did. Fuck that. them, they're crazy. Yeah, you yeah, should Jesus. try Weatherman, Sam Champion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he'll find a young boy's clothes in my closet and burn them. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking lunatic. Uh, let's, you heard how that one ended, right, Nick? So, yeah, yeah. yeah you can mar- burn the clothes. Yeah. What a nut. Just don't bring up Gene Simmons. Here's another oh, run right, fucking idiot. Day. He doesn't. He just cries, right, uh, and tells people to spray stuff on their salad. Yeah, and they'll lose weight. Yeah, that. You ever try that crap? Spraying yeah. a little. It's, I don't know. It doesn't work. He tries the other way. He sprays stuff on his face <laughs> out of another dispenser. Yeah. <laughs> then he rubs lettuce on it and eats it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy jeez. <laughs> Like Nick turned into the hole on that one. Oh, guys. Turned into Archie Bunker. Oh, ge- oh geez, <laughs> Holy jeez, with a spray on the face. Huh? It's mixed oh, company. That's why they call him Meathead. <laughs> <It's just kind laughs> of, it's for different reasons. <laughs> now we go over here. Pearson, Ohio. What did you learn ah. on the Opie and Anthony show? I learned that Brian Regan is a racist. Yes, we learned that early on today. We shouldn't even kid about that one, Brian. See? Yeah, right? <laughs> Brian's like today's a, atmosphere. The beauty of the bit, you don't have to explain. You just like I happen. heard. Here's another runner-up line of the day over here. <laughs> yes, I got that little part of the wall that goes in. Mm-hmm. Maybe we could put it there, and uh, it, that'll be right near the other bar. The, showers. the part of the wall that goes in. in. Shower. Yeah. Isn't that called the corner? <laughs> yeah, well, it's... Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, fucking Regan. He is a racist. Oh. You guys. Oh. What happened, Jimmy? I'm just in pain. You're right. Back what, 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 what happened? What's going on, Jimmy? You're fucking, right? uh. Probably happened? from farting your ear. Sprained his back. I was in the gym and just oh, fucking slipped hurt. a disc. That's when you know you're farting. I hope, it, I hope it's hurting like Edward Norton in American History X. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do you got? Right? Yeah, boy, did oh. I stutter that one out. I'm no, you herp is hoping. I herp is hoping now. I'm a hibba de 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 Oh, here we go. Uh, we have what did we learn, though? Fuck the oh, what did we learn? Yeah, that man. gut she's got. Look at the gut on her. Yeah, she's a fucking... Ant- and what? does she know enough about TV not to wear a shirt like yeah, that? Exactly. What, the, what is that? Like, a test she pattern? She does TV for fucking years, and she's wearing one of those shirts that fucking... I know. They turn into a, an illusion, an optical illusion. And a Kelly Leak hairdo fucking me, bothers yeah. me. <laughs> Let me wear pinstripes on oh, television. This, I can't handle the negativity. Oh, <laughs> just... <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy is so gassy today. Why are you so gassy today? Jimmy just leaned over the console at a 90 degree angle you... and blasted a fart out. Why, why are you gassy today, yeah, Jimmy? Yeah, you are really gassy. <laughs> what do you. What do you... And now Nick's spraying Windex at him. Well, just yeah. anything. Whatever you can find. I can actually shine his fart bubble. <laughs> Jimmy, why are you so gassy? Oh, now it's shit and lemon scent. <laughs> oh. Why the gas, Jimmy? I don't know. Yeah, what's going on? What did you yeah. eat? What's up, Jimmy? I don't know. Talk to us. Did you eat something different? Did you have a bowl of fucking raw onions before you came? <laughs> no, I had, um, well, that I had some total last night. Oh, <laughs> fucking total. You're too old for total. total. I was, I was total. Total for the young. Total <laughs> shit and roadkill. <laughs> right. What the fuck? Wow, is that bad? You guys are well, you embarrassing me. It made me think about what I did here. <laughs> what, are you, you mixing sour milk too? Oh, Holy God, God, I want to do the fuck. fucking extra hour. That is fucking horrible. What are yeah. you just saying? I'm just, all Jimmy, of a sudden, something's bad. A smell came out of you that is reserved Dude. for fucking corpses. Thank you. There's cereals that you shouldn't be eating. I anymore. like Total. Open. Now that you're wow. forty, <laughs> now that you're forty, you can't be eating Total. You can't be eating Raisin Bran anymore. Nothing Bran for that matter. Oh, Total is fucking. <laughs> fucking uh, total, wow, did he total fucking rules it was, this Total studio. fucking co- Total owns. <laughs> I, I used to love Total, but oh. I, I'm not stupid. I know I can't eat that. Total shit Total. It was late last night. I was hungry. I said, "Let me have a little yeah. bottle of Total." Oh. And, and what cereal can't you eat now that you're a little older? Uh, Mine well, is Raisin Bran, without a doubt. Oh, Raisin Bran, doubt. Raisin Bran will uh, pour out of me. <laughs> I, I actually go to the supermarket, and I see Raisin Bran on the shelf, and I actually weep, because I love so Raisin good. Bran, but I know I can't I'll tell eat you what, it. I can't do oh, grape nuts. Annie will, Annie will eat no. Cocoa Puffs. Can't do grape Cocoa nuts. Crisp. <laughs> and, and, and Count <laughs> chocolate. What was it? Count <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> yes, any cocoa things I steer Just, clear of. I'd like a bowl of Aryan berries, please. <laughs> <laughs> 
What cereal can't you it's eat? It's definitely, you're no, definitely raisin bran. Raisin and bran. I love raisin oh, bran. I love it too. It's good, but but let's have a raisin bran morning. Oh fuck! You want to do that? <laughs> You'll hear gurgling in my Wait, guts. But we need some kind of doctor to tell us how long it would take. We Dude, must, I know from eating it, how it's, long? it's really quick. Instant? All right, let's do raisin bran. It's not bran instant, morning. but it's fast. Well, I'll eat raisin bran. I be love like, raisin bran. I'll, I'll I'll do a raisin bran. We were supposed morning. to have a gas off like three years ago. I know. Yeah. I'm going to eat White Castle. Next oh, week. yeah. And the next morning, I'm going to come in and fucking start teaching oh. some matters. White Castle and uh, White Castle. Not to be confused with my house. <laughs> cut with <laughs> cut with Taco Bell and onion dip for dessert. No, I'm White and Castle. I will win and this milkshake. contest. Jimmy, when are you back? Monday? I'm back Monday. Monday is Raisin Bran Monday. Monday. <laughs> raisin Bran You want to do Raisin oh, Bran yeah. Monday? Fuck yeah. With whole milk? <laughs> With whole yeah. fucking milk. No fucking like skim or lactate or anything. We're going to we're going to go whole milk and Raisin sure. Bran. And I'm going to eat a whole thing of grapes. What too. time do we have to do this? <laughs> right? Grapes. Right. What the fuck are you looking? <laughs> Starting right at 5. Our assholes are going to fall out. Yeah, right really? at 5. We'll man. be sitting on coiled up assholes. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to have hunger tail and like the stuff yeah. African kids. <laughs> yeah, fucking 6 inches here. Cold will be hanging out. And you know we're all going to just be sitting around waiting for the first oh, fart. That's hard. The first fart's going to finally hit, that. and then it's just going to be like, <laughs> then the fucking floodwaters are going to oh, just start pouring out. Their asses are going to look like fucking baboons at yeah. Lion Country Pink Safari. Pink open. Yeah. What, you rock? <laughs> My buddy said that. <laughs> my mom was eating at my house when we were kids. Oh. My mother goes, Bob, you hungry? He goes, I got hunger tail, for Christ's sake, Mrs. DePaul. Hunger tail. <laughs> That's an actual term they used to use. Oh, shit. Hunger tail. Yeah. You kids start to shit out their own intestines. <laughs> yeah, there's fucking. nothing to push out, so. Yeah. Your fucking asshole starts coming out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, That's Matt, a good feeling, Matt huh? Lafar, That's, That's wonderful. wonderful. Good, Matt yeah. Lafar from Queensbury, he goes to all shows when he, Norton goes up north. He writes, uh, Ant's favorite. Uh, Hold on a oh, oh. Ant's favorite cereal is Special K. -K. Oh, Special K K K. Yeah, they yes. this thing. Very good. All right, here's your line of the day. Thank you. Comes. <laughs> Here. Comes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, really, really, I mean it. Dude, I mean it. Um, I totally didn't mean it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, well, so you're fucking stop it. Jimmy, that's how you act. <laughs> what? He's a... Dude, that was acting. Like one of the bosses? <laughs> I don't know how to be one of the bosses. What am I going to do? Stop and go, hey, yeah, tonight, 6 o'clock, Providence, Rhode Island, book signing at Borders. Right. On Providence Road, or whatever it's called. Yeah. Who gives a turkey? It ain't about me. i uh, me. All right. Why don't we, um, yeah. Why don't we just go to it? No, First you're line, line, gets a line of the book. day. You stop the fucking line thing. of you the day. This, this no, no, I'll, I'll just do it. Here comes line of the day. Line, line of the day. day. Oh, you didn't do it right. It's my song. All right, go ahead. Here no, it's too long. Here comes Light of the Day. Wow, this is cool Light to see. Light of the Day. It's like seeing your favorite band live. Yeah, but now we can't is. use it because you talked over it. Yeah, that's the way oh, people could oh. record it that way. Oh, Even right. though we're not going to use I it. But I changed it a little right, bit. I, like I never do it quite the way it's supposed to be done. All right, do it again. So they can record How about it. Here Comes What Did We Learn? What did we learn? Here comes. What did we learn? What did we learn? <laughs> such an idiot. There you go. You just heard it. That's famous now. That's going to be heard for years now on this stupid show. <laughs> You're such an idiot. <laughs> Our show sucks. I'm done with it. I'm Raisin Bran Monday. <laughs> Remind us. Raise it for this Monday. Oh, this yeah. is gonna Can hurt. I get in for that one? Yeah. This is going to hurt. I'm bringing a gas mask in. And believe me, I have some. <laughs> we're all going to be in my basement. By 11 o'clock, we're all going to be pink sogging from all the gas yeah. we're oh, shoving out. I'm going to stomach it. Just listen to the prep for the show. Rice. Our assholes are going to look like little little leathery lifesavers on the floor. Like we're all sitting on elephant trunks. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Raisin Bran Monday. Nice. Oh. All right. Uh, like Ant said, line of the day. Here line of the day. What is no. That's why I don't understand. Like when you 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 you, you buy the DVD, it's like I saw the thing. Now I saw, it, but I doesn't imagine that people will buy our your DVDs and shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, I didn't mean that. I know the best Boy. part of it is you didn't mean that. I didn't mean it like that. You know what I mean? Because you just going, no, no, that's uh, what I mean. <laughs> I really put my foot in my mouth. Yeah. Oh, and we cut off the tail of the, uh, yeah. what did we learn? I guess it my with the line of the tail, whatever the fuck we're calling Goodbye, it. Goodbye, guys. We're leaving. When we come back, Nick might be here. He might not. <laughs> Nick's going to Fox. <laughs> I have to go what over fuck there. are you kidding? Right, I have to go time. over there and get in a fight with O'Reilly now. I wouldn't uh. stay here if I didn't have to. O'Reilly fucking don't. loves me. Go. Uh. He loves me. Does he? No, he doesn't. Never heard of Next time, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to review my acting chops.
Thinks you're a liberal you douche. Good, you. NickDip.com. <laughs> Tarrytown, Tarry November, November 28th. Yeah. Night after Thanksgiving. What All are you going right. to do? Keep hanging out with your family and cutting turkey farts? Come on. Biggest uh, biggest night for uh, entertainment is the night after Thanksgiving. Oh, that's the night before. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, is there a... <laughs> Friday's the worst uh, night of entertainment. Well, no, Friday. No, Friday. No, Friday weekend Thanksgiving Go weekend. Go see is great. Nick. Yeah, Tarrytown Theater. Music. A bunch of seats. Big, big hall. Yeah. Something Jimmy. Yeah, probably... Too small for Jimmy, but perfect. Next time we'll know you're, you're going to stop in and say hi to us. So, yeah. Well, again, uh, my agent, I apologize. Thank you guys for putting me on. It was a mix-up. Love having My you agent actually in. gave me the choice. He goes, you want to talk to these guys yourself? I said, no, I'll let you do it. And, it doesn't uh, matter. Just, it worked out. It's, it's, nice. Well, that was nice, it's nice having Nick in, a like-minded uh, person, without having to go to a private meeting behind locked doors. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's a pleasure, Nick. <laughs> Wait, we can my, do this in public? This yeah, is crazy. Exactly. <laughs> this is beautiful.